I'm in the big leagues, told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it too quickly. I'm making his dog, like I'm in the big leagues. Told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding the road, y'all. I think that I'm back in my bag now. So I need that go, y'all. Got hits when he throwin' a fastball. Just too quick for it, peeling off like the whip orange. Seen the effort, this piss poor. I got too much, I gotta tend to. Car payments and the rent due. Told y'all that I'm six foot, but with the money stabbing, I'm ten to. Too much that I've been through, so I put it all in that rear view. Clean money in a black whip, got old problems with the friends new. Yeah, I'm in the big leagues, told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. Yeah, I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. I'm making his dog. Like I'm in a big lease. Yeah, I told him I'ma hit it out of stands. I deserve another hundred bands. I deserve another hundred fans. Told him this was always in the plans. I just did it cause they said I can't. Blowing euros when I'm down in France. Labels asking how I build a brand. Told him put a check up in my hands. Who I got time, no cap. Made a few checks, but they all in the rest. Had a few friends, but they suck in the past. I don't even trip when I'm thinking about that. Hopped in the whip and we all in black. Shawty wanna ride to the hop in the back. Zero to 100, seen a rap on the dash. Dad, kitchen up, dog, I'm moving too fast. Yeah. I'm in the big lease. Told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. I'm making his dog, like I'm in a big league. Take it one day at a time.
I'm in the big leagues, told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. I'm making his dog, like I'm in the big leagues. Told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding a road, y'all. I think that I'm back in my bag now. So I need that go, y'all. Got hits when they throw in the fastball. Just too quick for it, peeling off like the whip orange. Seen the effort, it's piss poor. I got too much, I gotta tend to. Car payments and the rent due. Told y'all that I'm six foot, but with the money stabbing, I'm ten to. Too much that I've been through, so I put it all in that rear view. Clean money in a black whip. Got old problems with the friends new. Yeah, I'm in the big leagues. Told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. Yeah, I need a bag, bruh. Send it through quickly. I'm making his dog. Like I'm in the big leagues. Yeah, I told him I'ma hit it out of stands. I deserve another hundred bands. I deserve another hundred fans. Told him this was always in the plans. I just did it cause they said I can't. Blowing euros when I'm down in France. Labels asking how I build a brand. Told him put a check up in my hands. Who I got time, no cap. Made a few checks, but they all in the raps. Had a few friends, but they suck in the past. I don't even trip when I'm thinking about that. Hopped in the whip and we all in black. Shawty wanna ride to the hop in the back. Zero to 100, seen a rap on the dash. They ain't catching up, dog, I'm moving too fast. Yeah. I'm in the big leagues. Told him don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. I'm making his dog, like I'm in a big league.
Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Championship Sunday. Dave Fleming here, and so many great storylines. First, we've got the ladies' singles, and Anna Lee Waters is trying for a triple crown here in Peachtree City, Georgia. She's in singles, she's in women's doubles with her mom, and she's in mixed doubles today with Ben Johns. And then it's... Rivalry day. We've got Newman and Wright playing the Johns boys again. Will we have another epic battle like we did at the Battle of Brigham? And Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright are on absolute fire. Can they keep their streak going? They were dominant in Cincinnati. And we are going to close the day with men's singles. J.W. Johnson and Julian Arnold. That is going to be quite a match. This is the best pickleball in the world. This is the PPA Tour. This is the Peachtree Classic here in Peachtree City, Georgia. It's powered by Invited. Let's go. great times to good friends, to the glasses that spark conversation, to the ideas that then pour out. Ours came from a night like that and somehow survived the morning after to make our own tequila. It wasn't meant to leave our house, but since we made this for friends, we thought it wouldn't hurt to make a few more. Grab a glass, amigo. Our tequila is your tequila. Our casa is your casa. I'm gonna say she's a solid 3.5. Nah, she's definitely a 2.5. Guys, look at that forehand. She's clearly a 3.0. Guys, come on. I'm at least a 4.0. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Ratings don't have to be hard. Duper. Optimized for accuracy, optimized for fun. Download the app and claim your free profile today. For many of us, we just charge ahead because planning for your future takes time. And right now, thinking about your financial future takes on new meaning. 
At Baird, our financial advisors have guided individuals and families to achieve their goals through every crisis evolution and groundbreaking idea for over 100 years. That's the difference between thinking you're ready for what lies ahead and knowing you've planned for it. Now that's different. Discover the Baird difference. Crown today by winning all, all right, good morning, pickleball fans. Dave Fleming pickleball, here and, and thrilled to be joined by Pat MLB Smith in the booth. Pat, good morning. How are you, brother? Oh, not too bad. Uh, thanks for having me. It's great to have a, one of the best players in the world in the booth today for Championship Sunday. And just to set the menu for everybody, first of all, let's remind everybody, this is best of five. So when we get to Championship Sunday, you can get away with a slow start. We're going to start with the ladies' singles. Anna Lee Waters, who has been dominant in singles, playing Callie Smith. What do you expect to see here, Pat? Well, you know, Anna Lee's uh, been pretty tough to beat in singles this year. And... Um, but Kelly really hasn't that much to lose, I think. So she can, I think she can play pretty free. Uh, one thing she definitely does not want to do is have a uh, have a slow start against Anna Lee. I mean, she should be going out, firing away, and seeing if she can early lead, and maybe she can get in Anna Lee's head a little bit and make it a little tighter and get some points out of that. Yeah, when you when you come out and you know you. Not beaten her this year, quite frankly. She's had her had her opportunity. She's had her Utah fans behind her, even at Tournament of Champions, and was able to get some points going here. But I think you're right. Just bring it and uh, go for it. Annalie Waters, of course, has talked a lot about the fact that this is her favorite of the event. She loves singles more than anything, so she's going to come out motivated. Obviously, she'd love to get to a triple crown. you got to win the first one to get to the next two. So best three out of five here. Peachtree Classic powered by Invited. Oh, you're here, ladies and gentlemen. Let him hear you. Come on now. Callie Smith will start the day with the serve. Let's play pickleball. Just tremendous reach from Anneli Waters already on the first point. That's some great court coverage there, the net. Zero, zero. Johnson. Johnson Clark, the referee. Again, Smith has played two great points and has nothing to show for it. Anneli returns that ball so deep close to the line, and the next one goes the opposite line. One, nice zero. And Callie chose not to come in behind that return, stay, chooses to stay back again, so she's going to try and counter punch today. Point. Good idea. Good idea to try the lob, just goes a little deep in the athleticism and shot Two making of Anna Lee Waters already evident. And a point. nice little two-hander down the line and dictating from the get-go. Yeah, I think, you, you know, you just mentioned that Kelly is electing not to come in, but I think it's Anna Lee's deep shots that are yeah. forcing to stay back. 3-0. Otherwise, she's going to be caught in no man's land. Oh. So Kelly does Shout finally out. approach the net and gets a mistake from Anna Lee Water. So let's see if she can... Find something to get on the board here. See again, she came in off a fifth, not off a third. Zero three. Was, return was so deep in. Here. Point. One three. And that's out. something she's going to want to try and take advantage of. A really nice serve from Kyle. He got a short return and was ahead in the point. 
Oh, wow. That's Boy. just a great ball. That's just an amazing volley there from Emily. So much pressure on that one. 4-1. Just wide. Just wide. wide. So, Callie Smith trying to find something that one can four. get her going here. Boy. A little uh, baseline rally, and then coming in at least puts pressure on Anna Lee to have to pick a spot. Absolutely, I think if Kelly can string a couple points together, four. Here, um, you know, the confidence is going to go through the roof a little bit, and hopefully she can um, make it very, very close here. That's just too good from Anna Lee Waters. Shout out. So Kelly has chosen to counter punch a bit, coming in not on the first ball, but. Uh, you got to find a way to make Anna Lee feel a little uncomfortable. Come on. Side out. And that's the way to do it. You know, be patient. You got to come in on the ninth, Pat. That's the that's what you got to do. Whatever, whatever works. I would I would yeah. say in this moment, but. Um, yeah, maybe maybe Kelly needs to just uh, Two, four. throw the ball up a little higher, take a little bit of pace off it, you know, make Annalie actually create her own power. Oh, I think that was just in. She could just made it. So, uh, on the, the, the PPA tour, a serve that hits the net and Two, gets four. past the kitchen is a let, so we will reserve. Side out. We'll try and run down every ball on this court all day long. Her hustle will never be questioned. No, she's definitely going to leave every single ounce of her energy out there, like she does at every match. Yes. And she'll bring the fire, that's for sure. No doubt. 4 2. Oh, that's just a great put away. Point. So there's the danger of not coming in. If you hit a shorter return, then you are going to be on the defensive. 5-2. That's just ridiculous for man. Boys. I'm glad I'm not out there. I can tell you that right now. That's just enough. I mean, I mean, Callie does everything you'd want to do on that ball off the tape, putting it down in the kitchen. Timeout and, receiver. And we've got a timeout called by Callie Six, two. Smith. So Anna Lee Waters is off and running. Callie's playing solid. It's just a little too much for Anna Lee Waters right now. So they're going to talk about it. Obviously, Anna Lee Waters well, looking to get a triple crown today. This is step number one. Katie, could you pass me the creamer? Why don't you just come into the kitchen and get the creamer? I can't. I can't come in the kitchen. Sure you can. No, I, I really can't. You can come into the kitchen as long as you don't hit the ball out of the air. All right. That's why I stay out of kitchens. Welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming with Pat Smith here. Championship Sunday at the Peachtree Classic, powered by Invited. This is the PPA Tour, and that is Anna Lee Waters off and running here in game number one. That's a great point by Callie Smith right there. She had Anna Lee Waters on the defensive. Way to scramble and extend that point on Kelly's behalf there. I mean, 
She's Three just attacks. trying to stay in that point yeah. as long as she physically can. And there's a beautiful nice. two handed backhand that goes Point. from line to line, cross court. It's the danger of returning the ball and giving Three, angles. They got to make it, but you give them one. Point. Here we go. Three in a row. And that sails deep. So after the timeout, Callie Smith has Four, six. won three rallies in a row and is within two. Point. Five, six. Timeout receiver. <laughs> All right. So out of the timeout, Callie Smith looking very, very good. So within one here, Pat Smith and timeouts can really pay dividends. Well, you called the timeout wizard. I think <laughs> yes. the first time I ever heard that term was from you on the mic. And uh, funny enough, it definitely, it's definitely a wizard because that thing turns around the momentum like crazy and you can, you can be in the biggest run and uh, playing absolutely amazing, peeling the ball and then suddenly one time out just throws the whole thing off and just reverses the whole momentum. Yeah, it's, uh, it can be the great equalizer for just your fitness. You run around on a long point. Let's just not play a point where we're not sharp. And now you watch Annalie Waters come out banging balls all over the corners and up 6-2 and now 5-6, couple mistakes. Guess whose confidence is rising? That's our friend Callie Smith from Utah. And here we go. Absolutely. And I think a lot of people do what, you know, what very um, underutilized is a offensive Callie. timeout sometimes. Yes. Just for the same reason that you just did. Time in, five, up. six. So here we go, one point game. Point. And again, Callie Smith waiting for a ball in that groundies battle that is short that she can approach. This looks a lot like a tennis singles match here. Six, different six. Days. I think it's gonna be a little bit different with the men's yes. later. Probably a lot more cat and mouse. Oh. And and I out. like the aggression from Callie Smith. A drop shot has got to be perfect or you're welcoming six, trouble. 6 Oh, yeah, 100%. Especially if somebody that loses well down elite. Fault. Come on, Callie. serve just goes right back. So the Callie Smith freight train six, will, six. will roll down. Out. Point. Wow, now a missed return. This is a spot Callie has got to seize it. Hit a big Seven, serve. Six. Play another one of these tennis style points where she chips and charges when she gets a short ball. Wow. wow. And Callie had a huge opportunity on the ball that kissed over, but in a Lee Waters' guess is right. It's not out. Rare firefight in Six, women's seven. singles, Pat. <laughs> Pretty amazing how they, she got that back and then guessed correct. Point. And there's a, just a little come on from Anna Lee Waters there. So uh, stops the, the run from Callie Smith. 7-7. Seven, seven. Tremendous return from Callie Smith there. That's just great pickleball from Callie Smith. Side out. I think one thing she might, you know, when she's coming in, I think one thing she might need to do is actually try and draw in a little bit, utilizing a bit of a seven, opening, seven. drawing it in and out of the court, and forcing it actually up on the ball, and having maybe an easier put away. Oh, Nanette. Side out. Can be the great momentum killer. You hope those go your way. So seven, couple, eight. Quite a couple. Seven, seven. Yeah. This one to admit. Oh, that's a great from Callie Smith. Shout so out. It is Callie that's bringing the fireworks in the second half of game one. Again, best of five. What a battle to start the day. Seven, seven. Nice. 
point. Fatigue just shows you, like what we said earlier before the match started, this is the most important set for Kelly right yes. now because she's if she wins this one, she's going to believe that she actually can really, really do this. She's going to believe anyway that she can beat anybody, but it's really going to boost her confidence for the re remaining hey, seven. match. No doubt, and then not worry about placing a ball like that when just hit it, just hit out. You've got the shots. Oh, ho, ho. I saw that out. And Wayne Anderson Side confirms out. that was out. We do have replay if Callie Smith desired. She does not. That ball Seven, eight. Look clearly wide from where we sit. That's an unbelievable return right there. My goodness, the return game from Side Callie out. Smith has been tremendous. She kept it low, pushed her out off the court, and uh, kind of drew in a little bit too. And you're going to, even finally, you're going to get some higher balls that you can yes. pull up and punch away. Yeah, if you let her just roam a parallel baseline, Eight, she's going to step in it and punish it. She's so, so good to side to side. Point. Big serve there, and Callie Smith now leads 9-7. 9 7. Maybe we get lucky and see an ace. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing like that. That's a great reach. Callie just fell. Callie on the dead sprint. Side out. She's okay. Fortunately, Smith. did not okay. hit her head on Good. that roll, so. No one's tougher than Kylie Smith. Glad she's okay. Seven nine. As we talked about, she will chase down every ball. Yeah. And look at Great her ball. follow that in and has a Side fist pump to go with it. So one point after being on the deck comes flying up and finishes. That's a beautiful job by Kylie right there. Unbelievable. Let's see if she can capitalize on this now and get a point out of it. 9-7. So 9-7. Game one. What a back end. Boy. What a back end. And that ball slides down the line and hits the line. And Callie Smith has Anna Lee Waters is sitting, so I assume she's called a timeout over there. Timeout. And Receiver. She has. 10-7. So. What a rally, down six too early. She has won eight of the last nine points here. Callie Smith looking fantastic. Even been on the ground. Can she finish? We'll see when we come back. My name is Catherine Parento and I've been playing pickleball for almost six years. I travel a lot. Up to play in tournaments. I'm always on planes and I see a lot of people when I travel. I need to make sure that I stay healthy. I need to support my immune system. So that's the reason why I use the Pure Way C+. I felt like I had to always drink water over and over, but I still felt a little bit dizzy by the end of the day. But once I tried to incorporate more electrolytes in my daily life, it really helped me out. My favorite thing about the pickleball cocktail is the flavor. It tastes great. I drink the pickleball cocktail every morning to make sure that I stay hydrated throughout the whole day. It's important to drink first thing in the morning. If you wait until you play, you're usually too late. You start feeling dehydrated. When it comes to hydration, don't wait before it's too late. All right, welcome back, everybody. This is the PPA Tour. Beautiful look at the Peachtree City Tennis Center. It is a gorgeous day for pickleball with Pat Smith. Pat, what a comeback from Callie Smith here. Unbelievable run. I mean, she was just really just going painting lines almost. And uh, that's what it takes to beat an elite. And um, let's see if she can close this set out and, again, keep the, keep that momentum going and hope to make it a close Ten match for seven. all the spectators. Yep. She certainly delivered that here, and can she finish game one right here? Oh, had a good look at Side it. Out. Catches the net, so. And Nick would have come in handy on that <laughs> one. <laughs> that would have been a nice time for that. 7-10. Another gorgeous return. 
Smoking returns, which really puts the pressure on Anna Lee Waters from the jump. Second chance here for Cali. Absolutely. Line. Oh, no. And Anna Lee Waters just let up a little bit on that. Waited for Cali Smith to move and hits the tape. So Cali Smith on an absolute rampage, 9-1 to end game number one. We've got quite a match. Stay tuned for game number two. At Baird, we offer a different, more holistic approach to wealth management with your career, family, friends, and community. Finding time for you and making sure your family's financial plans are on track can be a real challenge. At Baird, our financial advisors get it. We'll partner with you to create a unique financial plan and coordinate with your legal and tax advisors to bring it all together so you have more time for what matters most. Welcome back to the PPA Tour. This is the Peachtree Classic powered by Invited. And you want to talk about who's powered game right two, now. It is Cali Smith. Zero, zero. Wins game one, hit the deck, was down four early. Impressive. She's everywhere. Couldn't get that back. Point. Much shorter return there. Set that off for Annalie Waters. One zero. Yeah. Point. Just wide and what a track down from Annalie Waters and then goes back cross court where Two it looked zero. like down the line was where the shot was going to come and there's that net court Side we out. talked about. Yeah. Because Annalie Waters appeared to be on a mission there. Zero and two. And that said you can just slow your roll literally. Side out. So there you saw Annalie Waters go for a little more on her return. Two zero. That's tremendous right there and great anticipation from both players. Point. What do I got Three to do? Zero. That is Side the out. answer right there. And I think she has done a great job of taking advantage of anything in the transition area that she can punish and come in. Zero behind. three. No. That's Point. Full stretch, Callie Smith still slides it down the line. Higher part of the net, that's impressive. What three? Point. You're so ready to hit the ball at a certain height, and then it goes up. And on two in the backhand, especially, you got to bring both your arms two, up. Two three. levers are harder to move than one. Point. 
Good point. Go, Callie. Here we go. Three, three. Point. And again, just hanging there, banging balls from the baseline, forcing Anna Lee to have to do more with it because she's been passed today. Four, three. Point. Five, three. That's a huge mountain. Hell. I mean, look at that play by Callie Smith. Point. She did what you mentioned earlier. Left it short 100%. on the approach. There's nothing to come put as much power on. And, and Lee has such an amazing drive through the, through the ball. But you can't Callie do that Smith there. on a rampage again here in game two. Dorothy, I really think you'd like the magnesium. Perfect. I'd be happy to get that shipped out to you today. Thanks, Dorothy. You too. Come on! Does he do that every time? Every time. All right, we are back. We had a huge run for Callie Smith in game one. We've had another one here. She dropped the first three points, and now she's won six straight. Six three. Time in. Six three. Two-hander right there. Out. I mean, so much left-handed. Stupid. Now. You're good. I mean, that's just outrageous. Again, I was going to say. I was always going to say she's going to pull across court because the back and roll is just three six. I mean, oh. point. Deep. Tremendous stab volley from Emily Waters on a really nice roller from the forehand side of Cali. Four six. We had an ATP in singles there from deep. Five, six. Go, Cal, let's go. Side out. It's a big miss because Callie Smith was in control of the point when she was serving last one with another drop shot. We saw the amazing answer for Anna six, Lee five. there. So keeping the lead for the confidence is big here. This point's super important right now. To see if she can stretch the lead again. Side out. Five six. You, you Point. notice for the last um, three, four or five points that Annalie was serving, Kelly's returns got short. Yeah. That's our receiver. Earlier. Can she physically six, six. sustain that and get her legs into it to create that depth into the court to push Annalie off the baseline and actually make her cover more ground with her strokes? Yeah, so everything is cumulative. And if you exert everything you got in game one of a best of five, that's going to be a problem long term. We've already seen a foot, a foot and a half off the return change right here. Could be the fact that Annalie Waters is serving a little heavier. 
We talked about that. We can feel a slight breeze here, Picking Pat. Up, yeah, a little bit. What would you tell Anna Lee Waters over here? Comes in as a pretty significant favorite. She's only lost once in singles all year. Loses game one. Has seen big runs go against her. You know, I, I would tell her just, you know, relax, play your game. Um, Kelly's playing amazing. You know, she's putting pressure on her. And uh, it is, there's, there will always be one point in the match where you can turn it around, whether it's going your way or not. And if you can capitalize on that, you can, again, you can change the momentum. And you can really switch the whole game. So she just stays mentally with it, just plays her game, doesn't get um, nervous about making some mistakes. Come in, six six. And it can turn around in a split second. There was crazy spin on that stab, and Callie read it perfectly. But again, Seven, short, maybe it's the wind now picking up a little bit. Point. That's another tremendous ball from the baseline from Anna Lee Waters. And now she's put in a run together. 8-6. It's five straight for AL. Point. But look at where the balls land right right now for AL. How far back in the, in the court of Cali they land and, and how far the balls land. Nice six. We've had a tilted court all day here. Another short return. Got a gift there that that Side was out. missed. I think she needed that one. Get a little breather. Stop the AL train here for a second. 6-9. So six straight for Anna Lee Waters. Go, Kelly! Point. Yeah. Oh, that's a mid love. <laughs> it's cruel. It's cruel. We've all had a go Seven, both nine. ways. Oh, boy. And we will always continue to have a go both ways. You just hope on the big points it goes your way. 0-0, zero, zero, no big whoop. Look how far back behind the face of Kelly is being yeah. pushed right now. Again, you know, you see a little bit of shade in the back where Kelly is, and she's been in that shade. She hasn't been able to step into the, onto the baseline at all when she was hitting out on the ball. So, again, that's AL putting pressure on her. Point. Uh, recognizing that goes Time for out. a lot Receiver. on that return. So, Ten seven. Kelly Smith. Up a game and up 6-3, but now is staring at a 7-10 deficit. So now you course correct. That's what we saw there, Pat. We've talked about she's been in the shadows. The returns are shorter. How do you find that equilibrium of getting back to the pace and the depth that you had in game one? I think you just go, again, you have to just try and stick with it. Believe, believe that you can do it. And maybe if it's harder for her to hit deep now, maybe draw her in a little bit more, keep it, keep it a little bit lower, play a bit of an opener, force her to hit, actually hit up, hit up on the ball, not being able to step in and swing out on the ball and push you back. But maybe play a little bit more of that. You might be able to get some errors out of it because that, you know it's a rhythm game and AL's getting great rhythm off the baseline right now, getting some points pretty quickly. So you have to try and break that momentum that AL has right now. Yeah, I think the, the one point you make that I love right there is that whole idea of low and shorter. Everybody thinks you got to just hit everything hard, hit everything no. hard. Well, they're going to get in a groove like you've seen both players have in this match. If it's short and you got to come up and flick it up, you're going to get an easier ball. I think, you know, one thing I think anybody always thinks the harder you hit, the better it is. And that's in pickleball, that's not correct. You can't hit very many winners. Miss Smith, zero timeout. Geometry is a lot Water, more important one that. And a certain pace. Time in. Against certain players, they love pace. Ten six. Like Some players don't like the pace. Rough, rough and both air. these girls have a lot of power, and they love the pace. Just deep there. So really really Timeout works. It was 10-7, now it's point seven saved. Ten. Your wizard has struck again, Dave. <laughs> Time in. 7-10. Powerful. Just stays in. Oh, and had the court. 
point. But the net again, not kind to Annalee Water. So a couple of those at crunch time, one that flicked over, and then that's a clean winner that is propelled wide. Well, there's two ways of looking at that. It was very kind to Kelly. Exactly. Somebody's always going to be happy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and in a moment. I think we jinxed it a little bit too early. <laughs> out. Out. Okay. Three. Try number two Ten here. Ten eight. And that'll do it. So we will play at least four for sure. Callie Smith up 6-3 in game two, and then Anna Lee Waters found it. A lot of that had to do with the depth of the ball from Callie Smith. So we'll find out now. Is it side? We'll see in game number four. What are you guys doing? Getting our duper tattoos. Oh, cool. Hey, Cameron. How's it going? Almost done. Perfect. Can't wait to see your number. Number? Duper. Because ratings shouldn't be a surprise. Download the app and claim your free profile today. Ah, 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 ah. I haven't even started yet. Oh. Ah. Our pickleball paddle answers the age-old question of how to get paddle speed and control with the same paddle and one grip, and this is it. Pro XR gives you more spin, greater control, and quicker reloads on every shot in the game because you always have that constant feel for that leverage and control and paddle speed that we're all looking for. Pro XR is the most revolutionary technology in pickleball. All right, everybody, welcome back. Dave Fleming with one of the top players in the world, Pat Smith, in the booth with me today. And, Pat, we have had quite a show so far today. It's been a mirror image, honestly. Yes. Both sets, one top, big in the first, uh, in the first half of, this, of each, point. each game, and then uh, the other person, the other girl, uh, turns around and wins it. And right out of the gate here, Callie Smith. One zero! Depth of shot has improved immediately. Get that? She dove. Double bounce. Double Not bounce out. on that. What an effort, though. You know, it'd be interesting to see now if, Zero uh, one. How, how much depth AL is able to get on this side with her shots. Because if she can't get depth on this side Side out. Then, uh, I, I saw that out. Really starting to play a factor. So you're going to know which way the wind's blowing and, and helping yeah. or not. Yeah, this will sort of show us his side. The, one zero. You know, really the queen of this court here. Yeah. This volley before that because Anna Lee on the dead sprint hooked a cross court dipper. And Kelly getting that low, that hurts my back. Two zero. She doesn't miss leg day to be able to no. get there. No, no, no. Look at this insanity. Oh no! Great scrambling, Kelly. What a bird take a deep breath. Point. You do a little, yeah. yeah, this is why you let the ball. Yeah. 
This is that's savvy veteran moment here. Whether she needed the towel or not, she needed the towel. She needed the towel. Three zero. So again, a run to start here. Three quick ones. That's good. And again, I think, I think one side actually does help. Time out, receiver. You know, um, it looks like Kelly, when she hits the ball, is penetrating through the court yeah. more right now. Another early timeout. So this is interesting to say the least because the player on the side, Callie Smith, is currently playing, has been able to dictate the points in general, not every time, because where the ball is landing is within inches of the baseline path. Correct, yeah, and it, it seems like, you know, now again, just like earlier, AL was able to push Kelly further back. From this angle, this vantage point, it just looks like hey, Kelly's able to push AL back again. Her ball's a little bit deep again. Before, uh, like I said, they penetrate through the court, they, they skip a little bit more again, so there's a little bit more force behind it, and they don't float as much, so it forces again, AL to put some more pressure on her. And, uh, Kelly's, if Kelly keeps, is Kelly, if Kelly's able to keep going, man, you know, even AL might feel some pressure every now and then. Yeah, I mean, if this, if this keeps up, for sure. Here comes a bit more breeze. And that Side is out. an absolute missile Ooh, ripped right down the Rhine. Holy smokes. Because... Callie Smith cannot hit a better approach than that. No, not at all. Zero four. Look at her scamper, my goodness. Point. Okay, so that breaks the four-point start for Smith here in game number three. Again, best of five, everybody, so this is not a deciding game. Again, third, one, four. third game in a row where one of the two has a big big lead to start out the, the game. And that's a good, deep Point. approach from Anna Lee Waters there. So, folks, if you have an aspiration to play singles pickleball, I think you have seen today that two, depth four. of shot is the magic and if you don't i don't blame you at all <laughs> that's just too good there yeah Boy. singles hurts pat let's be honest hey there's a reason i don't play i mean you're like it's only 44 by 20 we a lot of us like yourself and myself played a lot of tennis on a much bigger court but this thing it freaking hurts it's a lot of lateral movement yes. and um the ball does not bounce like it does in tennis. And in tennis, you can three, four. an ace and yes. get a couple of three points and make you feel a lot better. <laughs> and Kyle guesses cross Point. court and Anna Lee just slides it down the line, as you can see right here. Step the wrong way. You got to anticipate. If I was Kelly, I would just honestly just slow roll that ball back. And just a little bit of fair gamesmanship here. Catch your breath, you know. Try to get a four, little four. bit of a break there. That is just an absolutely punch-perfect volley to be able to put that thing within two inches of the timeout. line on the ball before. Five, four. And now we've got Callie Smith calling timeout. So everyone's calling timeout, as well they should. And a 4 nothing deficit has been erased just like that by Anna Lee Waters. We'll be back to see if she can keep it going after this. Happy birthday, Matt. Oh, thanks, Lucy. Oh, wow. And another one. Oh, you shouldn't have. I have one more surprise for you. Okay. Oh, come on. I love it, babe!
All right, everybody, welcome back. Good look at Anna Lee Waters. Now it is her. I'm in. On five, four. The run. She's got five in a row. Callie Smith has called timeout. Point. And again, so much pressure. Six four. That's just so good. Point. Man. Because your body position to be able to hit a two-handed backhand there, you have to leave your left hand behind instead of pulling through like we saw with the cross-court two-hander before, and that is as good as it gets right there, Pat. She, she waited as long as she could to decide which way she's going to hit that ball. Seven, four. And, uh, she, got, you know, she got Kelly guessing, and uh, unfortunately, Kelly guessed the wrong way for her. But, but again, Point. here, you know, I think... The amount of pressure Annalise is putting on her, keeping the ball deep, is um, slowly even wearing down somebody with an amazing shape like Kelly. Eight, four. Physically strong and fit. Side out. goes for a little too much angle there, does Annalie Waters, but she is rolling. There's a good look at Callie Smith, Utah's four, favorite. 4-8. Eight. Seen eight points in a row. Go for Anna Lee Waters. Let's go! So that breaks the string right there. Point! You know, in this game, AL really hasn't missed much at all. I mean, this was, a, yeah. if I recall correctly, but this might have been the only the first two that she's missed back to back. Yeah, just. She's playing so clean. So when you're playing that precise Five, and that eight. clean, that is sometimes you just got to tip your cap. You don't want to do it, but it it is reality. What else sometimes. are you going to do? Exactly. Okay. Let's go. Your opponent's not playing better. She's not playing amazing. Fantastic. That's what the fans want. It's what we want. Just high level. Come into Sunday and play at your absolute best, and then let the best player win. Six eight. There you go. Great, Point. So, obviously, what starts the whole process of depth is going for your serve in singles. Mm -hmm. Seven eight. I think it's weight. The serve is definitely a much much bigger factor and more important in singles than it is in doubles. And that's why and suddenly from, so we went, I guess we're handing out packs of four here. Four zip, two packs, eight four, Anna Lee Waters, one pack of four, Callie Smith, and we got snowmen on the board here in September in Atlanta. It's eight eight. Let's see if we can get another four pack. You know, <laughs> it'd be kind of funny to see that. It's uh, just, for those that have played a solo sport, tennis, whatever, to have that internal confidence when you're down and when you're being pushed takes a lot out of you mentally too, Pat. You know, I know you coach. What do you tell your students or even yourself when you are feeling like you're playing great and you got to find another level? You know, the, one, the, the hardest thing I think in any kind of uh, sport like this, whether it's pickleball tennis, is not to drag the previous point into the next point because you, you've got to try and trick your mind and really try to neutralize that. And so have, you have a totally fresh mind each point. And again, the best players can master, they master that. They Time in. Don't worry about it. If they make or hit a winner, it doesn't affect them at all. And just by each point at a time, and therefore able to really focus and execute their next shots. Oh my goodness. Oh, she said that up <laughs> Not out. She's even saying that was so good. Just came up just short on the forehand. She had Anna Lee lunging eight, eight. the other direction. What a cruel game this thing is sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
that's a perfect response. Like, Start she's out. Really going, she's a, uh, she, it seems like she is believing herself. She uh, is sure. in a very good spot, even though it's a close match. She bit, she bit an error that she wants back. She probably misses that one out of a hundred. And um, what a great response to come back, and get the serve back. Did exactly what you talked about. Just that eight last eight. point was over and came out and played a great receiving it point. Off, yeah. relaxed. Just goes for a little too much, but Start she out. got there. And that's one of the things that makes Annalise so good. If she gets stretched on that, she can roll cross court on both wings. And it makes her dangerous because she just has all the options in that case. And her back and roll is probably on the run, her best shot she yes. might have. On top of that, not a lot of people have that guy or girl. 8 right. 8! Smith on the dead run. Painting lines again. <laughs> That's what it takes. And she's got the fist Start in there. And the come on decibel level is going up. So the snowman and Olaf are proud that 8 8 has maintained its presence here. 8 8! I guess we broke the cycle here so far. Just a tremendous point of women's pickleball singles right there. Both players out, stretched. I mean, again, she waited as long as she could to decide to see which way Kelly's moving. And what else are you going to do if you're Kelly? You stay <laughs> hey, He's getting these amazing passing shots back. And another one comes, and another one comes. Got to play the next point and put pressure the return. on. Out. So the serve and return game has, again, gotten her back at eight all. Again, that ball looked like it really eight eight. through the court there. And, um, you know, this court is a little different than some of the other ones. It plays a little bit different. Yeah. Oh, and that stays wow. in from Callie Smith. We are covering sideline to sideline. Ball's hitting the line. This is nuts. We met Leah Jensen say, wow. Point. Yes, uh, one of the best singles players is sitting just to our right. And when you get other pros going, wow, that that tells you Not something eight. happened special there. We're good. Oh, she blow about that one. You know, it's interesting with singles matches, sometimes you don't get a lot of energy because the points are shorter. Somebody is dominating one way or the other. This is as good as it gets right here because of the quality these ladies are playing it and the hustle and determination. Thought Who out. can get Eight, to nine. the finish line here in game three? Who wants it more? Point! That's the thing. That ball floated. Gave, gave Al a lot of time. And you saw Callie Smith dejectedly say, stop moving. She moved too early there. We talked about Anna Lee will hold it, but at that time she telegraphed where that was going to be. 99. Ridiculous. Come on, Callie Smith. Are you kidding me? Boy, I mean, I think that's worth Start a come out. on straight towards AL. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's and those, those come ons, they, they have a, a recipient in mind. There's yeah, no absolutely. doubt about it. Yeah, it's absolutely. Well, she probably has one of the best, best come on stare downs in the game. And it's part of the package, isn't it, Pat? No, no. Look at this. 
Anna Lee Waters Same pushes point. that deep. She came back and was up 8-4, and it is now game point for Callie Smith at 10 10 nine. Sometimes the easiest pulls are the hardest ones to hit. And again, the forehand inside out saves it. I love the aggressive point. That wasn't a tight point by Callie at all. Mm -hmm. Went for it. Not 10. Point. Just wide in the net is a factor. It's going to take more than 11, Pat. You've got to win by two. 10 10. Out there, wouldn't you just wish you could live straight? Make it a lot easier. <laughs> yes, it would. And that was a point where we've point. seen Callie take one of those shorter balls, and, and she dictated and pushed the pace. Now we got a game point on the I'm other out. side. I think on that one, I mean, it's easier said than done, but I think she could have come in. She had two tremendous yes. like, deep returns, pushing in like, AL back. She could have maybe seized that opportunity, but again, easier said than done. So we got uh, Annalise. So you see Annalise Waters getting instruction from her mother. What a battle here. And this is just the first of five finals today. We'll be right back with the conclusion. I think it's 120 milligrams. Let me check on that really quick. It's 125. Oh, it's 125 milligrams. UPS or FedEx for this one? FedEx, they deliver on Saturday. It's three minutes on high. It's pound, then the number. Orange evokes energy and vitality. Black shows soft. How does he know all this stuff? Strength. That's always right. Yellow shows unknowns, things that are unclear. We need to, we need to dive into the yellow more. Not today. Breaks over. You drop something. That's a wicked backhand. Welcome back, everybody. The level is extraordinary. The tension right now is extraordinary. Will we have an extraordinary point to finish this? Callie Smith had a game point, played it aggressive, just got beat by a better shot. There are Emily zero Waters. timeouts left this game. Time in. You're good. What a great show these girls are putting on here. I mean, fantastic. 11 10. High level. Oh, and that just says Point deep, game. so very few errors from Callie down the stretch, but at the worst possible time, pushes a backhand, flies it deep, and it is Anna Lee Waters up two games to one. So, back and forth and back and forth. We'll see if Callie can force a game five when we come back. You don't get the moments everyone talks about without the moments no one sees. Early morning practice, late night drills, running it over and over. You don't get the crowd without the quiet. Everyone sees the glory, the medal, the podium, but every winning shot starts right here. Paddle Tech, let's go again. Miss hit the ball. I know I miss hit the ball a lot. Um, so speak for yourself. For <laughs> <laughs> ah! We 
are invited, bringing people together since 1957. We are the largest donor of pickleball courts nationwide, with 973 courts across the country. Our members enjoy an incredible lifestyle beyond the courts, with 3,906 holes of championship golf across the country, exquisite dining, first-class amenities, and extraordinary experiences. We are proud to hold this event at the Peachtree City Tennis Center and the clubs of Peachtree City in Georgia. There's what they're playing for, and boy, are they having to earn it here this morning. Dave Fleming with the great Pat Smith and one of the best singles matches I have ever seen because of the level and what's at stake here, Pat. Absolutely. I mean, these girls are just leaving it all out there. Kelly did such an amazing job. Side out. And just deep there, we've seen games of runs. We had a 4-0 lead zero. for Kelly Smith, an 8-4 lead for Annalie Waters in game three. Annalie Waters then saw herself have to stare down a match point. I saw that out. Or excuse me, a game point and saved point. it. I think one of the things that's Video most important for Kelly is that she the call gets scored. a quick call on the court really is because AL has the upper hand right in. now. So, so we've got a first challenge of in. championship Sunday here, that. and she uh, thought it was out. Anna Lee thought she saw her ball in. So let's set the referees. We've got uh, Wayne call Anderson the is the out. referee who's been calling the score. Walt Hooker and Isabel Gautier are the second referees. Stan Brown's our tracking referee. And this decision sits in Carolyn Duncanson's hands as our video referee. So, got to have a timeout to challenge. Obviously, we're 0-0, so everybody's got their timeouts available. Interesting place to use. You know, you always, you know, it's, it's NFL Sunday here. Do you challenge a five-yard call in, in the first quarter. This is the same thing, 0-0. But if, you, if you're if you sure you saw it in, why not? Because you don't lose a timeout if you're Absolute, right. Absolutely. you got a couple. So why not use them? We yeah. haven't seen one yet, and it's been three games. So it's been a very, very fair, cold match and uh, yes. with a lot of lines hit. So if you really believe that ball is in, then uh, go for it. Why not? Yeah, and there's a mental component to that too, Pat, because some players, if you miss a call, you might – Internally, go. Oh no! I, you know, like you lose that laser focus that these two ladies have had Absolutely. all day. It's also a big point for Callie, right? If she, you know, the ball is out and she calls it out and she, she wins this challenge, or uh, loses it, then uh, she goes up one zero. You know, so only ten more points she has to win for this game. Exactly. I mean, we saw it. You had to go extra pickleball in game number three. It took twelve. So we got the referees huddling up to make sure we got the score right. Yeah, she would only need three more to get the four, the magic four <laughs> in a row. Exactly. It just felt like 12 had to win when we were going in fours. I mean, exactly. thankfully the players paid that off. So I like when you guys do that for yeah, me. Thank you, ladies. All right, here comes the call. Call is that return. The ball was in. And Lee will be serving. The score is 0-0. Zero, zero. All right. So, Anna Lee saw something, challenged it, wins the challenge. So, guess what? The scoreboard doesn't change. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. So, um, and, and there are no video challenges. No, no, Hopefully no it doesn't affect Kelly now. Right, because... Your call. Time Maybe in. Zero, zero. Deep. Caught the line. Great serve in the And just clobbering balls in the middle of the Point. court. One, zero. She needs to try whatever she can right now to stop this. You know, stop the momentum that AL has and not get down big. That's just wide. Point. Two zip. Anna Lee Waters. It was out. Two zero. And now those Point. shorter returns are getting absolutely punished with low penetrating ground strokes. You know, it's, um, let's see. Let's see what Kelly, how bad does Kelly want this now? I'm sure she wants it really bad. Yeah. But, you know, 
what's uh, in the tank to, to deliver the best. Yeah, we need to she needs to figure out how to get that foot off, off the gas for AL. She's definitely slowed the pace here, and Annalie Waters is frustrated. 3 0! That's okay, as long as the rip doesn't say anything. Yeah. Point! That's probably what you want to do anyway. You want yeah. to kind of annoy your opponent a little bit. Yeah, I mean, all of it matters, especially in a singles environment. There's Four zero. two people on the, on the court, period. Oh, and the net won't kiss it Point. over. And Anna Lee Waters, five straight to start game number four, and she's got a two Time games out. to one lead. Five and zero. Kyle Smith will call timeout. So Anna Lee Waters coming out very hot after saving a game point in game number three. Will she be able to keep this train flying down the tracks? We'll see after this. Johns? What do we got, Prento? Another one. Shame. Third one this week. Any suspects? Not yet. We'll send these to the lab. All right. Let's take a look. What do you think? Bring me the jigsaw. All right, welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming with the great Pat Smith. And my goodness, Anna Lee Waters is on point here to start game number four. Five straight to start. Callie Smith's called timeout. Here we go. Oh, and a miss return. Hate to do that when you were the one that called timeout. Yeah, definitely uh, can be very demoralizing. You can see, I mean, it's been, been a very, Six very zero. game. Hopefully Kelly can turn it around. I'm sure the crowd would love that. Yeah, there you go. Flying through the air with the forehand punch finish there. That's well done, Callie Smith. Okay. Runs have been the name of the game here. Let's see if uh, Callie's got one of her own. It's been six though, not four. Zero right. six. So the net uh, gets involved going both Point. directions. Sometimes that's the little catalyst you need. <laughs> One sec. Very, very true. Let's see. That's just, that's a really good volley by Callie Smith and Anna Lee Waters is like, thank you. And I'm going to punch that into the open court. I think she's wrong there. No. She just, yeah, he'll just guess right and. 6 1! You know, that anticipation is such a huge part of the sport, singles and doubles, and you can't play at the highest level if you don't have it, and that's, that's just too good. Point! If you look up just pure filth in the dictionary, <laughs> that's what it is right there. Four and cross court roll, short hop it. Callie Smith is counting the number of holes in the Dura Fast 40. The answer is 40. She got to about 25. Seven. Really playing slow now. Back to the receiver. Back Seven to one. Uh, I'll recall that score. Seven one. Point. She's begging her legs to be able to drive through that is Callie Smith. 
Look at that hustle still. But Anna Lee Water swats that away with disdain. I am on this. He's never ever going to give up, no matter what. And uh, but you mentioned another time. Time out. I mean, Not every one. last reservoir must be tapped here. So the deficit is 9-1. Obviously, Annalie Waters is feeling very good, as she should. If you're Callie, what do you do? I don't know right now. I think you just have to try and stay with it. You know, hope maybe you get a lucky break. You know, that might change it again. And uh, But it's a very, very, very steep mountain to climb right now. What is it, 8-1, three points away from the championship for Annalie. Yeah, I think we're actually at 9 1, so 9 1 2 away here. Uh, and the, you know, you push yourself till you, not that you break, but that you just, there's no more to give. And the, the match that has been delivered here, you know, it takes two for a great fight. Yes, yeah, so if one person plays great, good for them, but it's not a fun and entertain. This is the entertainment business. Callie Smith has put on an unbelievable entertaining show. She's going to try everything she can to get the ball back, but the level for Anna Lee Waters has been able to stay at the same. Callie's just not quite where it was earlier. Let's see if she can get back to it right here. Absolutely. Time is nine one. Give a couple quick points, maybe. Save those legs. Gets a big oh, two hander. Out. So gets the ball back. That's step one. Timeout works for. One nine. Her. That's Time out. I don't think she would have missed that in game one, two, no. or three. Again, Callie Smith's back to Anna Lee Waters here. 9-1. Very sharp probe approach. <laughs> it sure is. That point. return goes deep, and Anna Lee Waters has a match point. 10-1. And a punch into the open court, finishes oh, it in, in a tremendous battle from both players. Huge cap tip to Callie Smith, but it is Anna Lee Waters, your singles champion at the Peachtree Classic, powered by Invited. What a match. We'll be back, and Hannah Johns will talk to the winner. we offer a different, more holistic approach to wealth management with your career, family, friends, and community. Finding time for you and making sure your family's financial plans are on track can be a real challenge. At Baird, our financial advisors get it. We'll partner with you to create a unique financial plan and coordinate with your legal and tax advisors to bring it all together so you have more time for what matters most. Our new EV rental fleet is the absolute goat. Nice. Speaking of goats, is that Tom Brady? Yeah. He comes in to recharge, gets software updates, you know. Same time next week? You got it. Cool. Let's go. On your six, ladies. The world will get back on its feet. We'll help you stay on yours. What's your secret? Oh, it's no secret. 
needs the expert help I got at Foot Solutions. Make an appointment at FootSolutions.com. Well, welcome to Center Court. I'm with a very excited Anna Lee. She's come away with her first title of the day. Anna Lee, walk me through this. Callie played just so tough. She won that first game. She was up in the second game. What were you thinking at that point? Yeah, well, Callie and I have played in a final, I think, a couple months ago, but it's been a couple months since she's been in one, so I think she came out here ready to play. She came out firing balls. They came out a little slow. Um, I think overall in the entire match, I was getting better as the match was going on, and in the end, I finished on a good note, but the beginning was definitely a little interesting. <laughs> well, this is one of the hardest matches Callie has pushed you in, I believe, at least in the last six months. Does this only motivate you to get stronger, faster, better? It definitely does. I'm very thankful that my mom was on the sideline coaching me because I was doing a couple things that I don't usually do. So hopefully next time I play her, I'll be back on my game and it won't be as close as this time. Well, this takes down one of three titles today for you. You're going to vie for the other two later on today. Which of these titles would mean the most to you? I think probably the one with my mom would mean the most to me just because last tournament we didn't do so great and I love playing with her and I want to play with her as long as possible. So I want to keep our confidence high and I always enjoy getting titles with my mom. She's back here looking for revenge, guys. Well, with that, we're going to bring Curtis Quant from Invited Country Clubs on court now to present your trophy. Curtis. Hi there. On behalf of uh, Invited, the Petrie City Tennis Center, the community of Petrie City, congratulations on your win. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> right. Give her another round of applause, guys. We'll be right back with our next matchup. Don't go anywhere. Are you looking for content? Are you looking to up your game by watching some of the best content in the game? Make sure to go over to the McGuffin Pickleball Club YouTube channel. You can check out educational videos. You can check out my vlogs with my family, or you can check out the McGuffin Show. Subscribe today to the McGuffin Pickleball Club. Not yet, buddy. New People Pickleball. All right, welcome back, folks. There's a good view of this beautiful facility. This is the Peach Tree Classic, powered by Invited, and this is one of their wonderful properties throughout the United States. Thrilled to be here on the PPA tour, and Pat Smith. 
This is sort of the matchup that everybody wondered would we get here. You certainly didn't want this. You would have loved to have been playing, obviously. Definitely not. Definitely not what you wanted to see. When we last saw this match, it even got a name, the Battle at Brigham. It was one of the highest octane men's matches I've ever seen. Matt and Riley were firing every ball that they could, speeding it up. What do you think is going to happen today on the other side of the court to kind of squelch some of that? I think Ben and Colin definitely you know, are very, very smart players. You know, they can analyze and read the game very well and adapt. Um, obviously, if Colin has amazing resets and Ben, you don't have to say anything about his hands and the power that he has to generate and the way he reads, it, he reads the game. I think they're going to anticipate Matt and Riley um, trying to bang the balls at them again like they did in the last match. And uh, if they can weather the storm and slow it down, I think that's going to be the key. Who's going to decide this? If they can play, uh, play more chess. Yeah. And uh, again, weather the first attack from Riley and uh, Matt. Uh, but I do anticipate these two to totally just go uh, right at him immediately. Yeah, the, I think this first game is going to be interesting. And this, again, pickleball is on the rise. Now we have body paint. We got Matt Scott Four fans with his name on it, as you can see on the screen there. So we got everything going on here. But I do think this first game, you know, Riley Newman talked. Hey, we won. We're the team. We're doing it. They want to establish that again. And if Ben and Colin, you know they had this circle. They didn't get a chance to get them in Cincinnati because Riley Newman was out throwing a first pitch in Seattle. So this will be fun. This is a this is a bragging rights match as well. Oh, 100%. And it's, these are clearly the two best teams. I mean, they've established that. And to live like that all year long. Um, they've been pretty much in almost any every final day of every tournament that all four played. So, certainly so, they played amazing yesterday. You know, Matt and Riley got pushed twice yesterday. Yes, you know, I, I, that's the first I think all year long. Um, JW and Dylan had them at match point, a little bit. And then Tyler and Spencer were playing amazing against them too. And they had them on the ropes a little bit as well. So, you know, let's see uh, what they have today. And, um, I think since it's a bit of an earlier match, if the, if, if the men's doubles was one of the later ones, I think it would be a bit of a different game just because it's going to be warmer, the ball's going to slow down a little bit. It might benefit Ben and Colin a little bit, bit more to slow the ball. Um, but again, this is going to be an absolutely amazing match and uh, can't wait to see what both sides have in store for each other. Yeah, if we get the same entertainment level that we got from the ladies' singles, we are absolutely in for a treat. You know, you did mention, and uh, we'll go to that, J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier had a ball on J.W. Johnson's paddle on match point that he just pushed deep, and then Newman and Wright were able to finish that off. So that's how this goes. You can be fractions away from moving on or playing in the back draw, and it was literally a quarter of an inch was the difference. We've all been there, and it's cruel. I mean, it really is. Um, but uh, I'm actually kind of excited uh, to see these two teams battle out again, um, especially after the, uh, the Battle of Brigham. So let's see. Let's see who's got the better strategy now. Let's see who are able to adapt. If Colin and Ben were able to adapt to their loss in Brigham. Yeah, Matt Wright played probably the best match I've seen that man play, certainly in 2022. His speed ups were on point, picking the right spots, and he was really dictating the play when he got the ball on that forehand. Let me ask you this, Dave. You know, you bring him obviously altitude, ball flies through the ball. It's a little bit faster. Do you think that affected it compared to here? Yeah, I mean, I think there's no question that uh, you had altitude, colder. Here it's going to be warmer, a little slower. You would think that would favor Colin and Ben. Let's play pickleball. Okay, and the, uh, the, the painted boys are going to be bringing energy Still from good one. the get-go. I love it. Yeah. 
just Point. sails deep. Oh, my. Okay, so we've got four Rowdy fans with M-A-T-T on them. And uh, for Matt and Riley, that is going to just add even more to their usual interaction with the crowd. Just to set the players, if you're new to this, that's Ben Jones crushing Second the ball. Third. He's the top player in the game, but the younger brother to Colin Johns, who's in the one, zero, on the two. other side, a very accomplished tennis player. There you see Riley Newman, and that's Matt Wright, and here they come. Point. You know, it'd be interesting to see if Colin can play with some confidence here. Yes. You know, because he's so good. Two, zero, zero, two. He needs to um, be a little less I hate to use the term passive, but um, a little bit more aggressive at times against these two. Newman jump in front of him on a ball. He's going to absolutely clobber, but clearly in the kitchen there as Zero, he came two, across. One. So I'm not sure if Riley really needed to take that no, one. No. That was right there. Man is one of the best over. It's point in the game. And there's a good move by Colin Johns, known as CJ. So if you hear us refer to one, CJ, two, that one. of course would be Colin Johns. We can't say the last name over there because they're brothers. the pattern that was working Second consistently serve. in Utah. We talked about the battle at Brigham. That was at Brigham City, Utah. One, two, two. Matt Wright speeding it up, setting up either himself or his partner, Riley Newman. Sat down. Two, one, one. Second serve. That's what I was talking about. Yes. Colin being a little bit more aggressive. I know his first, you know, his first instinct is always two, to one, two. the ball, but he's got a very good counter himself, and he, he just needs to trust it. Point. That's tremendous hands by Riley Newman riding along the rope that is the kitchen line. One thing that Riley does very, very, very Three, well one, two. Is, you know, when he attacks, he slides middle immediately. And if you're countering, Point. it's most balls are naturally just going to go down the middle and Riley reads that pattern. So, it, you know, ben, it'll be Four, one, two. ben and Colin can actually punch behind Riley a little bit to keep him honest, the one. And also weather that point in the middle there. Point. This is the start that Newman and Wright definitely wanted. They're up 5 1 early. And it's that first, Five, one, two. That first punch, that fourth. The return's got to be better because they're going to be attacking every third. Matt Wright's lob game on point to start. Yes, sir! And point. they are talking to everybody. They got painted up teenagers over there. <laughs> it's, this is the recipe for Wright and Newman to Six, keep one, two. going. Oh, they got what they wanted there. That feeling Side out. that one. I <laughs> know. <laughs> one, six, one. Don Stanley, you heard his call in the kitchen earlier. That'll wake you up if you're not paying full attention. Second serve. See you again down the middle of the counter. One, six, have two. Have that paddle out in front and just try to go straight down the line if possible. And Sign up. And a couple of missed thirds here from Ben Johns earlier. So this is absolutely the concoction that Newman and Wright would have wanted to start with. That roll 
hole Six deep. Point. And Newman is coming at Ben Johns with absolutely Time out receiving no team, seven, one, one. Why would you? Everybody's human. And Ben has amazing hands. Um, definitely some of the best, if not the best in, in the game. But so does Riley. We'll be back after this. Ben, you've got to give it up. You're stepping out of bounds. I'm so close, Parento. This goes all the way to the top. I'm talking refs, commentators, food vendors! But how can you prove this? It's so simple. Bring me the jigsaw. Dave Fleming back here with Pat Smith and Pat. The Johns don't use timeouts a lot, and usually when they do, they just sort of hang out. Lengthy conversation right there between Ben and Colin. See what was on that agenda. Certainly not that. Well, they've got a freight train running their way right now. I mean, they're just getting over power. Eight, right one, now. one. Oh, running in lob. Second dollar. serve. High confidence level of one million. That's a that's a eight one point right there. I've never seen a running in lob. Eight one two minutes, actually. Oh, now it's skipping off the line and staying on. Point. So it's going to be real important for the Johns boys to stay together. Their family, when they lost that match Nine, at one, the Battle two. of Brigham, they got separated a little bit. Their chemistry was not ideal. That's a good ball by Shut Ben out. Johns there. So we talk about sometimes you may not get all the way back in a game, although certainly capable, but to stamp your... One, hey, nine, these, one. Are, these are patterns that we want, not the pattern you guys are dictating can still happen here in game one. I think one of the most important things we've been in call right now is, you know, even though they're, you know, they're down 8-1, 9-1. Second serve. It's more finding a rhythm. Yes. Not necessarily about necessarily winning this first game. It's finding a rhythm, establishing themselves in this one, game. 1-9-2. Being in the match more than winning this first game. Out. And there is just oozing confidence as Riley Newman swats Nine, that one, one. The pancake grip. Oh my, Matt Wright. Point. Everything going their way. And we are at a game point in record time considering Ten, the one, one. opponent on the other side here. Looks like Matt and Riley have a plane to catch you. <laughs> and some interesting lob serve. decision choices are the only thing not going. That was a lob and crash there, Pat. Yeah, again, a 10-1 point. 10-1-2. You a Benul, Benul <laughs> lob. That's exactly what it is. The left hand get by Riley Newman. Point there. game, switch ends. And that kisses off Matt sorry, right sorry. there. So they do Sign out. get the ball back, but the mountain is enormous. 110 1. -ten, 
Point. Yeah, nice. in the middle of some of the riddles. Sometimes. That was a good riddle there. The riddle is are Two, ten, nine one. more of those. Second serve. I mean, two ten two. Newman and Ritter are just prancing around this court. Point. Just wide on that sort of inside out flick. You know, but again, for Ben and Colin right now, Matt and Riley playing very Three, well. 2 They're making their shots. You know, can they stay in mentally? To turn this around. If somebody can, it's probably those two. Point. 110 is now 410. 410 2. Side out. Con not able to get that one back over. So, third game point here. Timeout receiving team. And 10, 4, 1. Using both timeouts in a game. I don't know if that's happened in months. So, we saw some loose choices at 10, 1. Let's see if they come back and do it by the buck at 10, 4. We'll be back to see that after this. say to you we can do this the easy way or the hard way <laughs> bring me the jigsaw all right welcome back everybody Dave Fleming with Pat Smith third shot at game number one for Time in, 10-4-1. Right Second serve. Okay, missed third. That's the first. 10-4-2. Most of the time, the returns go there, so the fact that Matt even got one, okay. Side out. So four chances. Two missed thirds, they didn't have to do anything out of the timeout. You want to talk about the timeout wizard, that was the timeout sorcerer right there. Yeah. Didn't four, have to ten, one. except the return. Is that nice sometimes? I mean, a bit calling them in. Really appreciate that. And there Point. is what we talked about off the air during the timeout. We saw our, how's the chemistry with the brothers look good. They were actually laughing with each Five, other. Five ten one. Now Colin lights one up and gets a winner. Point. Nice return and careful six ten. I think one thing that you, Six, ten, um, one. you know, one thing that a lot of people underestimate that they don't see, um, you know, Colin doesn't get as much credit as I think he deserves because it's very Point. difficult to be a right side yes. player at times because you don't just get many balls. So when you actually do get a ball, you get the occasional dink or you get a ball muck five. Seven, ten, one. And it's uh, being able to be alert without hitting a ball and staying in rhythm is probably even harder to play the left, left side when you hit constantly move. And it is eight. Come out receiving one, team, eight, ten, now, one. Out of nowhere, right in Newman are having to call timeout at ten one. We saw a crazy lob crash move from Matt Wright. And now four game points saved. Johns have used two timeouts, and they are at eight ten one. And we got the magic number four again. <laughs> so it is the number of the day, and my goodness. The problem here, if you're right in Newman, is 
that little bit of tension and uneasiness gone from the from the John side. What would you tell Matt and Riley here? You know, they've been playing so well. Just keep playing the game. Keep the, keep the pedals to the middle and keep going. What are we doing right? You know, easier than done not to throw out, you know, lobs or miss shots. Nobody wants to miss that, but you really want to every point matters because it can turn around in a heartbeat and a loose shot here and there can really bite you in the rear end very, very quickly. Yeah, you know, bring your best stuff here. Time in, 8-10-1. That's a point. beautiful counter by Colin Johns in 9-10, eight in a row. Nine, ten, one. Still on a one. The middle is where it's safe on the right and the inside. That's pretty much a neutral zone. Colin showing the I could attack this. Lob. Wind held that one up. See Ben not in a hurry. Just caught the line. Feel like an eruption's coming here, whoever takes this. There's a two-handed backhand down the line after a very patient point at 9-10. My goodness. Boy, they not ten two. been back there as long as they could. Second chance to tie it. Great try. And that is wide, point. and they have come all the way back. Unbelievable. Nine straight, still have the ball, emptied the ten, ten, two. and the focus is significant on the brother's side. I think the two Johns have arrived in this final. And that is point. out, and we are at a game point for the Johns. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it was 1-10. 11-10-2. Ten, ten, are coming the other way. Unbelievable. 11 points in a row for the Johns brothers. That's what a comeback looks like. That's what Championship Sunday looks like. Unbelievable. Will Newman and Wright have an answer in game two. Each shot has its own strategy. Each player, their own style. Whether you dink it, drive it, lob it, drop it, bang it, or spin it is entirely up to you. But we do keep score. We recognize the winners. Podiums are earned. If you want an edge, you best work for it. Electrum, earn your edge. It's all up to me, nothing can get in my way And when they ask, what are you gonna do next? I'll say, I'm going! Oh. <laughs> We're going to Margaritaville! You can go 
to Margaritaville too. Visit MargaritavilleResorts.com. Dropping a lot of money on sunglasses. Here's a great look at the finish of game number one, and it is the chest bumping coming up from the Johns brothers and not right in Newman. So let's just reset what just happened there. 10 1, Newman and Wright. They got body paint in the crowd. They're high fiving everybody, they're lob crashing. And they just lose 11 points in a row. Game two, Tommy and Javil two. Coming from the other side, and they're a game in the hole. Unbelievable. I mean, the biggest difference was that, you know, Colin started countering, like I said at the beginning. Yeah. You know, he didn't Point. Not expect it from him all the time. You know, because he resets all the time. And he keeps it short, but. One, zero, two. You have to be a threat. Absolutely. Side nice out. little roll from Colin there, so. You know, we said, oh, we were watching them from across the court. What's Zero, going on one, when one. they called that second time out? And they were laughing. So the chemistry's there for the brothers. And my goodness, is the game there. What a defense of the ATP by Colin. And a great Point. lead by Ben Johns there. So. Look at this one calling. He's got confidence now. That was what I was talking to you earlier in the break. One, one, He's one. A confident player. He needs Ben to be feel, feel like Ben's in his corner at all time, even with himself missing. Wow. Point. That goes well out as. You saw Colin faded to the right, so two, the one, location one. was right, just the depth of shot too much. Oh, yeah! Second serve. Okay. Two, one, two. that middle of the court. They know they can't get hurt there. And it's Colin Point. Johns now firing away when there's a dink that's up a little. If they let their neutral go to Three, the one, neutral two. on the other side, then why bother? So Colin really stepping up his game here and the scoreboard shows it. Another counter from Point. Colin. He's waiting on it. You know, he's expecting that to come now. And it's a different. He's sliding right. And, and there is a back. lot of Four, one, two. going on between the players right now. Look at that drive. My goodness. Great handle, Matt Wright. which was handled by Matt right there. Colin has really upped his level. One for one. You don't see Ben Law very many times. No, I was stunned by that choice. I wish he did that on his knees. <laughs> Second serve. And a much better stuck fourth by Colin Johns there too. If you leave that in the middle, you're, one, you're four, two. at their mercy. A good volley, you are in control. Point. Oh, Ben wants that one back yeah. for sure. He was on it just a little off the line. 2-4-2. Two, two. I think one of the biggest difference right now also is that, you know, Ben and, ben and Colin are, are able to extend the points. Yeah. Side out. Longer, slowing it down. And they're keeping the balls a little short and untackable for Riley Matt to pull the trigger. So even Four, if two, you decide to pull the trigger, they have a bit of a tougher shot. And then you have Ben and Colin both countering. Point. From all sides in the court, and able to get the ball down. And there you saw a drop in the middle, less Five, dangerous. Two, one. Riley felt the need to speed that up, and it's squashed quickly by Ben. Oh, Second goes in serve. scorpion mode, but just got on top of it there. Knew it was coming. 
a more aggressive two, approach, two. though, which is what you've been calling for and he's been executing. Side out. So unable to add to the lead there. They've been tripping back and forth, haven't two, they? Two, five, one. Oh, mind yeah. games are starting. Look at this. <laughs> this fun we're talking this whole, this is... Could be a fun one. Look at that get. Ben Johns, the hands before Second that throw. were ridiculous. In his face, it's so hard to deal with that ball in that position. Yeah, you always want to the moneymaker there. Oh, That's a great serve. serve. Jinx. Point. Double jinx. <laughs> That's not, uh, Riley Newman usually just lays it Three, in five, there, two. too. Side out. Caught Matt on the move there, so. Longer points. Dinks in the middle. Five, three, one. Colin countering. See if that continues. Can't be under if, if you're just resetting. The answer to that Five, is three, keep two. hitting at the guy that's resetting. It's impossible to keep making those. You got to counter. I know. defense. He's so calm on that. That's coming back. This is going to get killed. Oh my. about as emotional as seemed to do drunk boys ever. Yes, sir. Colin yelling at Ben. Ben bailing back at Colin. Six, back three, at two. We got chest bumps from the Johns boys. They. It's about time we see some more emotions in this, yes. this game. Oh, yeah. Shout out. And now we've seen enough of that. So, we were hoping we would get this level of three, intensity. Six, one. Now we got the level there. We got strategery going on. This is beautiful. What a start to Championship Sunday. The ladies' singles was rem remarkable. Second serve. Stay patient there. Which is very easy. Easy for us. Yes, to say. Yeah, and the difference, and you mentioned Three, six, the pattern, it's right on point, is the length of these rallies. In Utah, the battle of Brigham that we've talked about, they were just getting balls and firing maybe one or two dinks. Six, three, there was one. no dink points whatsoever. Today, much different story. I mean, essentially, you always want to your point to play your style, for your game, right? And right now, at the beginning of the match, you saw Six, three, two. Riley and Matt forcing Ben and Colin to really play their style. And now it's kind of reversed. So the question is, can Matt and Riley Reverse that again. You shorten the points, get a couple of free points. Shut out. And that's what they want. The yeah. Johns boys Three, want six, that one. to get get Ben a ball in the middle, just swat it into the net. That's just huge. And Second serve. They, the Johns boys definitely are going to continue to return the ball to Riley. It's just, you know, they... 3-6-2. Well, Riley's more... If they return to Matt, Riley's more of a threat to crush, yes. right? Yes. Point. 
Good hands battle there, won by Wright and Newman. Four, six, two. Now they've gotten it within two. Jumps for the Ernie, and his feet were good for the next one, but uh, yes, couldn't sir. execute. And now a Five, nice six, little two. run for Wright and Newman. But Ben looks like he's having a lot of fun because he's smiling a lot, yeah. which usually don't see much of facial expression no. out of him at all. Not in a gold medal match for sure. This defense by Newman. Side out. Oh, Matt Wright. It's a shot he likes. He wants that one back for sure. He's back. Six, five, out. one. So the lead's but one. Point. Saw a couple of those that uh, Matt tried over Tyler Loon yesterday that were just hammered. He broke a Seven, ball. Five, one. one of those, as a matter of fact. Loon can hit it as hard as anybody. Ask Ken Ben. That's a very live. Uh, Second serve. Yes. Above his head. And just as we talk about lobs and overheads, you felt a little gust come in there. Seven, Pat. five, two. It almost blew me away here. <laughs> well, if you get blown away, dear Lord, where will I will end up? <laughs> Great handle by Colin. What a get by Riley Newman, then he goes for the Ernie. This is nuts. He's back, but can't get the next one. Point. That's some high level stuff right here. And a lot invested in that point. So it is Wright and Newman that will call a timeout. We've got chirping, we've got Ernie's, we've got lobs, we've got everything. Body paint. We'll be back right after this. always seemed crazy to me. I'd wear them a few times, and then I'd lose them or break them. That's why we created Shady Rays. Polarized shades at a great price that you can try for 30 days risk-free. And even if you lose or break them, just let us know and we'll send you a free pair. Plus, every order helps fight hunger in America. And thanks to you, we're making a big impact. For 20% off your first order, go to ShadyRays.com now and use code TV20. Folks, we are back in Championship Sunday is actually over delivering so far. An incredible match with Callie Smith and Tommy, eight, five, Emily two. Waters to start a 11 point comeback in game one for the Johns boys down 10-1. And then this game is incredible here in game two. Point. And that's the risk of attacking that ball down the line for Riley Newman is Nine, five, two. you got to keep it inside the sideline as well. I mean, Colin Faden, he got skinny real quick. Yes. Side out. Reach in there, so get the ball back, but careful. Five, nine, one. They got to put a run together of their own right now, do right in Newman. That stayed on the line. Overhead practice is now over. And Point. Matt Wright comes up and attacks that backhand and gets the ball. You know, that's very smart for Matt because he's six down one. Right into the sun for ben. You could tell Ben couldn't really put anything on it because he was just trying to make contact. I think he keep it deep without trying to put anything without missing. Okay. 
Point. And that is what past battles have looked like. If if the Johns boys put the ball on the outside, Seven, nine, one. White is going to have the opportunity to do what he just did right there, and now they're within two. I'm not, I think what's going to happen again, they're going to go middle again. Yep. I think middle, slow it down. Second serve. Keep it uh, in the neutral zone of the area. And, um, yeah, when you have a known target Seven, nine, that two. is safe, it's so good to be able to just keep putting it there and then find one for yourself. You put it in the middle, you miss one. That's <laughs> true, too. Man, great read by Ryan Newman there, but Ben John's able to handle the Ernie. Timeout serving team, 9-7-1. Okay, so we get a timeout on offense. I really like that. Ben hit about 397 overheads there. So just, you know, we actually talked about it during the women's singles match, calling a timeout on offense. Why would you do that, Pat? Catch my breath. 100%. It has nothing to do with changing momentum. It's just literally, if I feel like I'm a little winded right now because these points were long and I had to move a lot, I'm going to be moving again so I need as much time as I can on a very, very important point, especially now at, what's it, 9 5, 9 6, 9 7. They need to win this point. Keep the pressure on Matt and Riley and force them to do something they're not, you know, go above and beyond what they will usually do. So. Very very clip from Ben, and Ben does a lot. Ben actually uses, I think he might be the one that uses the most offensive timeouts in the men's game. Yeah, it doesn't call many on defense mm -hmm. because he doesn't want to give you the idea that you are make, forcing me to do something. They were forced to do it twice in game one because they were so far behind, and they were able to come back from that, put a new ball in play, just letting everybody understand that. That definitely can change things if it's a newer ball. Time in. So. 9-7-1. 9-7. Here we go. What a response from Colin and Riley there. Back in the middle. Point. Mm -hmm. And that is not a good place to be bringing the ball. You're below the net. Ben is literally waiting on it, and we are at a game seven, point one. to go up two games to none. And that point will game, do switch it. So Ben and Colin Johns take the momentum from game one comeback. Who would have thought down 10-1 in game number one that it is Ben and Colin Johns that are up two games to none. We'll see if they can run it out in three after this. It's a gas card. You can always use gas. Always. Wait, but you have a... Mm -mm. Thank you. Hey, do we need gas? Nope. How about now? Uh -uh. Still no. Hey, remember Daddy's birthday's tomorrow? A gas card. I could use this. Hey, hey. That <laughs> Evolve your journey beyond the pump in the first ever Tucson plug-in hybrid EV. <laughs> What are you guys doing? We're getting our duper tattoos. You know it changes every match, right? Oh, oh sh Duper, keeping tattoo removers in business by updating after every match. Download the app and claim your free profile today. Can you change that six to an eight? I sure can try. Bars are what I know. 
All right, welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming with Pat Smith, and we are at the beautiful Peachtree City, Georgia location. This is the Peachtree Classic, powered by Invited. What a what a great setting. We got a little grassy amphitheater. The crowd is packed in around the court, and the Johns boys have found it, haven't they? Well, they're bringing the energy today. They're definitely bringing the energy now. I mean, they you know it took a while to arrive to this championship. It's not a new match, but. They certainly have arrived. Oh, earning me this, Colin. Point. So if you keep going middle and they slide that way, then you can push it back to the side. One, zero, Colin two. Colin knows he's not in trouble by going for the earning because he's got big baby brother right next to him. I think one thing that happened, they also, you know, Ben pushed Riley back a little bit. That dink was a lot further back to Riley's feet. No. Start out. And you saw Colin pull his paddle out because he knew Ben was there and Ben just Zero, hits one, it one. deep. Really important for Wright and Newman to find that energy and get going. Oh, and it sits on the top Second of the net serve. and doesn't come over. I think the girls used up all the net love. <laughs> Zero, one, two. Boy, did they ever. So many. The women singles. Side out. The rare return to Matt was the short, though. We talked about it in the singles. Uh, one the wind's definitely one. picking up a little bit now. And again, it's there on the side now where the wind's kind of holding the ball back. Point. So if you were Matt and, Matt and Riley right now, and you got down two games to love, what do you think? You, what would you do? I think you go back two, to zero, one. All right. So Colin's been countering all right. He's still got to be the apple of our eye on on the speed ups and see if he can keep it going. Just like that. And just make him defend. Thank you, boys. I like it when Second you're talking turn. about something and they do it. But that's gotta be it. I mean Ben's playing awesome. Two zero two. I think they need to figure out too if they can take those middle dinks and do something more than just throwing it back there because just you're not doing anything with these balls and then the Johns boys are happy to extend these points. Because they're not going to miss a dink. No, they're not. I mean, it's painful. Shut out. Okay, so counter and chirp from Riley there. It's, you know. Zero, two, one. No, we need that. Oh, the poor boys with body pain in the back body now. Painters one, two, now one. back engaged in this. What a scramble by Riley Newman there. Another one. Second serve. It's Riley and Matt need to make sure that they're one, two, two. together here. Out. Good opportunity for Matt. Just goes deep. Interesting though, Matt got almost yes, sir. no Two, one, one. chances at thirds. The last time these teams played, got a few there. So that's been changed up a little bit. Second serve. That time it's Colin that leaves the dink up and it gets absolutely lambasted by two, one, two. Riley Newman. Another thing, CJ just needs to really trust himself again. He can counter, he can stay in. Don't back off too much from the line. Give him too much space. Point. It's just going to be grind, grind, grind till we get something we like. Three, one, two. And this was the question when Matt and Riley became a team. Who's going to play the left side of the court? Wow. Neutralized.
Oh, man, these are the balls that Matt Wright absolutely wants that were the difference in the last time they played, and he's not making them. Ball softer. Yep. Big, big difference. Four, one, two. Sun it's out. also revenge as uh, Matt and Riley won in Atlanta, not in this place, but uh, farther north. So uh, revenge in the state of one, Georgia four, and the Atlanta area was certainly on the minds of the Johns boys as well, as they have not played them well here yeah, in the I past. I think Riley is uh, one last three in, yeah. in the Petri Corners. I know, unfortunately, one last year. <laughs> I'm laughing because I know why you know that so well. <laughs> Mr. Smith was right there. That lob goes Second well serve. deep. And feel the breeze? I feel the breeze, and I also see... One, four, two. You know, we saw a little fraying of the Johns boys, just a little at the beginning, and now I'm seeing it a little bit on the right and Newman side. They got to pull that back together. Point. Be a team, not individuals. Absolutely, it's all about chemistry. It's two, all four, about two. Closing the holes, not giving an inch, ever, whether it's mental or court. Or Shut anything. out. Newman knows he hit an out ball there, but uh, we'll never know for sure. But one thing that I like to up in and Colin went and see when they, in between points, when they, they walk back together. You know, they don't go just immediately to their own spots there. Yes. Walking back down the middle together. Yeah. And there you go. Okay. A little Point. Uh, shoulder bump there. And uh, a yell. And Collins. Level. Five, two, one. This is something, as you and I talked about, rare sight here, but it's something that's necessary. I think it's great for the sport, but also for them when they are pushed mentally and emotionally by another team. Give it back. Boy. Time out receiving team six to one. one. Because he's just he's elevated his game in this match compared to what I've seen him in the, in the past when they played. And that was a disgusted paddle drop there by Riley Newman. So they got to dig out. The grind is real and the Johns are winning it. Look, if we don't figure out this gravity situation, all of those astronauts are gonna die. And the proof of alien life will be gone forever. But we've tried everything. Mm, we haven't tried everything. Bring me the jigsaw. Welcome back, everybody. There's our body paint crew trying to get their guy over the top here, but there's a lot to do. The Johns boys have never looked more determined, I think, on a pickleball court. It's just ever since they were in that gigantic hole Hang in on. game one, it has been smart. Well, I took two chairs. It has I need been them. executed well. It has been full of emotion, and they are feeling it. Confidence, yes. big time. Big time difference, especially when Colin again, you know, stop, he stopped blocking every ball, he started countering. Yes. Yeah, and that makes Ben feel good because now you're getting set up as there opposed to just in. having a dig Six, and two, dig one. and dig. He's getting those winners in the middle and then he's chirping. Point. And another dink rally goes to the Johns boys. Seven, two, one. Point. And even if it's not the most ideal choice there by Colin Johnson, Eight, two, he's one. changing the pace by attacking on that one. And they're three points from running this out in three. Second serve. But you know, you've seen Matt and Riley talk 
the entire time now with each other. Hey, two, right? two. And I'm not sure if it's um, what they're really saying there, but they, it seems like they're a little bit flustered. Point. I think they're a lot flustered, actually, Pat. I think. I'm uh, trying to be Swiss there. <laughs> I think they're trying to find it. I think they are looking Nine at two each two. other's shot selections, and they're two points from being sent home with a silver. There's a lot on that. Shut There's out. a message in that. Okay, so. 2-9. Obviously, we saw a bigger comeback than that in game one two, nine, from one. Colin and Ben. Got to start somewhere. Back to the returns to Riley. Point. That's a nice ball by Riley Newman there. That ball got a, uh, floated a little bit on Ben there. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, you don't three, nine, really one. make note of the fact that all these dinks are coming, but where those Point. dinks end up, they're not attackable. Okay, so here's two. Four nine one. <laughs> oh, that is an insane get yeah. by Riley Newman right there. We can't get the next second one. serve. And just oozing frustration right now. Four, nine, what do you two. have to do to win? I mean, that was an unbelievable get. I mean, might have been the best get you'll see at this tournament, or maybe all year, so far behind him. Oh, well, left-handed. Off the arm. Okay, Good call, Colin Johnson. Riley Newman caught it just to make sure everybody saw it. But uh, Five, the extras finish there from... Uh, Riley Newman. A lot of work still to be done. Side out. Punch goes deep, so no paddle taps, just walking back to the to the corner there. Matt Wright trying to find Nine, five, his one. level. Again, drop it in the middle and we're safe. Second serve. <laughs> ben got what he wanted because he got a popped up dink there. Matt takes a Not five two. of relief breath down in the corner. I think that was a little shorter than he wanted to have. Yeah. But I think that just dipped enough. Yeah, the word shallow isn't used enough in pickleball. Closer than that, you can't do anything with it. Uh -huh. Point. That speed up gets squashed, and we are at match point for Ben and Colin Jones. Yes, sir. 10-5-2. I don't know if the crowd knows what to do with themselves here. Well, I don't think anybody expected a three-game no. potential win after that start of that match. Side okay, out. And the first miss dink, I think, in an hour. Oh. And it happened to happen at match point, so Five, ten, one. things have happened as game one would show you. Will we go to the upside down or not? Oh, my. That's a frustration swing. 100% Second, sir. trying to do too much. Mm -hmm. Matt comes over and gives him a little tap. Now two. game one starts coursing through your, your thought process. You're like, there's no way they just have a match point right now. We were killing them. And Ben Johns is up to the task in the head-to-head -head hands battle. Match point number two coming up. 10-5-1. Might have been the first drive CJ hit all yeah. match. Second serve. All right. Two saved. Will three be the lucky number for the Johns? 10-5-2. You see middle, middle. 
And that Boy, will do match. it. So Ben and Colin Johns dig out of an enormous hole in game one, save four game points down 10-1, win 11 in a row. They come to life, and they are impressive. They are impressive. They're pointing at the crowd right now. And to win that match in three, completely unexpected. Well done, Ben I mean, and Colin. Unbelievable how this tip of the game. How do you get what you want? Eric Weinmayer, blind man, wanted to climb Mount Everest. My man, crazy, but he believed it was possible. We're gonna do it. And because he believed, he became the first blind person ever to stand on top of the world. Guaranteed Rate believes in your dreams. That's why we treat everyone like we treat our own family and work extra hard to get you the lowest low rate possible. Because if you believe, you will. great times to good friends, to the glasses that spark conversation, to the ideas that then pour out. Ours came from a night like that and somehow survived the morning after to make our own tequila. It wasn't meant to leave our house, but since we made this for friends, we thought it wouldn't hurt to make a few more. Grab a glass, amigo. Our tequila is your tequila. Our casa is your casa. I'm gonna say she's a solid 3.5. Nah, she's definitely a 2.5. Guys, look at that forehand. She's clearly a 3.0. Guys, come on. I'm at least a 4.0. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Ratings don't have to be hard. Duper. Optimized for accuracy, optimized for fun. Download the app and claim your free profile today. For many of us, we just charge ahead because planning for your future takes time. And right now, thinking about your financial future takes on new meaning. At Baird, our financial advisors have guided individuals and families to achieve their goals through every crisis evolution and groundbreaking idea for over 100 years. That's the difference between thinking you're ready for what lies ahead and knowing you've planned for it. Now that's different. Discover the Baird difference. Welcome back to Center Court once more. I've got Colin Johns, Ben Johns, our titleists for this tournament. Huge congratulations to you both. Guys, 1-10. You came back and won game one, 12-10. How does that happen? Yeah, we always, uh, we always believe we can win no matter how far down we are. Um, we've done that before. Um, and we came back from 9-0 in the fourth game against those guys in Atlanta. So we're never out. Uh, I'm just lucky to have a partner um, that, that's as good as Ben. I mean, I was playing as bad as I can play early on, and he picked me up, and he showed why he's the undisputed number one. And uh, I'm just lucky to have Ben. 
Well, guys, you've built up quite the storyline with Matt and Riley so far. And what was your focus coming into this match? I know how badly you wanted to come away with this. Uh, yeah, you know, I think it, it, it was uh, going in. You know, we wanted to play definitely a clean match, a few unforced errors, uh, be aggressive and be fiery because, you know, both those guys are going are gonna to bring that as well. Um, so, yeah, I know most people don't see CJ fired up like that usually, but uh, it definitely worked this time. And uh, I was just glad to see him get uh, pumped and, and play like he did. It was awesome. Yeah, it was rare to see so that much emotion out of both of you on the court. And how much do, does the banter and the mental tactics come into this matchup? Oh, it certainly comes into play. I mean, pickleball is a small court, so uh, some chatter back and forth, um, all in the heat of the moment, and, and good spirits is is always welcome. Um, so, but those guys, you know, they're gonna they're gonna bring it both uh, the physical skills, but also the mental side. So I feel like we came out on top today, and uh, we're gonna continue that. Well, it was certainly fun to watch. We're going to bring Curtis Quant from Invited on Court now to present your trophy. Curtis. Guys, congratulations on behalf of Invited, the Petrie City Tennis Center, and the community of Petrie City. Great match today. It was a lot of fun to watch. Congrats. All righty. Hoist that trophy, boys. That's it from us down here. Dave, over to you. Friends. At Baird, we offer a different, more holistic approach to wealth management with your career, family, friends, and community. Finding time for you and making sure your family's financial plans are on track can be a real challenge. At Baird, our financial advisors get it. We'll partner with you to create a unique financial plan and coordinate with your legal and tax advisors to bring it all together so you have more time for what matters most. Getting our duper tattoos. Oh, cool. Hey Cameron, how's it going? Almost done. Perfect. Can't wait to see your number. Number? Duper. Because ratings shouldn't be a surprise. Download the app and claim your free profile today. Ah, 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 ah. I haven't even started yet. Oh. Ah. Everybody, welcome back. Dave Fleming here, and I've got a new special guest, thrilled to have, Cameron Blackwood, the pro player and great analyst. Cameron, welcome to the booth for Championship Sunday. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. She's even showing up in commercials before we bring her on. Well played. So, Cameron, this has been an epic day already. It has. And we're only 40% of the way through here. We had Anna Lee Waters, who we'll see in a minute, pushed to the absolute limit by Callie Smith in singles. We'll see if that takes a toll. She's playing in all three finals today. So let's start there.
there. How do you keep putting yourself at the highest level, especially when singles? Singles is hard anyway, let alone having to play two more gold medal matches. I think it just starts with her daily work and her daily routine. She trains for this. She prepares for this every single day when she wakes up. She trains with a purpose, and you have to to be the best. And she proves it time and time again that she is the best, and it comes from her preparation. And so I see her being able to recover quickly, getting her nutrition right, getting some good rest, and coming out here and, and being the best. So speaking of the best, Jesse Irvin has been playing just beautifully here. Is elevated to the top of the standings. She and Anna Bright, while the four seed, were absolutely, in my mind, the team to beat coming in here. Played fantastic in a Grand Slam in Cincinnati. Anna Bright, new air quotes to the scene, not new anymore. She has arrived, let's be clear. She has, and I was at her debut earlier this year when she won her first matches, and she has not looked back. This should be a great match, and she really feeds off her partner. So having the experience of Jesse Irvin on the court really lets Anna set into the match and play her game. And once she's fired up, game one. she's hard to beat. Time yeah, in. there's a lot of fire on this court. The water's lost to these two in Cincinnati, zero, zero, so two. revenge is there. Let's play pickleball. Again, best of five. And that Side is set just wide. So you know we're going to have great firefights. You know we're going to have great defense. Zero, zero, it's going to be a beautiful day here. Little wind at the backs of Bright and Irvin. Second serve. It's actually swirling around here. Zero, zero, two. There's Anna Bright to serve. If you're new to the players, Jesse Irvin, there's Lee Waters and Anna Lee. I love when they do that for me. And what a nifty little winner from Anna Bright. Great placement. She didn't need a lot of power. The placement worked perfect. Placement One, zero, over power. Two. I even have a shirt with that phrase on there. Thank you, Cameron. So the two-handed backhands are in all four quadrants on this court today. They will dictate who wins today. Yeah, and look for Anna Bright to throw the first punch. She loves to speed up that backhand and she slides immediately for the counter. Just catches the line. Point. Hello, Ms. Bright. She's ready. <laughs> Saw her before she's fired up. Yeah, the the just you want to get like what does an intense Three, face zero, need two. to look like? She is number one. Oh, and then Side out. who's getting that one? Little indecision there. Yesterday they were going back and forth on which side. I like Anna on the left better just because of the two in the back end you zero, mentioned. Three, one. I expect they'll switch to that here, and they do. Out Point. call, but again, we mentioned just a little wind at their back and it holds it in. That's something they're just going to have to adjust. One, three, one. Second serve. That will not trickle over in the waters yesterday. Started with One, Mama three, on the left and then quickly moved to Anna Lee on the left. We'll see if they just play it straight up or stick with that here. Nice Side finish out. by Jesse. And you saw they chose not to unwind the stack there themselves. So a lot of chess early here, Cameron. It is, and, and I like that. It's early on in the match. We're settling in and figuring out the patterns of who's going to play which side. As you look there, what Anna Bright does so well, she doesn't even bring the paddle to her body or behind. Everything is out in front, and she's able to counter so quickly and finish those points. 4-1-1. One, one. Second serve. Cross-court speed up from Lee Waters works. 
And it's not something people hit often because they think it's going to kill their partners. But if you can hit well, it at the right two. speed and the right placement, it's very effective. Yeah, you got to have variety in your game. They certainly Side have out. that. So Irvin goes for the big swing from the baseline. But a nice start for Bright and Irvin. Again, one, best one. of five here. Up three. That's just a really good point from the Waters there. And Mama Waters got the fist bumps up early. So uh, we've been seeing fists Two, four, one. not flying at faces, but flying in the air today. Not yet. Not yet. Let's hope never. Point. <laughs> Missed return there. And that's the danger Three, when you're four, playing one. with the Waters. They win six points in like 48 seconds sometimes. Just the pace they play at. And it is Anna Bright with the final answer there as Mama Waters is coming out hot. I think they know they need to be a little bit more aggressive, especially because Anna Bright and Jesse Irvin play on so much emotion. And when they get louder, they play better. No doubt. So silencing them immediately in this first game is going to be key for success. There you saw just as wicked a two-handed back end. You've got maybe the two Four, best three, with Anna Lee and Anna Bright. So Anna's watching. You probably have a good two-handed back end in your body somewhere. That's just Point. wide. Five, three, one. Got Denise Smith, our head referee here. Point. And those are paddle tech paddles on the Six, ground, three, Cameron. One. And that means we've got a Waters timeout. They will not take those home with them. They use them better than anybody. So really nice start for Irvin and Bright. Can they keep it going and win game one? We'll see after this. Welcome back. Beautiful sight, beautiful day, beautiful pickleball. Dave Fleming with Cameron Blackwood, the pro player, and she's on point with this. She's played against these ladies. She knows what's coming. There's no better way to understand what's coming than having faced these Six, ladies three, yourself. So Waters call timeout. Let's see if they can get something going. Point. And boy, you hate to miss a return after you call timeout. So. Momentum not stopped, actually Seven, added three, to one. here. Oh, and wow, Jesse Irvin just yeah, sent yeah. a bug into oblivion here. And just like complimentary pickleball, Anna Bright finishes it off. So uh, Seven, sorry, three, insects one. of the world. They are focused on everything here as a team. Just deep, and I think we saw the evolution of Anna Bright's game there. When she came out, she could hit the ball hard beautifully, Eight, three, but you got to be able to reset to play against these ladies and showed it so well in that point. Second serve. 
And the pressure she's putting on Lee right now, I know she does like to step a couple feet off the line, but when you have Anna Bright's backhand straight up with you, you almost need that little bit of time. So I'm looking for her, though, to almost pressure Anna, maybe take a step in and counter it quicker. Look at that hustle. Side out. There's the Cal Berkeley tennis explosion there shown. This is a high-level tennis Three, eight, one. court. South Carolina Gamecock, Lee Waters. Point. Jessie played at a very high level of tennis herself. And then Anna Lee Waters, not old enough to go to college. I think she's doing all right. I think she's doing Four, just fine. insanity and it is Lee Waters with the last answer there as they play defense for 20 minutes to finally get to the line but she stepped in that's what I was wanting her stepping in asserting the dominance and finishing that last ball yes. great pickleball five eight one Pull within three deep and I think there was confusion as Anna Bright had an overhead and she Six, said you eight, you one. you to give a two handed more of a swinging volley you'd rather have the overhead if everyone's Second, feet sir. are set. That's why I always like the word mine. Yes. I think you sometimes creates that confusion when you say two. mine it's your ball to get. Jesse Irvin, but she's well off the line there, so here we go. Seven, eight, two. Time, comebacks have been the name of the game all day, and the Waters are forging one of their own here. And Lee Waters with a loud let's go over to her daughter. And Anna Bright has walked to the chair right in Time front out. of us. That means one thing, Cameron. Timeout has been called. So here we go. Timeouts on both sides. 8-8. Eight, eight. Snowmen everywhere in Atlanta. We'll be right back. No way she gets this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My turn. Oh. Call 911. Hey, uh, Katie, could you pass me the creamer? Why don't you just come into the kitchen and get the creamer? I can't. I can't come in the kitchen. Sure you can. No, I, I really can't. You can come into the kitchen as long as you don't hit the ball out of the air. All right. Why stay out of kitchens? All right, we wanted epic. We're getting it so far here. <laughs> Tied Time up. in. Eight eight two. Oh, and Jesse Irvin, I think, was like, "That's out," but let one go earlier that stayed in and. No, she needs to punch down on that. And Anna comes up short there and 
just out of nowhere, we got a game point. Anna just needs to regroup right now. I think there was a little confusion coming over the front. Jesse went to go in front of Anna Bright. And the most violent one-handed backhand volley in the game is coming through at a most opportune moment. One game point save to get the ball back. luck there off the tape. I think is Jesse all right? She seems to be okay. The other interesting thing here is they've decided at this point in time to switch sides and put Jesse Irvin on the left. And a beautiful setup. Daughter giving her mom a late Mother's Day present there. <laughs> Game point number two. Point. And that return sails Game. deep, so bright. And Irvin in complete control earlier in this game. And then it is the Waters that call timeout, and they find their best stuff. So. Game one of this best of five is all about the H2O. The Pro XR Pickleball Paddle answers the age old question of how to get paddle speed and control with the same paddle and one grip, and this is it. Pro XR gives you more spin greater control and quicker reloads on every shot in the game because you always have that constant feel for that leverage and control and paddle speed that we're all looking for. Pro XR is the most revolutionary technology in pickleball. You don't get the moments everyone talks about without the moments no one sees. Early morning practice, late night drills, running it over and over. You don't get the crowd without the quiet. Everyone sees the glory, the medal, the podium, but every winning shot starts right here. Paddle Tech, let's go again. Uh, a lot of us miss hit the ball. I know I miss hit the ball a lot. Um, so speak for yourself, young <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh. All right, what's up, everybody? Dave Fleming here with Cameron Blackwood, and uh, what a comeback from the waters here. We have a beautiful vantage point of this center Time court. In. And, Zero, zero, two. Bright need to find their best. Jesse Irvin to serve. Here we go. And that is the last Side thing out. they needed was a net cord that sets up the waters for an easy point. Zero, zero, they do one. go back to their original plan, which we talked about off air. Point. You were recommending. Why did you think that's the right thing to do? I like the matchup of Anna Bright up in front of Lee Waters. I think it's a good look. I think it's a good fit for both of them. And it gets Anna Bright a little bit more confidence that I think she's lacking right now. Once she gets settled back in, look for them to take this game too. They're not done fighting. <laughs> no, of course not. And then, uh, hello, Lee Waters. What an angle is that? Nice. See how she pronates the wrist and puts one into the DJ booth. Those are usually out. That was nice. Second serve. I'd like to see a little bit more emotion from Anna Bright and Jesse Irvin. I know they need that point, yeah. but they need to create it in order to get that energy and get the momentum back on their side. And 
and it is Lee Waters who is forcing the pace, and she'll she'll attack from anywhere and be ready for the counter. And she set it up well. She took a step back, knew she was going to hit the speed up, slid immediately, and finished again with the forehand. That's that knowing what that second shot is going to be. And that is beautifully rolled into the corner, and it is Lee Waters. Star of the show right now. That off pace ball is so hard to read and so effective. Four zero two. Side out. So that was all about Lee Waters. Couple misses from Annalee actually get the ball back for Irvin and Bright, and Irvin has seen enough. And sometimes when you want a shadow, meaning zero you want to put one. yourself in front of somebody in that arrangement. Bright was not in front of Lee Waters because she had been playing the left, so now they've got that shadow. See if they stay with that. Point. I like it. I think that's where they need to stay as far as the game plan goes and the strategy. One for one. the fake Ernie there, just catches the line. Point. Lee Waters got the ball she was expecting, just punched it deep. Two, four, one. And so now they're gonna switch out of this, so watch this, okay. This is Chestnut Checkers. So back and forth Two, with four, the strategery two. here, Cameron. Oh, and that ball kisses the tape and goes wide. So court position changes all over the place here. Four, two, one. Took a full swing of that. I was ready to just absolutely clobber it, but Four, mom, two, two. get that two-hander out of there. That's beautiful for Hannah Bright. When you're playing the waters, your patterns have to be on point. The strategy, you can't think twice about it. And I think in that first game and starting the second game, they were second-guessing their shots. They're second-guessing their strategy. How are we going to play straight up? Are we going to? Are you going to come over and stack? And I think settling in right now, I'm seeing a little bit more calmness with them, picking their spots a little bit better, being more relaxed, and then picking their moments, just like Anna Bright, taking a little bit off, seeing it, seeing the waters part ways, and then finish that ball down the middle. It is Sunday, so waters can be parted. There's a little of emotion that you were calling for as well, Cameron. So, and the minute they four, hear four, that one. emotion, it's like it's ringing in their ears, and the water's like, we aren't letting that get going. So, and they can't. <laughs> quick timeout, paddle tech paddles on the ground. We'll be right back, up and down, back and forth here in Peachtree City. Parento and I've been playing pickleball for almost six years. I travel a lot uh, to play in tournaments. I'm always on planes and I see a lot of people when I travel. I need to make sure that I stay healthy. I need to support my immune system. So that's the reason why I use the Pure Way C+.
Dave Fleming back here with Cameron Blackwood and again this has been a day of runs we saw the Johns boys come back from a 10-1 hole we saw Annalie Waters in her singles match go way ahead get behind come back here we go again great start for the Waters now Bright and Irvin have tied it up it just shows how much chemistry is key. Four, four, one. A lot of times it's not about playing the ball, it's about finding that right chemistry and that movement within the team that creates Second confusion serve. or chaos on the other side where you can create those runs. And that's what you're seeing with the waters. Four, four, two. Good return coming out of the timeout. Let's see if they get a second one. Just Point. deep, so definitely went for it. Five, four, two. And a bright is second only to Dylan Frazier in number of paddle Point. rotations on the uh, spin before she serves it. And two missed returns. So they hit a great one to start Six, and then four, two, two misses. So they will take all the gifts available. Wind is definitely swirling around a bit too. And Lee Waters got away with a ball that was going to hit the Pro XR pickleball sign there, but uh, we'll never know. It's great placement when you're going to hit that speed up. Always go forehand side, shoulder, chest, hip. Creates a pop up almost every time. Just like that, yeah. right to the shoulder. It jams them. If you hit the backhand side, you can counter easily, but on that forehand side, it jams every time. Five, six, one. So the cross court attack again effective for Lee Waters. Now Anna Lee lurking in the middle. And that's a dangerous area here for Bright and. Irvin in the middle. They don't play this way. Point. And they get a miss. I love that setup, though. When you see your opponent, both of them almost six, on one six, side one. of the court, you want to keep the other one honest. It doesn't need to be anything hard. I would have just liked a nice punch or a nice roll to the outside. Sam Second Bright set. comes out firing. That was a ball that. Anna Lee Waters would have loved, but the Anna V. Anna goes to Bright there. 6-6-2. Six, six, just Point. rope fast there from the Waters. Their movement is just so fluid. And when you train with someone every day and your Seven, family, six, of course, yeah. you just have that sense of comfortability and it shows on the court in every point they play. Fight from Bright there to keep it alive. Oh, oh my. Side out. And then that's usually the no-go zone there, but uh, just hits the top of the tape. So Six, seven, the one. water's creep in front. They got game one in their pocket. Second serve. Bright goes inside out with the big swing there. Highest part of the net, unfortunately for her, hits the Six, highest seven, part of the two. net. Scrap there, and they do get a mistake after all that defense. 77. 772. Yes, sir. Side out. That wind almost held that in because that was a big swing. Who seven, will seven, blink? One. Seven, seven. Wind swirling a little bit, a little more cloud cover than earlier in the week. And Anna Lee Waters is questioning why on earth did I do that? Because that ball would have sat up off the bounce. Seven, seven, two. And that, unfortunately for her, carried over into the serve. So ball back, no harm seven, done. Seven, seven. seven. That 
That's pretty from Anna Bright. Point. Exactly what she was needing to do. Seeing the creep in by there, getting a nice high ball, not doing much, just flicking the wrist back behind Annalie Waters. Yeah, when she's straddling the tee or worse, just put it over there with a little pace. Use her pace. Well done, Anna Bright. Second serve. 8-7-2. Oh, dear. set off by when I said oh dear because the third was so high it was like a 3-0 third there but uh, they almost scrapped their way one. back to the kitchen line that's nice Second so you can do that shot with the two-hander if the ball's high enough right Great. just roll that left yes. hand Seven, over eight, creating that roll right behind your opponent Defense pays off again with the wind swirling. A couple of those just didn't travel far enough for the waters to tattoo them. And what I like is that both teams do so well is they take their time in that transition zone. Some people think you have to hit one to two shots and rush the kitchen. Don't hurry up to lose the point. Take exactly. your time, hit maybe three, four, seven, eight shots, then get up to the kitchen, work the point, and get that finishing ball. Second yeah, we hear about third shot drop. There's nothing wrong with 13th shot drop. There's not. And and that's how pickleball is evolving, right? A seven two. You can take your time. You can create from the transition zone now. Absolutely. Listen up, people. Cameron's spitting the truth. Oh. Point. That's that two-handed backhand. When the ball goes off the tape, you got to get two time things to the right spot. Nine, Wind seven, held it right yeah, there. So... It is the waters now calling timeout again. So we wanted drama. We wanted a tight match, and we are getting it. We'll be right back. I felt like I had to always drink water over and over, but I still felt a little bit dizzy by the end of the day. But once I tried to incorporate more electrolytes in my daily life, it really helped me out. My favorite thing about the pickleball cocktail is the flavor. It tastes great. I drink the pickleball cocktail every morning to make sure that I stay hydrated throughout the whole day. It's important to drink first thing in the morning. If you wait until you play, you're usually too late. You start feeling dehydrated. When it comes to hydration, don't wait before it's too late. All right, welcome back, everybody. What a match we have going on here. Dave Fleming with Cameron Blackwood, and up and back we go. Who is going to get to the end? The Waters got game one. This is game two. Time in. 9-7-2. They get a Point. missed dink from Lee Waters, who can't believe it, says, wow. And a game point for Brighton Irvin. 10 7 Again, two. best of five today. And Lee Point. Waters pulls game. out wide. So a couple of mistakes from Lee at the end of game number two. And we will play at least four here today. Irvin and Bright were 
dangling on a 2-0 hole in the middle of that game, but they were able to pull it together. So game three will be pitiful. Who will take a 2-1 lead? We'll find out right after this. We are invited, bringing people together since 1957. We are the largest donor of pickleball courts nationwide, with 973 courts across the country. Our members enjoy an incredible lifestyle beyond the courts, with 3,906 holes of championship golf across the country, exquisite dining, first-class amenities, and extraordinary experiences. We are proud to hold this event at the Peachtree City Tennis Center and the clubs of Peachtree City in Georgia. At Baird, we offer a different, more holistic approach to wealth management with your career, family, friends, and community. Finding time for you and making sure your family's financial plans are on track can be a real challenge. At Baird, our financial advisors get it. We'll partner with you to create a unique financial plan and coordinate with your legal and tax advisors to bring it all together so you have more time for what matters most. All right, welcome back, everybody. One game on each side here, Cameron. What do you expect to see in game three? I think both teams are now settled in. They game can adjust three. quickly. I still like the matchup of Anna Bright in front of Lee Waters. I think now they're reading each other's games a little bit more. I'm looking for some patterns to change. Um, go behind Anna Lee a little bit more. Maybe a little bit harder push Jesse off the line. See who's going to get the lead here right quickly. It, it seems to be whoever gets the, the lead right at the start is taking the game. So here we go. Zero, zero, one. Quick. Oh, and a ball Second off the tape. Turn. Second one now. You always hope those even out. Zero, zero, two. Jesse, engaged, focused, ambitious. Zero, zero, one. Point. What a get by Jesse Irvin there. Boy, they were defending like crazy and get a miss. I think Anna Bright's might look like it was going up from our angle. Anna Lee hit again out on her end. Yes. And a big swing by Lee Waters catches the net. Again, it's that off-pace ball that sometimes is the most rewarding that you get. And then you have the other team thinking, is it going to be a speed up? Is it going to be a roll? Is it going to be a dink? Just changing up that pace creates so much confusion on the other side. Just like oh. that, right off the bat, she followed in her mom's footsteps, knowing, hey, that was the best ball to hit. That off-speed really created the confusion. Let's try it again. And uh, while that's going on, 
This is when the waters do not need a technical issue with the referee, but that's what's going on off camera right now. Quickly fixed. They want to race to the line and play. Race to the line and play. We just hit some beautiful balls. Let's keep this going. 1-0-1. Lee just moving and shaking. Am I coming to the middle? Am I not? And then that gets her a ball. Yeah, and it creates, just like Jesse did, she Two almost zero, flew one. off the line for a counter. And it was that off pace ball versus sitting in and countering it right there. Jesse Irvin has great hands. It keeps the ball, keeps her paddle way out in front yes. of her Second to finish serve. something like that. But because of the change of pace the waters are now creating, we Two now zero, have two. Brian Irvin unsure of themselves for that next shot. Side out. Little half roll there from Annalie Waters comes up short, so they do get the lead to start game number three. Zero, two, one. Second serve. Good take from Anna Bright, just got to make Michael, it. Michael, and Laney has it. And Jesse Irvin walks zero, two, immediately two, two. to the left side Lance of the court. There was a message Alpha. there. Michael Kapira and Lainey Hassel. Look at that come up short. Grandstand Alpha. Wow. Floor is lava. And it's Anna Bright who finishes. Point. One, two, two. Shoulders slumped on that. <laughs> like, come on. For Annalie, not even be able to get it. You know, two, that two, was two. the perfect rollover. Brighton Irvin will happily accept. Unbelievable get by Lee Waters. And now the tape helps them out. I mean, it's. It's like a hockey goalie being screened there. I don't know how she saw that ball come through her daughter, but two, maybe two, she's one. used to that at home. Go with the lob serve again. Yes. Second serve. Yeah, people are like, why would she hit a serve so short and slow? Well, two, two, two. just don't be predictable. Side out. And make it. And especially with the win, too. When you hit that lob serve, you make your opponents then have to create the pace and create the two, movement two, of the ball. So sometimes when you're hitting just a nice, hard, easy serve, it's a nice pace for them to then create the point right off the bat. So I like the change of pace. I'm also surprised that we haven't seen a lob yet because it's now a key shot in pickleball. It's a third shot lob, a lob from the kitchen line. Um, but I think that's just due to the wind. But I would like to see if it settles down, that change of pace and the nice ball from Lee Waters because she has a beautiful lob that she can throw in. Yeah, and you certainly saw Anna Bright come flying in there and take over that last point. So that'll give her confidence. Point. And Lee Water stepping away and trying to find her game Four, two, here. One. A very elongated, high-pitched note of Anna Bright there as she just got everything she wanted and is now trying out for the voice in the middle of a match here. 4-2-2. Two, two. Point. And that ball eats up Lee Waters and a lot of talking hidden behind the paddle on that side there. Five, two, there's, two. The, there's the note from Anna Bright. Nice job from the truck. Yeah. And Side out. Waters, go ahead, go ahead. What Emily Waters does so well is 
if Lee misses a shot maybe here or there, Two, she five, has one. the capability and the shots to just take over the point, take over the match, as you saw just there. Great get. Second serve. Lee Waters having a couple of problems with that forehand, running around it and backing off. And what a get by Jesse Irvin, though, two, five, on that two. really good angle from Lee Waters. And that goes just wide. Side so out. Irvin and Bright now walking with some pep in their step again. Five, two, one. They were down early. They've got five in a row on this run. Second That's seven. just too good. Down into the Asics. Five, two, two. Another forehand mistake from Lee Waters. She seems a little frustrated, as you said. Anna Lee Waters trying to pump up Six her mom. Two, two. Good look at Jesse Irvin. Always goes through the routine of bouncing the ball a few times to be set for a point. Everybody has their little routine. Side out. And Irvin, <laughs> it's like, oh, Anna, you had a shot at that. Okay. And that's what Lee Waters needed. Two, Get six, out of her funk. She no needed doubt. a point. Let's see if they can get something going with the ball back. Yeah, yeah. Second serve. Yeah, you talked about being under control coming in. Annalie Waters usually is, but uh, racing in after a good two, punch six, volley two. from right there. Big swing and the hands in the air from Lee Water, so she's trying to find it. And now Time she just receiver. tosses six, the two. paddle down in uh, two, six, disgust. One. So Waters a little frustrated. Anna Bright and Jesse Irvin looking to get to the finish here in game number three. Dorothy, I really think you'd like the magnesium. Perfect. I'd be happy to get that shipped out to you today. Thanks, Dorothy. You too. Come on! Does he do that every time? Every time. Wow. Woo! Happy birthday, Matt. Oh, thanks, Lucy. Oh, wow. And another one. Oh, you shouldn't have. I have one more surprise for you. Okay. Oh, come on. I love it, babe. All right, welcome back, everybody. The waters. A little uneasy. The waters are rough right now. Can they get that smoothed out? They certainly have many times in the past. Mess up there. Let's take a time out. Let's reset. We Six have a game one. plan that is successful. Let's get back to it. Let Serve off the tape here on the PPA Six means we one. will redo it as long as it clears the kitchen. And not what they wanted there. Seven, two, one. Ooh, that was Second hammered. Serve. And a bright Seven, sprints two, two. back to serve. And a bunch of Point. balls off 
the tape and that Anna Bright firepower and fiery personality is coming <laughs> yes. right now. Eight. Do not look for it to go anywhere. It's only going to get louder. Yes. Eight, two, two. Still got some America's Got Talent auditions for her later in the show. and then a ridiculous pull down the line from Jesse Irvin. Great movement. I was hoping that's exactly what she was doing. She's pulling Lee out wide, Lee out wide. Then you see Annalie Water start to creep in, start to cover for her mom, leaves the line wide open. Impressive display there. There's a good look at Anna Bright, and we got a game point here in game three. Nice ball ball. Side out. And Lee Water, so they get a stop. We saw a 10 1 comeback in the men's match, so 10 2. You're ten, one, one. one spot closer, but that is a mighty mountain. Point. They're not afraid to climb it, that's no, for sure. They are not. They've got all their, their gear. 3 10 1. There's another Point. carabiner right there for the mountain climb, so. Uh, Lee Waters trying to get the crowd behind her after she hits a winner. She knows she has not had her game where she would like it to be, but it will come back. Oh, and then a ball off the tape. Uh, Second sorry, set. Matt, sorry, in record time from Anna Bright, and we're going to keep playing. Four ten two. Hitting down, get your paddle up. Anna Bright does just that. Second chance of the game right here. 10 4 1. And Second nice serve. little earn from Lee Waters, Cameron. I liked it. She pinned Jesse Irvin back in the back, and they almost suffocated her. You saw Annalie and her mom come over. I really liked that play. Yeah, they were only playing 10 feet of court, and that one worked out. And there she goes again. So three game Side points out. saved. Great rally here. And Anna Lee coming over makes you want to put a Four, ball ten, over one. there, which gets her more involved. Anna Lee Waters is everywhere. Look at that extension. And then comes back. Time Lee Waters didn't know where to go. Five, ten, <laughs> one. formation paying off, so. Brilliant pickleball from Anna Lee Waters. Will we see another crazy comeback? It is starting. The mountain is high, but the munitions are gathered. I think it's 120 milligrams. Let me check on that really quick. It's 125. Oh, it's 125 milligrams. UPS or FedEx for this one? FedEx, they deliver on Saturday. It's three minutes on high. 
It's pound, then the number. Orange evokes energy and vitality. Black shows soft. How does he know all this stuff? Strength. That's always right. Yellow shows unknowns, things that are unclear. We need to we need to dive into the yellow. All right, welcome back. The mountain is still significant, but a timeout immediately called from Irvin and Bright. Yes. Making sure everything is right. Hi, Denise Smith is our Five, lead ten, referee. 4 10 1. Second serve. First drive a little high, puts the whole operation in a bad position. 5 10 2. And Annalie Waters has been instructed by herself to straddle the tee and get everything. It's working. 6-10. Six, six, ten. Ten, Side out. It just over rips that third, so try number four. 10-6-1. Second serve. And that's what she does. She's sliding left. She taunts you to go behind her. Got to keep six, it inside. Two. Five game points here. Here's the fifth. on a couple of attackable balls. And Anna Bright has a great look at this one, Cameron. What I like there is you could see Annalie lurking. I want to finish this ball. I want to speed it up. Six, and it just ten, wasn't one. the right time. And the patience she has and the knowledge on the court is just absolutely incredible to then pick her spot. Second set. I'm going to keep you honest, says Jesse Irvin. Okay, you go ahead and crawl over there. What a great ball that Six, was. 6-10-2. Got to go on two. Deficit still four. Point. And she's luring them into the trap. Is it open over there? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. It's Seven, not. Ten, she wants the point on her yes. battle. And now they're to eight, and you can feel it. They've called one timeout. Will they call another one? They choose not to here. Eight, ten, two. A hole in the Side third out. comes up short. So Anna Lee missed a drive on the last opportunity and a drop there. Sixth game ten, point eight, here. I would like them to go back to their original game plan where they were able to get so many points. It's pressuring Lee and waiting for that pop-up. Oh. And Lee Waters hangs in there Second and serve. Lee Waters finishes. Will it be lucky seven, Cameron? 10 8, 2. They hope so. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, lob serve, I like it. And that right sails wide. Comeback Sunday continues. Can they get all the way there? 8 10 1. Point. Okay, so this ball. Oh, that's yeah. close. Yes. Okay. All right, so they choose to the challenge. challenge. So here we go. 
What a pivotal challenge this is. Denise Smith, our lead referee, but the video referee is the key to this, and it's Kathy Postalweight who is going to check this out and see. Wow, 9-10-1 or 8-10-2, what a massive difference that is, Cameron. It is, and, and both of these teams, you can tell they're just fighting out there, and it's so hard when you have such a massive lead like Bright and Irvin just did. But you have Annalie Waters, the best player in the world, who, who can take over a game by herself. And she's done just that. So like I said, I would like them to go back to their pattern before just pressuring Lee Waters. See if they can't get maybe a miss into the net like she was doing before, get her a little bit off her game. What Annalie Waters is doing so well is creating so much chaos of, am I going over there? Am I coming back? Am I going line? Am I going to poach in front of my mom? And what that does is it causes you to maybe hit a shot you didn't even mean to hit or you weren't wanting to hit. And you see the water start creeping back, and they're right in this. Yeah, it was 10-2. So, I mean, this is significant. Seven game points are without question in the heads of Anna Bright and Jesse Irvin. And now a pivotal call here coming up. And this, also, also what I'm seeing here is we did have Irvin and Bright heavy on their kitchen line, being very dominant. Now you see them about one to two feet off the line, playing a little bit more conservative, letting the waters take charge. They don't like to be there. So look for them to regroup in this, regardless of how the call goes. They have to assert their dominance if they want to take this game. All right, so we've got an answer. Here we go. At the video review, the ball was in. The score is 8-10-2. Okay, so huge call, great use of the video review. And now we go to 8-10-2. Yes. And they keep their time out as well, which we'll see time if they in. need it or not. 8-10-2. Great drive, Point. sets herself up there, and they are all the way back to within one. 9-10-2. And if Andrew Waters wants to play singles, put it in the other half of the court. And Irvin is so calm in those big moments. Not a huge swing, but placed perfectly. Eighth Ten, nine, game point here. And that goes wide. So Point. Bright sneaks eight. in there. And seven in a row was an eight in a row. And one in a row is all it took to finish. So my goodness, eight tries at game three. And they're able to finish it on the eighth one. What a game that was. We'll be back. I hope game four matches that one. We'll see after this. Rental fleet is the absolute goat. Nice. Speaking of goats, is that Tom Brady? Yeah. He comes in to recharge, gets software updates, you know. Same time next week? You got it. Cool. Let's go. On your six, ladies. The world will get back on its feet. We'll help you stay on yours. What's your secret? Oh, it's no secret. It's the expert help I got at Foot Solutions. Make an appointment at FootSolutions.com. Are you looking for content? Are you looking to up your game by watching some of the best content in the game? Make sure to go over to the McGuffin Pickleball Club YouTube channel. You can check out educational videos. You can check out my vlogs with my family, or you can check out the McGuffin Show. Subscribe today to the McGuffin Pickleball Club.
also the boat was leaking on the waters there for Bright and Irvin, but they finally, on try number eight, are able to finish. So what is going to happen here? Irvin and Bright will start. If the waters want to win, it's going to take five. What a day of pickleball. My goodness. And a little waters again, just coming a little too far on that ball. I don't mind that. I would just like a little bit more pace. She didn't have enough pace, and Why Irvin was just here? able to place the ball perfectly behind her. Yeah, that's an easy winner for Irvin. She'll take that all day. Oh, and Bright Side trying out. to keep her honest, just pulls it a tad wide. You see the forehand that Bright brings from her singles game here to the dubs. Zero, one, one. Second serve. Couple rips here early on in the game. Zero, one, two. Yeah, just sort of the <gasps> deep breath after game number three's tension. There's that cross court attack Point. from Lee Waters that gets Irvin caught. One, one, two. Point. I like those drives early on in the game. As we saw, it gets so much into this dink battle of, of placing the ball so two, well one, that two. you want to make sure that you still have your drives ready to go if need be. So I like that they're all Point. trying those early on in the game and making sure, hey, if I need to pull the trigger, my drive's on. Three, one, two. Okay, Point. so here we go with the waters off to a hot start. We'll see, you know, Bright is not walking towards her chair, so they're gonna play on here. There's no question that the Waters have an idea of where they want their positioning to be. Side That's out. what they want. Anna Lee wants Anna Bright to think, hey, there's a ball I need to throw over there. So. This is so great. You want to talk about chestnut checkers one, four, that we say one. a lot. Both sides are trying to figure out just where they want to be positioned. Point. And that's the shot that uh, got Lee in a little bit of trouble in game number Two, four, one. three. Bright almost came with not a full forehand there. I'd like her to pull that trigger a little bit two, four, two. harder, see if she can't get a pop it to finish the ball Let. versus it coming back over and you have Irvin with the miss. Yeah, hit it with two, conviction four, there. It's a great return. Just insane paddle manipulation on that point, Cameron. It, and the placement was incredible on both of them. They changed the pace of it. You saw Annalie Waters over there with a nice forehand on the on the wide side over there. But man, these ladies are playing incredible pickleball. That just sails point. deep, so the Waters lead grows by one more. Five to one. Oh my, Second serve. And the shake and the bake was ready and forgot to turn off the oven. Left the brownies in too two. long and Annalie Waters, nice setup is pushed just wide by her mother. There's a nice rip there. They go right back to it.
point. We hear so much these terms, right? A third shot drop, fifth shot drive, third shot drive, fifth shot drop. There's no right or wrong Six way anymore. Two. You saw Annalie Waters do a third shot drive and a fifth shot drive. So you, you can pick the pattern that works best for you and your partner collectively point. that's gonna win Time you a match. Receiver. So Seven, I really two. like that, you know, they're sticking with what works best for them. And it is heat, and Anna Bright is walking to her chair. That means it's timeout. So back and forth we go. See you in a minute. More. Not today. Breaks over. Drop something. That's a wicked backhand. All right, welcome back. There's a good look at Anna Bright walking back into position. Dave Fleming with pro player and analyst Cameron Blackwood. Just move to Florida. A lot of good pickleball down there for you, Cameron. You'll be in good shape, but it is the Waters who are in good shape here, up 7-2. 7-2-2. Just a little loose inside out error there from Irvin. Not what you want out of the timeout at all. Annalie Water set that up perfectly. She knew she was going to get Jesse Irvin to pull the trigger, and she was ready for it. 9 2 2. And Lee Waters Point. is the one that finishes that, and how quickly it's 10 2 the other way now. In game number three, 10 2 became 10 9. Game point, though, here for the Waters. Oh, and Lee Waters had a big rip at it, so it'll take more than one game point for them. So 10-2 leads evaporated in game three for Irvin and Bright. They were able to finish on their eighth game point. They got a big mountain to climb now. I'd like them to slow it down just a little bit right now. No need for a timeout, but let's work the point a little bit longer. Let's get Annalie Waters to maybe suck in a little bit more, go behind her, just like they were doing. That was working. There's too much power and momentum coming from the water side. They have to slow that down. Full stretch. Game Ten point to one. number two. Nice finish by Bray. Coming to was a crash hard right there was the serve and Annalie just coming in hard exactly that to finish this out. So three saved. Still the big mountain. 
Oh, indecision, but Anna Lee's easily there. There she comes lurking and says, Come and feed me the ball. That pattern is the magic. It's what got them roaring back in game number three and a big lead two, in two, game two. number four. Forces you in your mind to feed the ball where she wants it. So, four game points. 10 to 1. Second serve. It's tough to get to 11 here today, Cameron. Well, when you have four incredible <laughs> top pro players here. They're reading so well, they can adjust on a dime. They can change a strategy midpoint. It's tough to finish out a game. This is try number five. And that will do it. So a little skitter off the net sets up this finish right here from Anna Lee Waters. And for the first time today, despite how good the first two matches were, we will play five. What could be better than that? We will see it right after this. And I believe Ernie Banks said, let's play five, or at least he would have if he was loving some pickleball like we are. So we're going to play five. Dave Fleming, Cameron Blackwood. What a battle back and forth. Big leads. What do you expect to see here? Same thing. I'm looking for a lot of the players right now. This is go time. This is what takes the match right here. So. There's no mess ups. You can't have these small dink errors. You can't you can't pick your strategy at five. zero five. You Time have in. to start right now. Zero, zero, two. Right at this point. We will switch sides at six. Lee Waters who gets them started. One zero two. I just think when I always want to see the back That's so good, my Anna Bright step back and just a millimeter over the tape. And she didn't let the ball drop. Once that ball dropped, you zero, have to one, hit it right one. at its peak or it's going in the net.
Second serve. Bright read that, just <laughs> could not get that over the net. Had the book, had the cliff notes, had the whole situation Zero, one, figured two. out, read the glossary and ripped it in the net. And what Annalie Waters is doing so well is hitting that nice speed up right down the middle low, and that's creating that next shot to be the put away. One zero one. Just catches a line on the volley. Point. There's a different energy the Waters came out with in this game, and I can feel it. Annalie's looking to get really big and not look back. Two zero one. Yes. Bright and Urban are going to have to slow this game down immediately. Second set. Beautiful one-handed finish by Urban there. Two zero two. That's what you got to do if she's going to play that far over. First two worked. Bright then red. That third one coming and adjusted. I was able to counter. Zero, two, one. by Anna Lee Waters on the ball off the tape. Zero, zero two, two. Okay. Irvin approaches the left side and does not side make out. the third. Two, zero, one. Why am I coming all the way on a dink, especially that's got that much bite from Anna Lee or from, excuse me, Anna Bright? Just tough positioning. Two zero two. You got to get the heck on out of there. Get back to your side. Side out. And I think it's more the movement than the ball is what she's trying to create there. So. Yes, she can take that ball. She's not looking for it to be anything special, except for the Zero, movement two, of her going back and forth laterally to create confusion on the other side. That's really Point. nice from Irvin there. One, two, one. And even better on the next one. Two apiece. Two, two, one. Second serve. Waters played that absolutely perfect brought Irvin and Bright both over to the far right side. All Annalie had to do was just put a nice backhand cross court. Point just wide. Side out. Okay. I did. Ball was good. Oh, okay. Hold on. So, over. Okay. So here we go. Let's just set up what happened here. 
Ball called out. Overruled by Denise Smith, which is absolutely her right as the lead referee. You can challenge that. So we have overruled, challenge, challenge by the water. So back on Kathy Postalweight to make a call here, Cameron. And, you know, both teams can use this as a timeout just to reset. Obviously, we're two apiece in game five. We've been on the court for a while. We have, and why not? It's game five. Might as well take the timeout. At least seem very sure that that ball is out, so I like the challenge here. Again, regroup. Let's go back. Hey, what's working? What are we seeing now in game five? I think right now they're seeing Annalise really wanting to take a lot of court from her mom, and she's creating it so perfectly. It's because she's baiting them into that forehand winner. So let's go ahead. Maybe let's put something behind her with a little bit more pace. See if we can't keep her off her mom's side and then start working Lee again. See if we can't build points that was working for us in the earlier games. But I think both teams are playing great and switching up strategy very quickly and it's helping them get points on the board. Yeah, and that ball is, we see there really close. You see the water's trying to find energy. What a day for Anna Lee Waters. She's next on too in the mix. So, uh, all of her reserves will be called upon here today. But this is a big call here. If you lose a timeout, then you're kind of worried about that. Because if you call one, then you can't challenge something later on. So big call for that. Big call, obviously, for the scoreboard as well. The other thing we're going to see here is the way the Waters have played the last two and a half games. They've made it a very small window to get the ball to Lee Waters. Will they continue to force them to think there's an opening to the outside? So we got the referees huddling. We got Denise Smith gathering to make sure we get the call exactly right. Kathy Postalweight has made her determination. And we will let Denise tell us what the decision is momentarily. The Waters, of course, have been talking the entire time about every last bit of the strategy. I'm looking for Annalie Waters to come out firing, taking the majority of the balls, driving middle hard. Get some right, points out. Here we go with the decision. Yo, the ball was out, side out, two, two, one. Okay, so. As you mentioned, Cameron Lee was pretty convicted that that ball was wide, so the overturn was overturned. Time in. Somebody taught me two, in two, math one. sometime long ago, two negatives is a positive, so we got there. We just get the call right. That's what we want. Good dig by Bright. Pretty from Emily Waters after Lee Waters hung in there impressively at the beginning. And they set it up perfectly by isolating Irvin. And that's what created the massive hole on the side of Brighton Irvin. Mother, hurry up. Get there. Got there, but not much you can do when it's so close to the net. Out. And now we get a shriek from young Anna Lee right there. So the battle rages on. This is something else. Two, three, one. I like what they're doing here, though, slowing it back down. This is what's been working two, for them. Three, then two. they pick their moments when to speed up on their terms, not on the water's terms. That's not working for them. So I like what they're doing here at the start of this game, right game five. Yeah, a couple of unexpected errors from Irvin there, though. So three, two, one. water's back, want to play that fast pace. Point. 
and complete opposite on the other side. It's drive, drive, drive all day long, and it's working for them. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. Four, two, one. What a dig. Second serve. Lee Water set herself up nicely there, Cameron. Yeah, just didn't roll that wrist down to get the ball down. But again, I think they, Four, they two, build, two. need to build on that. There was nothing wrong with that point, just on the finish. Got away with one in the middle of the court there that Anna Lee wasn't able to pound on. One. And don't care how you get the ball back, you just get it. Look at this defense. What a scramble by Bright. The longer they make the point, the more they come out on top over on Brighton Urban's side. Sticking with that strategy. Staying patient. Second serve. And Irvin got to clean up the thirds here in game five. That Three, one four, sails two. a bit wide. Let's see if they make her hit another one here. They do. And she misses it. So if you see somebody maybe struggling with that or in their head, feed them the ball. It sounds not the nicest, but this is a Four, tournament. Three, this is for the gold medal. You this do professional what, sport. Exactly right. Make them figure it out. That's a nice finish. That will give her some confidence. Four, three, two. for Irvin and Bright there though, so. When you're trying to come up to that transition zone, trying to make your way to the kitchen, that is a perfectly placed ball right at the feet. It doesn't need to be hard. No. Three, Just four, placed one. incredibly well. Okay, so they switch position here. Put Irvin on the left. Now she's able to make that. from Jesse Irvin. She read that because Annalie wasn't creeping over as much as she usually is. That's because they've been keeping her honest a little bit on that straight up side with Irvin. And again, overextended as Annalie Waters paddle tech paddles hit the ground. Guess what that is? That's easy Time to know. Receivers. Make Five a tee, one. put a paddle on the ground. What a just beautiful battle from four great players. We'll see the ending after this. Johns? What do we got, Prento? Another one. Shame. Third one this week. Any suspects? Not yet. We'll send these to the lab. All right. Let's take a look. What do you think? Bring me the jigsaw.
All right, welcome back to the Peachtree Classic powered by Invited. We are in Peachtree City, Georgia, just south of Atlanta, and this is a battle for the ages. 541. And we'll switch sides at six. Second serve. And the degree of difficulty of that stab that Anna Five, Lee four, Waters two. did in the middle and the, of that point, that's usually the cross court player's ball. My goodness. And she kept it unattackable. Yes. Oh, and then some confusion in the middle. That happens. This team's used to playing the other way. Not that they're not capable. Obviously, game five of a gold medal match, they got to figure it out. But, okay, four, five. Four, five, well, you one. love to switch with the lead, even if it's just one. That's a big mile marker. A little safe from Anna Bright on the ball before that where she had a chance to go. What I like there, when you watched Annalie Water, five, five, she was baiting a poach big time. Look for her to get bid big all over the court. <laughs> <laughs> but there we are, keeping her honest. I like that because they saw she came out with so much energy looking to get fired up to get these this five, momentum. Five, they put her right back in her place. Irvin has pulled the trigger behind her a few times successfully. So it is the Waters that will have the lead at the switch. So 6-5. We're going to switch sides. We're going to stay there until somebody wins by two. What a day of pickleball. New People Pickleball. Probably on the edge of your seat. Everyone here is packed in trying to see who is going to finish this battle. Dave Fleming, pro player, Cameron Blackwood with me. We're going to switch sides. We're going to settle in. Waters have the narrowest of leads, 6 5. Time in. 6 5 2. What a change of direction there by Jesse yes. Irvin. Just a nice flick of the wrist, laid it ever so slightly over the lead. Six, one. Change of pace, put it right in the net. Second serve. Beautiful ball by Lee Waters at crunch time. And again, the middle is the concern in this matchup. Jesse has got to be aggressive. Five, six, She's going to play the left there. Great dig by Bright. Side out. So the waters get it back, no harm done. 
Six five one. Crash. Doesn't get a big one. But there is the post from Anna Lee Waters on the next one. I was wondering when I was going to see that. Wow, even she Lee Waters is impressed. She reads it so quickly. And two in a row. Look out. Danger, yes. Timeout receiver. Anna Bright immediately said this is going to be a timeout. So, okay, Cameron, we're going to stay here. Two shaking bakes in a row. Go six to eight. Three points from a win. What are you telling Bright and Irvin here? Let's get back to what works for us. Let's not play bigger than we need to. We're in this. We're just fine. We've already won two games. We're in the fifth. We know how to win against them. What was working for us? Number one, let's slow it down. Two, we were suffocating Lee. We were creating a lot of pop-ups. We were, we were sucking in Annalie Waters, creating something behind her. They need to get back to what was working for them. I don't think they need to change too much. I think sometimes when you get tight in these, these spots, you think, we need to do X, Y, and Z, and it's shots you haven't even hit the entire match. You don't need that here. You're great players, you're very consistent, you have a lot of power, you can place the ball anywhere you need it to go, but let's go back to the strategy. Play within ourselves, start inching back, let's get a nice side out, let's get the ball back, let's get some points on the board. They're fine. They don't need to panic. They're in this. Couldn't agree more there. Uh, timeout was a momentum stopper. Now go back and play your best ball. Crowd is loving this. The waters are talking. The other thing that Bright needs to do here is hit a much better return to not allow them to shake and bake here. After that little visor tap by the waters, yes. I think they're looking for another <laughs> one. Oh, heat is coming, folks. That's a very attackable ball. Nice handle on the volley, though, by Bright. And the cross court attack works again. That has been effective for Lee Waters. 9-5-1. Huge serve. Oh, and Anna Bright pulls Second that serve. out of the hat. Wow, perfect setup, and Nine, she was five, ready. Two. And they get a missed drive there, so they can get to nine and no farther. I think that was a fine drive by, oh, by the, Lee Waters. Absolutely. It's working for him. Five, don't nine, don't change what you're doing now. We haven't seen a lob all day. We better not see one here at the end unless you're in desperate straights. Second serve. Third's got a bounce there right now. Great placement by Annalie Waters right in the middle. Five, it's been, nine, like two. I said, been working all match long. Just so good. Anna Lee Waters. Side out. Left hand roll on the backhand volley and then finishes in the middle. Okay, two points from Nine, five, one. a title. Yeah. Yeah, that might have been deep. We'll never know. And guess what we do now? This is match point for the Waters. 10-5-1. Second serve. Uh, I thought they might have <laughs> held that one up, and I thought that was going to drop in. Second try for a second title of the day for Annalie Waters. Two. She's everywhere, and she is a champion. Annalie Waters finishes off one of the best women's finals you will ever see. They come back down two games to one, and they win it. What a great effort from Jesse Irvin and Anna Bright, who played fantastic pickleball today. My goodness, this might be the best day of pickleball's history with the quality of play since we started. So Anna Lee Waters has two wins. She'll go for a third in our next match. We'll have her on the camera after this.
Each shot has its own strategy. Each player, their own style. Whether you dink it, drive it, lob it, drop it, bang it, or spin it is entirely up to you. But we do keep score. We recognize the winners. Podiums are earned. If you want an edge, you best work for it. Electrum, earn your edge. Point. It's all up to me. Nothing can get in my way. And when they ask, what are you gonna do next? I'll say, I'm going. We're going to Margaritaville. You can go to Margaritaville too. Visit margaritavilleresorts.com. Dropping a lot of money on sunglasses always seemed crazy to me. I'd wear them a few times, and then I'd lose them or break them. That's why we created Shady Rays. Polarized shades at a great price that you can try for 30 days risk-free. And even if you lose or break them, just let us know and we'll send you a free pair. Plus, every order helps fight hunger in America. And thanks to you, we're making a big impact. For 20% off your first order, go to ShadyRays.com now and use code TV20. Excited to introduce to you all joining us in our crowd here, our winners of the 2022 tree, Peach Tree Classic, Annalie and Lee Waters. Guys, that was such an incredible match from start to finish. Walk me through this one. You lost to this team just a week ago in the Grand Slam semifinal. What did you want to do differently today? Yeah, I mean, Anna and Jesse are so steady. They don't give you any free points at all. They did so again today. They dare you to attack them. But we knew we needed to stay true to ourselves, which is what we didn't do in Cincinnati. And so the game plan was aggression. And I mean, it didn't, didn't hurt that we had Ben Johns coaching us the whole match and keeping us up. So thank you, Ben. <laughs> well, Anna Lee, we saw Anna and Jesse switching sides a few times throughout the match. What were they trying to create and how did you combat that? I feel like if they lost a couple points, they were just switching it up, trying to keep us, you know, honest, try to mix things up. And I think we were trying to do the same thing. So I think this match was really good because you got to see a lot of different formations and switching and different people in front of different people. So it was really fun to be a part of. Well, Lee, Annalie has made this day a really long one for you. You get to sit through all of her finals. What is it like to be the mom of this incredible athlete? Yeah, I mean, I'm just so proud of her, mainly for the person she is. Secondly, for the athlete she is. She's so humble. She's a great role model for all the kids coming up. And um, it's just a treat for me, win or lose, to be her mom. Well, Annalie, you don't have much time to rest. We're putting you back out on this court to play with Ben Johns. You're going to face off in that match when we come back. It's a gas card. You can always use gas. Always. Wait, but you have a... Mm-mm. Thank you. Hey, do we need gas? Nope. How about now? Uh -uh. Still no. Hey, remember Daddy's birthday is tomorrow. A gas card. I could use this. Hey, that... <laughs> Evolve your journey beyond the pump in the first ever Tucson plug-in hybrid EV. What are you guys doing? We're getting our duper tattoos. You know it changes every match, right? Oh, oh sh Duper, keeping tattoo removers in business by updating after every match. Download the app and claim your free profile today. Can you change that six to an eight? I sure can try. 
you get what you want? Eric Weinmare, blind man, wanted to climb Mount Everest. My man crazy, but he believed it was possible. We're gonna do it. And because he believed, he became the first blind person ever to stand on top of the world. Guaranteed Rate believes in your dreams. That's why we treat everyone like we treat our own family and work extra hard to get you the lowest low rate possible. Because if you believe, you will. great times to good friends, to the glasses that spark conversation, to the ideas that then pour out. Ours came from a night like that and somehow survived the morning after to make our own tequila. It wasn't meant to leave our house, but since we made this for friends, we thought it wouldn't hurt to make a few more. Grab a glass, amigo. Our tequila is your tequila. Our casa is your casa. I'm going to say she's a solid 3.5. Nah, she's definitely a 2.5. Guys, look at that forehand. She's clearly a 3.0. Guys, come on. I'm at least a 4.0. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Ratings don't have to be hard. Duper. Optimized for accuracy. Optimized for fun. Download the app and claim your free profile today. For many of us, we just charge ahead because planning for your future takes time. And right now, thinking about your financial future takes on new meaning. At Baird, our financial advisors have guided individuals and families to achieve their goals through every crisis evolution and groundbreaking idea for over 100 years. That's the difference between thinking you're ready for what lies ahead and knowing you've planned for it. Now that's different. Discover the Baird difference. Welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming here with pro player Cameron Blackwood. So, Cameron, Anna Lee Waters just played a one hour and 43 minute five game, a thriller. Get back out there. Easy. Another day at the office. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't phase her. Like I said, she trains for this. And be when you're that good, when you're number one in the world, you have to prepare for six, seven, eight hour days. This is no different from any other day for Emily Waters. Look for her to stay just on point as she has been all day zero, long. Zero, one. Yeah, the good news for her in this match is uh, she will not have to play 80% of the court with the dude in pink next to her. Though I like when she does. I do too. <laughs> zero, Sit over zero, there in your two. corner, Ben. I got this. Beautiful finish by 
Riley Newman, and on the other side, you've got the incredibly talented Catherine zero, zero, Parenta one. with Riley Newman. This is the only team that has beaten Ben and Anna Lee this year with plays like Point. that. Riley was running into Matt Wright earlier. He's running into Catherine uh, off the gate here. One, so zero, here we one. go. I can serve. You can create so much from one shot. And you see there one, that setup two. shot creates that put away. Catherine not able to get the ball back. His dominance is key Point. when he steps on the court. Two, zero, two. The great sing-songy voice of Derek Prince is our referee. Side out. There's that cross-court attack, so playing the role of her mother and Ben playing the role of herself Zero, there two, in one. the mix as Anna Lee Waters sets up Ben Johns. Point. One, two, one. Point. And that big roller stays in, right in the corner. Two, two, one. Serves. What I like about Parento and Waters is they're not afraid to go at the guys here. Yes. It helps create the shots of what they're trying to set up within two, the pattern two, and strategy two. that they have. A lot of times you just see the women going back and forth in these cross-court battles and then the guys inserting themselves. They insert themselves in the guys' business and handle it very well. Unbelievable get there by Riley Newman. Goes to the left Point. hand, but... Uh, Unable Three, to get two, it into two. a super safe spot, but most people wouldn't have been able to get that point extended. And Side a out. full pancake experience there from Riley Newman. She tried that a couple times where she slid out all the way wide off the court, sped up two, right three, at Newman. One. He was then able to counter right behind Johns. There's exhibit Point. A, what you mentioned before. Catherine ain't scared. Three, three, one. Go ahead and bring it, big boy. Point. I am ready. I like it. Four, three, one. Just missed that wide, and she had the court open. Wait, now there's confusion. I think Newman and Parento think that was good. I mean, Ben calls as generous a line Second as serve. anybody in the game, so. Uh, yes, sir. Four, three, two. No need to challenge. And then, boy, you got a ball Side a out. millimeter wide and then a little kiss off the tape. Come on, man. That's what's three, running four, through there, Brian. Good, good series of points, though, from Second Newman serve. and Parenta there. And then a missed serve from Johns. Three, four, two. Oh, AL will slam it at Point. anybody. Four, four, what they do two. so well is they go right at John's, and his hands are just incredible. What they're doing is thinking, oh, I'll go ahead and surprise Annalie Waters, speed up right at her. She's waiting for the counter. That's exactly the game plan that she's wanting to finish that point. Side yeah, there's, a, there's a case where Ben sees his four, partner four, in trouble one. and wants to help out, but Annalie's so quick. She's back in position. Ben says, my bad. <laughs> yeah. 
Second third. Franta goes back to retrieve the ball and says, got to get on top of that. She Four had a chance to of one there. Boy, that serve did Point. not come up at all. And we've seen that on this court a bit. It's played a little different. Five, Some of the four, bounces two. are not much of a bounce at all. They're more of a bow. Point. Six, four, two. I was wondering who's going to pull the trigger first. The answer is Annalie Waters, Point. but the response Time heavy receiving team, from seven, Riley four, Newman. Two, so, good start for Parento and Newman. They get a timeout call from Annalie Waters and All Ben right, Johns. So, getting going in a new match here. We'll be back with the conclusion of game number one. Ben, you've got to give it up. You're stepping out of bounds. I'm so close, Parento. This goes all the way to the top. I'm talking refs, commentators, food vendors! But how can you prove this? It's so simple. All right, welcome back to the Peachtree Classic powered by Invited. This is the PPA Tour. We got amazing play on center court. We got amateurs playing all over this beautiful complex. Come play where the pros play. And boy, are the pros playing today, Cameron. Incredible pickleball by all four of these players right off the bat in this first game. Catherine Parento has said, uh, I am two. bringing all of Canada's love right here today. And Riley Newman jumps in there. Point. So, Parento on point with all of those. Just She's so good at the teardrop thirds that can Nine, set up four, Riley two. Newman crashing. Side out. So they get it back, but there is a deficit. Four, nine, one. Just wide from serve. Ben there. Trying to do a little bit too much, thinking they got to do more Four, than they have nine, to to get two. out of this hole. Put the ball in play, start picking some spots, and they'll start falling for him. And look at that gorgeous red fry. Catherine Parento, magnifique. Nine, four, one. She held it just long enough. Went ahead and ripped that wrist right down the middle. Great shot, Bad luck off the tape there for Parento. Nine, four, two. Point. Ten, four, two. 
quickly to a game point. Beautiful jumping earning from Ben Johns there. So that's a nice way to stop a game point, Cameron. Four, he ten, was one. reading Newman coming over those multiple times earlier on this game and said, I've had enough. So earlier today, Riley Newman Point. stared down Ben Johns and had a 10-1 lead that evaporated. It is 10-5 now. You don't want to carry Five. a yes, match are. to Five, another ten, match, one. but it's see, hard not to. It is. Sometimes what you do, you think about the shots that you missed early on, thinking, I, I got to do so much more to change it. No, they didn't work. Maybe they're going to fall in this next Five, match. Ten, two. Not to dwell on the past, look to the future, and stay present, especially when you're playing such incredible players like the Waters and, and Ben Johns. Try to do a little too much there. So second chance at game one for Parento Ten, five, and Newman. One. Oh, what a he weird bounce, and it hit him. Or did the ball break? Okay. <laughs> so Ben created his own problem there by hitting that so hard. So that looks like a brand new ball that Riley's got. He's not going to want that. Never. No. <laughs> he never wants so a new ball. So slick. So we're going to make sure we get, get a good this little scuff there. Later, Right, we're going to replay here. 10, 5, 1. Second try at a second try of winning game one. Oh, and Catherine Point. Parento game played 11, brilliantly five. throughout Jane the game. Ends. Sneaky down the line behind Ben Johns, and it is Newman and Parento with all the energy. They take game one. It's the Peachtree Classic on the PPA Tour, and it is powered by Invited. At Baird, we offer a different, more holistic approach to wealth management with your career, family, friends, and community. Finding time for you and making sure your family's financial plans are on track can be a real challenge. At Baird, our financial advisors get it. We'll partner with you to create a unique financial plan and coordinate with your legal and tax advisors to bring it all together so you have more time for what matters most. Getting our duper tattoos. Oh, cool. Hey Cameron, how's it going? Almost done. Perfect. Can't wait to see your number. Number? Duper. Because ratings shouldn't be a surprise. Download the app and claim your free profile today. Ah, 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 ah. I haven't even started yet. Oh. All right, welcome back, everybody. They are dancing in the stands here in Peachtree City. Dave Fleming with Cameron Blackwood and Newman and Parento come out just so pretty. Yeah, confident. They had a very, very distinct game plan. It worked for them, and what it worked so incredibly well was Catherine's inside-out forehand time in. zero, zero, She two. was beating Ben Johns countless times, and they were able to get that game one win. Side out. 
Let's see if uh, Anna Lee Waters can, boy, to have to ramp up, come back, and zero, start zero, at 0-0 zero, zero after a one hour and 43 minute women's doubles final. Oh, Scorpion and Holo, Catherine, just a little too on top of it, but I had the paddle ready. That's a good way to zero, protect zero, your body, two. folks. Learn the Scorpion. Side out. Quick side out. So this is where Anna zero, Lee zero, Waters one. getting some energy from the crowd, from Ben, just anywhere she can find it. That is where thirds go to die right Better there. Serve. High zero, zero, to two. the Riley Newman forehand. Oh. Side out. Great handle by Parento. Zero, zero, one. And a big roaring finish, but what did we see there from Paranto, Cameron? <laughs> incredible Point. inside out forehand roll. It can set up one, so much. Zero, what she one. does so well, she holds it. You think she's going to do a nice roll cross court, maybe a speed up, and it's that nice inside out. It really just is causing a lot of confusion for John's. Oh, you saw another chance to try and go behind Ben there, but a little too much by Riley Newman. And Ben Johns off camera here is having a little Easter egg hunt in the marketing. He has found the ball. One, zero, two. liked how Johns and Waters right stayed out. real consistent, slowed it down a little more, worked the point, Zero, pull one, the trigger one. until Waters felt exactly comfortable. I know I'm going to win this point on this ball. It's out, but it hit Catherine's foot, so that is, of course, in. One, one, one. Or at least a point. It's not in, but it's a, it's a winner. Look at this guy. I really like that point. idea, though. He hasn't sped up too much with that two-handed backhand, and it's so tricky. Two, he can one, do so one. much with it, so I really like that. Next one is definitely going to go over the net. A left-handed stab. And left-handed winner. Hello, Southpaw Newman. Second serve. That's ridiculous athleticism two, right one, there. Two. Come on. Look at that gut. She's only played 74 hours today. Oh, and Parento hasn't really pulled Point. the trigger much off the bounce. She certainly has on the counters and in the air. And I don't like that just yet. I know Three, she'll get there one, and get two. into this match a little bit more, but go with what's been working for you. Let's set it up a couple more shots. Point. Four, one, two. Gus, not heavy breathing by the announcers, folks, just to be clear. APTP came up short, so now there's a debate on that. Point. 
They are going to oh, video challenge, challenge um, us. I am talking at the speed they were deciding <laughs> there. So, uh, again, Ben calls a very generous line, but ATPs are hard because they're hit like a racquetball shot, just barely above the line. You don't hear the word short too often, but that's in essence the call here, that it didn't make it to the court from where it was struck. And it's such a different angle when you're the opponent looking at it because it does skid. It, it's more of a, a sliding angle than you have being right on top of it or on the side of it. So I think it's a good challenge either way. I think it's a good momentum stopper. So I'm not, I'm not upset about this. If they lose it, eh, it's all right. It's game two. Um, but again, I think right now they needed this to let's get back in a rhythm of setting up the point a little bit more, getting Catherine a little bit more involving Ben. He's now starting to get very comfortable creeping over to, to water's side. So let's keep him honest, and let's see if uh, they can't climb back in this. Yeah, I like this. This is a timeout with benefits, potentially. Yeah. So, uh, I think for Anna Lee, this was a tough match to just jump right into. I mean, she had to do so much to get to the finish line in that epic, nearly two-hour match and play a much different role. So now you got to come back, play complimentary pickleball. All right, we seem to have a decision. We will let Derek Prince tell us what he's got. And Derek is waiting, so we'll... Again, it's a tricky shot. Those are sometimes the, the hardest to look at, are those Ernie attempts. Yeah, so still revealing to reset who the referees are. That's Derek Pence, our lead referee, Tony Jalen, and Les Self. The second referees, Anisha Smith is the tracking referee. That was Isabel Gautier making that call. So they are huddling up to make sure they've got the call just right. Ben and Anna Lee are just nodding their head to the beat over there. So there's, there's no strategy discussion in that side. Hey, you're fine. play like you can. <laughs> okay, you do the same. Yeah. Yeah. Looking at it right here. And again, if you're looking at this and you're new to pickleball, a tennis ball compresses, a pickleball does not. So yes, it may look in, but the, the contact plane is not touching the line. Yeah, it's uh, a much different contact with obviously both the paddle and the surface. So here comes Derek Prince with a decision. Upon video review, the ball is in. Rally Newman and Captain Prento will be serving at 1 4 1. All right. Great challenge. Momentum stopper takes a point off the board, gets you a chance to sort of regroup here. Win all around. Now, can they build on it? Side out. Time in. 1 4 1. I like Duncan being very aggressive on that backhand dink, One, pulling four, movement two. out wide. Created a lot of opportunity for them to win that point. So, get the Side overturn out. call and then get the ball back instantaneously. Four, one, one. Again, best of five here. Johns and Waters both have wins earlier today. Anna Lee happens to have two Point. of them. Going to do everything possible to get that third. Oh. She would love Five, a triple one, crown one. today. Ooh. Ben Johnson a 41st hole into that Dura Fast 40 right there. Five, one, two. Go. 
give Catherine a Flat lot of credit. Out. We talked about how much pickleball has been played by Anna Lee today. Obviously, Riley and Ben one have been on the court. One. She came out as the only player who hadn't played a match today and has been brilliant. And that off the tape actually kisses deep. And each player is different, right? I think you're seeing now Newman and Johns both coming out a little bit different, knowing they both played. And sometimes someone likes to settle a little bit longer after they played. One sometimes people want to stay right back in it. So I think a lot of it's going to come down to these guys here to settle in this match. Side out. A little high there. So since the overturn, no one has scored. Five, one, one. Just wide. Second serve. John's had the opening, but uh, a little too much angle. Five, one, two. Catherine made that Side look out. really easy. When you're coming up and you're switching with your partner and one, someone's five, hitting a one. drive, to soften up your hands and hit a nice drop over is incredibly difficult. She made it look very easy. And she's got a little reset clinic going on in this point as well. left just up so Annalie Waters wins that point of patience. Second serve. One five two. Beautiful scamper and again Parento had to go to the point. well of that transitional problem and just two, drops five, it into two. a safe space. That's the beauty of that shot. It's unbelievable. after Catherine Parento played one of the best defensive points you've ever seen. Side if you guys, out. we had a camera in here. Cameron Blackwood's <laughs> feeling every one of those Five, two, Parento one. resets. And then Ben, with just pure wizardry, wins it. Interesting choice. Parento definitely had the serve. ATP, but pulled it back. Five, two, two. Waters is so Point. versatile. She just went from women's doubles being the alpha, being very aggressive, almost Six, playing two, singles two. on the court with her mom, to now being so consistent, hitting the ball, moving it just for Ben to get in and hit those winning shots. She's playing great pickleball. It doesn't look tired at all. Johns was in a very advantageous position, but Side hits out. it deep. Two, six, one. Just slides over there into ATP. Outlet Catherine and a beautiful finish by Riley Point. Newman. Three, six, one. Second serve. 
three, six, two. And that's the danger of returning to Catherine. Point. She's got the beautiful drive or drop that'll set up the monster that is Riley Newman Four, at the six, kitchen. Two. They complement each other so well. Not the second time. <laughs> and there's the compliment. Just point. Catherine is like, go ahead, Ben. Five, six, two. Backside of the paddle does not Side out. bring a miracle recovery that time. So the lead's but one. Six, five, one. Second serve. Six, five, two. Letting the ball go is a talent, isn't it? Point. Yes, Ben Johns is just playing incredible pickleball right now. He's playing very smart, Seven, picking five, his moments, two. picking his shots, and dictating the pace. It's working out very well for them right now. Oh, Point. Matt kisses off the net and somehow stays in. Riley Newman can't believe it. He's like, I just did that a second ago and mine went deep. Come on, man. Eight, five, two. I mean, shut up, Annalie Waters. Point. I thought, I like, I thought Crenshaw was going to get it over once again. She's been doing it so beautifully, softening up that hand. So, Annalie Waters and Ben Johns have now opened up a little gap here in game number two. So, couldn't we be headed to another five game thriller? We'll see. They got to win this one to force game four. We'll be right back. told you. Matt Wright is my lawyer. Well, Matt Wright isn't here, is he? I've got nothing to say to you. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> Bring me the jigsaw. Dave Fleming with Cameron Blackwood and the pickleball quality today is as good as it gets. Oh yeah, Diamond, I didn't expect nine, anything five, different. Two. It's just always who's going to show up. Are you going to show up with your best pickleball and your best game? And every player we've seen on the court today has. And out of that time out, Ben Johns goes, hey, third shot lob, let's try it. I no. love it. If you're new to pickleball, start lobbing. Get Learn five, the shot. Nine, it's very, one. very effective. Get that opponent the heck off that kitchen line. She's there. He's there. She's there. That's the chemistry that you just have Points. to have on the court, that unspoken movement that you know your partner's going to get there. Nine, one. Yeah, there was not a word said throughout that. defense and they're back and just couldn't quite get it all they got most of it quelled and then a big swing by Parento and Johns was ready six nine two
So that's the no-go zone, Cameron. John says that's just a sense of composure out there. You're not seeing a lot of emotion. You're not Nine, seeing six, big swings. One. He's just very composed. Then you see Waters feeding off of that, which is very complimentary to each other. That's why they're doing so well in this game. Scrambly. Oh. Just a lot of steps on the counter Point. in that game. And, and everyone's placing the ball perfectly. Ten, six, exactly one. where they're wanting to put it, moving their opponents exactly where they want them and getting that last finishing shot. So here's a chance, and off the tape Point. is the murder. So this 11, time, six. 11's been the hard number to get to, but right there, it's Johns and Waters get there quickly, and they win game number two. So we will play at least foe. We'd love to see five, wouldn't we, Kane? I would. Yeah, I would, too. All right, we agree. We'll see if the players can come through with that. Our pickleball paddle answers the age-old question of how to get paddle speed and control with the same paddle and one grip, and this is it. Pro XR gives you more spin, greater control, and quicker reloads on every shot in the game because you always have that constant feel for that leverage and control and paddle speed that we're all looking for. Pro XR is the most revolutionary technology in pickleball. All right, welcome back, everybody. Split the first two, so now it turns into a best of three. Waters game three, John's Simon, zero, zero, very two. good in game two. Parento and Newman, very good in game one. Is it a side thing? We'll see. right there it is so hard to be defensively Point. on those and have be able to hit unattackable ball One, time zero, after two. time work your way into the kitchen and allow your partner to have a finishing shot Point. and even ben john stares at his paddle when he misses a return folks so uh everybody two, zero, does it two. two quick points for parento and newman oh and anna lee gets tagged with a ball that's Point. up and it's three zip, and they are three, packed zero, in here two. in Peachtree City. Just wide off the net. And Riley Newman's like, are you kidding me, Nat? Come on. But as you saw so well there, the second you saw that Waters moved immediately zero, three, for one. that backhand counter, she just is reading the ball so incredibly well. Okay, Second serve. the net helped me finally. Annalee off balance when that thing just Zero, sat there. Three, two. <laughs> oh, 
Ben Johns ready to take a full rip at the third and says, all right, I'll just go up to the net and take care of this. You hit the third. Point. And that's that transition Anna Lee is used to. That's her ball 100% of the time One, in women's three, and obviously two. single. She's the only human on that side. Good job by Newman of pushing Anna Lee off the line. Right out. Three, one, one. Second serve. Three, one, two. Point. That's what Newman creates. Him being so big in the middle and his wingspan being so long. Four, one, Waters two. thought she had to do too much with that versus just let's place the ball back in the court. Let's start the point. Start working a pattern. Newman that out. Power asking a lot on a ball that's ripped by Ben Johns there, so it doesn't get over. One, four, one. But a nice four, one lead from Parento and Newman. Oh. The skitters Point. are either staying in or finding human beings for Johns and Waters throughout two, the last four, two games. One. I like that, but I would have loved an off pace ball from Pinto on that. Johns was ready for Three, that. I think four, off one. she may have gotten a pop up and a finished ball there versus losing that point. Big drive Point. by Ben Johns there. Four, four, one. That's not going to make it. Second serve. Okay, so tied at four. Game three. Best of five. Triple crown on the four, line for four, Anna Lee two. Waters. The Newmans have the best no calls, both Riley and Lindsay. Oh. And if you scream no and your partner plays Point. it, you got to get re-engaged. He certainly Five, did there four, and just missed. Two. Those drives are Point. still so low from Waters. They're just creating that point for them Six, to win it. Four, two. Look at that dig. Maybe a timeout here coming from the yeah. other side. There's Point. a lot of momentum coming yeah. quick. Here it from comes. Timeout yes. receiving Scam team, seven, down. four, two. So it is Ben Johns and Anna Lee Waters who are on a roll right now. Dropped game one, win game two, and are up in game three. Can they keep it going? We shall see. Look, if we don't figure out this gravity situation, all of those astronauts are gonna die. And the proof of alien life will be gone forever. But we've tried everything. Mm, we haven't tried everything. Bring me the jigsaw. Beautiful look at the clubhouse here. What a day on the PPA Tour Peachtree Classic, powered by, invited. The fans can't, they're sitting 
almost uncomfortably close to everybody just to make sure that more people can see this incredible action here. Incredible pickleball by the best players One in the time world. Out. And everyone came out. to play today. Yes, they did. So here goes Anna Lee Waters. Time, time in. Out. Seven, Just four, two. By Parento and Newman, who had a lead early in this game, and now have seen a roaring train coming at them. And oh, oh, oh. side out. So timeout works. Four, seven, one. Oh my goodness, Riley Newman with the shot of the day. He is out of the court. He is standing next to the trophy and hits a winner. Pick up the trophy. Point <laughs> five, that was seven, incredible. one. Oh, no. like that. And then it's followed up with a miscommunication in the middle. Five, seven, two. But followed up with a Point. clean winner on the third. So let's see if the pattern holds or not. I'm certain that Newman and Six, seven, two. Puerto hope not. But it does. Amazing. Set out. Hmm. Amazing. Hmm. But Seven, amazing six, one. was freaking amazing. Look at this left-handed get. And then wicked roll, Cameron. Yeah, Waters is fired up right now. She's asserting a lot of dominance on the court. She was almost playing singles up there. Eight, That's how six, confident one. she is on the court, regardless of who's on the other side. Takes a little off and drops the third. And now she splits the middle with a winner. Points. Having the best players in the world on Nine, the same court, six, momentum one. shifts almost every point. And to watch them hone in and control that is the beauty of the Second sport third. right now. And that's exactly what we're seeing on the court. Sure are. Nine, six, two. Trying to get to ten here. Defense to offense, every single point. point. Yes, you are. Absolutely incredible pickleball, and and like I said, controlling it, but staying present. Ten, six, two. So here we go. Game point for Johns and Waters. And Lee Waters six. sneaks in with the two-handed backhand, and the level keeps going up. The waters keep going up. It is quite a day here in Peachtree City. We're going to go to game four now. I want more fireworks. I want chaos, and I want brilliance. I know you do. We'll see if we got more of it when we come back. You don't get the moments everyone talks about without the moments no one sees. Early morning practice, late night drills, running it over and over. You don't get the crowd without the quiet. Everyone sees the glory, the medal, the podium, but every winning shot starts right here. Paddle Tech, let's go again.
miss hit the ball. I know I miss hit the ball a lot. Um, so hey, speak for yourself, for <laughs> are invited, bringing people together since 1957. We are the largest donor of pickleball courts nationwide, with 973 courts across the country. Our members enjoy an incredible lifestyle beyond the courts, with 3,906 holes of championship golf across the country, exquisite dining, first-class amenities, and extraordinary experiences. We are proud to hold this event at the Peachtree City Tennis Center and the clubs of Peachtree City in Georgia. Just what a day and what a celebration of pickleball on the PPA Tour here. Good look at Ben Johns and Anna Lee Waters. Dave Fleming with Cameron Blackwood. Game four, Pro time in, analyst. zero, zero, two. Feels every point next to me. <laughs> a lot of contact in the booth as she's moving with the ball. It's a lot of fun here with Cameron. Love her insights. Willpower. Willpower. Firepower. Just try and stay in as long as Point. you can until you can't, but the fight that every person has on this court is just absolutely incredible. One, it's, zero, two. it's a hot day out here. Yes. You are going Side to out. Ernie. I am going to go at you. Great read. <laughs> Zero, He's one, one. And saying sorry, but that had intention. Just such a smart shot. Looking at the ATP and Anna Lee Waters unable to handle it. And another thing I've just noticed Point. is Anna Lee Waters now has a little wrap on her right one, knee. One, so one. Uh, perhaps the wear and tear of all the play today has caught up a little bit. Still seems to be moving perfectly. But uh, something happened to require that little support. Yeah, I think just a little one, extra support. One, I don't two. think it's anything much to worry about. She still looks great out there, moving well. I don't see any wince or any limp in her movement. So I think it's just been a long day, been a long weekend. I mean, it's not just they've been playing since Thursday. Right. So sometimes we think, oh, two, she just one, played now two. a 43-minute singles match. She's been playing since Thursday. So the wear and tear all of these players have can catch up to them on this championship day. And that's when you see the true winners. Can you come through when it matters? Well, she has twice and has a lead here in mixed. Oh, there's that inside out, Catherine Parento. We haven't seen it for a while, but look at this little juicy Point. number. And it, set up, it sets up Newman perfectly. Three, one, two. And again, a lead early in a game for Parento and Newman. Lefty. That just comes from 
Cut out. Being on court day in and day out, that Waters and Johns were able to got a little twisted, unwind, one, did it perfectly. Three, one. Barely any communication, and win the point. Got very messy for about four seconds, and then that is pretty. So you see Annalie Waters fading. Watch her go all the way to the line, leaving where one, she just three, was two. open. And Cameron, you mentioned the heat. 83 degrees here, so mid-September, and there's plenty of heat here in Georgia. Side out. A real nice quick side out for Parento and Newman. Three, one, one. Second serve. Good stick volley. Three, one, two. I mean, the dude is everywhere. And Parento almost able to fill it in. Side out. One, three, one. My third candy. Would you like a Kit Kat or? He didn't. He didn't want choice? to continue that point. No, we're He's done. done. One, three, done. two. Next, please. Look at this. I mean, come on! It's like there was a rule put in on that point that everyone has to play both sides. Eight winners in that point. Point. I thought there's no way two, that ball's coming two. back. That was a winner by Newman. Johns had a point. And you can't have carryover, but they got it. So sometimes three, a three, one two. rally point gets you a cheap one afterwards. And that's what is beautiful about this duo. And that was all set up by Water Speed Up right there to the back end of Newman, which then created that hole for Johns to put away in the middle. So this looks a lot like game number three, unfortunately for Parento and Newman, rip off to a big start. Now Waters and Johns are coming. Good look at center court there. Thanks to all the referees out here in the game too, Cameron. Long weekend for everyone. Indeed, and yes, you are. the level of Diamond, everything four, is three, phenomenal two. here today. Keeps getting higher and higher. Point. Five, three, two. Five, three here in game four. A little confusion there Side by out. Johnson Waters. Yeah. Three, five, one. that same spot if she's going to fade 
is going to go where she Oink. just was and make Ben have to fill it in. Four, five, one. Great work by Parento there, then to get the finishing ball for Newman. Oink. But what she does so well, she takes that the dink off of bounce, a short hop. Yes. And what that does is that creates five, five, the ball one. to stay so low and not a pop-up. Then they can work the point a little bit longer and wait for that winning shot. Oh. Second serve. Got what he wanted there. Five, five, two. So just the beautiful game that is Catherine Parento. I, I've often yes, called her balletic. Just the way she moves, just so Six, smooth five, and graceful. Two. Side out. Okay, now you say, all right, reserves, dig deep, dig deep. Come on, refuel, focus. Five, six, one. sits on the forehand. And that's what she did so well. She knew he was probably going to speed it up because he's been doing that and has been successful. Six, six, you know, I'm going to stand my ground this time. I'm going to go ahead and have my forehand, my paddle out in front, just counter down the middle. Great read. It takes six winners that to concerns. win a point here, Cameron. As it should. Six, <laughs> six, playing the best two. in the world. Out. Okay. Six, six, one. And there it is again. The disguise is just Point. sick. I'm taking notes. <laughs> it's a great shot to have. Seven, six, one. Sometimes you can Second see serve. it in the opponent's paddle too. When they hold it Seven, just that six, second two. longer, you have to be ready. It, it's a speed up. I need a counter, and if not, then you're ready for the dink. But just having that set, that knowledge. Wow, there's the ATP, and then a ferocious tag finish Point. by Newman. Time out. Eight, Eight, a couple six, tags. Two, one minute. <laughs> And game four is living up to the billing. We don't even need to ask for it. It's going to happen. <laughs> so what a day. Parento and Newman now on a little roll of their own. this. Oh! Let's go! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My turn. Oh! Call it one, one. Hey, uh, Katie, could you pass me the creamer? Why don't you just come into the kitchen and get the creamer? I can't. I can't come in the kitchen. Sure you can. No, I, I really can't. You can come into the kitchen as long as you don't hit the ball out of the air. All right. This why I stay out of kitchens.
Back and forth we go. Teeter-totter goes up, teeter-totter goes down. Emotion, energy, everything is here in this mixed doubles match. Huge finish from Ben Johns there. Coming out of the timeout. Cut out. So they had a 5-3 lead. They now trail 8-6. 6-8-1. Now we saw a Parento fade. Momentum was still going forward, so I really like that shot from her. Seven, eight, I don't think one. a reset was needed. I still like that. And Point. A dipping third gets a miss, and now eight, 88 eight, one. on the board. Great finish there by. Riley Newman puts the ball up in the beautiful grassy amphitheater. You can't see off to the side of the court. Second chance to get the lead back. Second serve. Eight, eight, two. Ooh. And Riley Newman is like finally one of these off the tape kiss wide. So eight, eight, one. Crucial points here. They need to put something on the board. Second serve. That third comes up well short. Let's see if they give it to him again. Eight, eight, two. That is so good by Catherine Parento to be able to save that ball and keep it Point. safe. Nine, eight, and how two. she does that is she drops her paddle completely down to six o'clock and Let just lets the ball, the ball just ride off of it right over the net. So eight, get a nine, one. really untimely miss serve there for Parento and Newman. but they're able to just put that aside and play a great point serve. on the receiving end. Ball comes out of the crowd. Eight, nine, two. Eight, nine, two. Johns and it is Side out. Riley Newman that finishes. Nine eight one. Yeah. Johns is doing such a great job of that with that. 60% speed Second up serve. with jamming print of Nine, just eight, right, two. creating that pop-up. It's a great spot that he keeps going to, and I don't see him changing it anytime soon. Beautiful overhead just inside Side the out. line, so they get it back, keep them at nine. And Lee Waters, eight, nine, three one from three wins today. Parento just serve. so relentless with staying on that line Eight, and forcing nine, a mistake on the dink on that huge point. Yeah. And then lets it go. I mean, you could hear those sketchers squeaking all the way over there. She had to Side fly out. over and fill in. This is nuts. Nine, eight, one.
from defense to offense and then creating once you're on offense. That's what Johnson Waters can do Nine, so eight, well is to capitalize on those big moments. Oh my. Spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have point. to send a postcard and that creates a game point to force Ten, a eight, fifth two. game here. And that one is down. So 8-10, a timeout on Time offense. Out. I like 17. it. So Anna Lee Waters and Ben Johns take a timeout. They just saved the game point. So Cameron, we have seen everybody just relentlessly bringing it here. What do you do if you're in that situation where you're like, okay, we just saved a game point. Now what do we do? Do we call a play? What do you think they're talking about? I don't think much. I think that there's just a lot of back and forth. This is a very crucial game, and they have they do have a game five to go back on. So they do have a little bit of room for error. Not that they're looking to go to a game five, but they do have room for that. So I think, hey, let's just take a breather. Let's make them think a little bit about what their strategy is going to be against us. Johns is really big right now, dictating the court. Waters is setting him up perfectly. So what I think on the other side is them saying, hey, how do we eliminate Johns right now? How do we neutralize him? That's going to be their game plan to stay in this. They don't have a game five. They have to win this to take it to a game five. Yep, nothing in the back pocket for Manning. Brento and Newman. 8-10-1 coming up here. Time in, 8-10-1. And Van John's able to get in there in the middle of that cross court dink and they're within Point. one. Nine, ten, one. Just kisses wide, and folks, it's going to take more than 11 because we're tied at 10. Point. you got to have two more. 10, 10, 1. And that goes deep, and we have gone from a game point for Parento and Newman to a point. match point, a triple crown point. 11, 10, go. 1. And a blustering drive Game. from Ben Johns clinches a two championship day for him and a triple crown for Anna Lee Waters, who has spent, I feel like, the entire day on this court, Cameron. She's earned it. She has absolutely earned it from Thursday to Sunday. She has played incredible pickleball. She's played within herself, and she deserves this. I mean, I know she's won other triple crowns, but the amount of effort today took was unprecedented. The level of play today, unprecedented. This is just four or five matches. Stay tuned. We'll talk to the triple crown winner and her partner. At Baird, we offer a different, more holistic approach to wealth management with your career, family, friends, and community. Finding time for you and making sure your family's financial plans are on track can be a real challenge. At Baird, our financial advisors get it. We'll partner with you to create a unique financial plan and coordinate with your legal and tax advisors to bring it all together so you have more time for what matters most. Our new EV rental fleet is the absolute GOAT. Nice. Speaking of GOATs, is that Tom Brady? Yeah, he comes in to recharge, get software updates, you know. Same time next week? You got it. Cool. Let's go.
On your six, ladies. The world will get back on its feet. We'll help you stay on yours. What's your secret? Oh, it's no secret. It's the expert help I got at Foot Solutions. Make an appointment at FootSolutions.com. Are you looking for content? Are you looking to up your game by watching some of the best content in the game? Make sure to go over to the MacGuffin Pickleball Club YouTube channel. You can check out educational videos. You can check out my vlogs with my family, or you can check out the MacGuffin Show. Subscribe today to the MacGuffin Pickleball Club. <laughs> well, welcome back to Center Court, everyone. I've got Ben Johns clearly very happy here with me. Annalie Waters, what a day for you guys. Uh, that match was incredible to watch. Such a back and forth. You guys did not want that to go to a game five. How did you come back and take game four and finish it off? Uh, you know, you just let Baby Waters be Baby Waters. Uh, <laughs> It's pretty incredible, you know, this is her third match of the day. I mean, that's uh, whatever amount of games, three matches in like six hours, and just her energy and the way she plays at, at that level uh, after that much play is, is truly impressive. So, yeah, well done, and congratulations on the Triple Crown. That's right, Annalie. The Triple Crown has been locked up with this match. You played a total of 13 games today. How is your body feeling right now? Talk about the physical toll of pickleball. Well, I could have played 15, so I'm happy that I didn't play 15. But no, in the first game, I was, you know, having a little bit of trouble. And without Ben, I don't think I could have won that match. So I'm really thankful for him and my mom for pulling me through today. But yeah, overall, it's a grind. But I'm happy to be done, honestly. But I'm so glad uh, what happened today and I had a lot of fun. Well, guys, tell me what you enjoy most about pickleball. It's been called such an addictive sport. The hands battles, the social aspect. What is it for you? Uh, gosh, it's so many things. There's so many great parts to it. Uh, tournaments, competing, uh, partners, doubles is really cool. Uh, great fans, uh, really great just community in general. Uh, and really, I think the sky's the limit for the entire sport. So thank you, everyone, for being here. Annalie, anything to add to that? No, I think Ben said it pretty good. <laughs> All right, guys, she's ready to get off the court and go eat something. Guys, congratulations. I'm going to bring Curtis from Invited Clubs on court now to present that trophy one final time. <laughs> Curtis. Guys, congratulations on behalf of the Peachtree City Tennis Center, Invited, and the Peachtree City community. Uh, congratulations on your win today. All right, guys, hoist that trophy. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with our final matchup. Not yet, buddy. New People Pickleball.
Each shot has its own strategy. Each player, their own style. Whether you dink it, drive it, lob it, drop it, bang it, or spin it is entirely up to you. But we do keep score. We recognize the winners. Podiums are earned. If you want an edge, you best work for it. Electrum, earn your edge. Match point, it's all up to me. Nothing can get in my way. And when they ask, what are you gonna do next? I'll say, I'm going. Go to Margaritaville too. Visit margaritavilleresorts.com. Welcome back to the Peachtree Tennis Center, Peachtree City, Georgia. Peachtree Classic, powered by Invited. Every street in Atlanta is Peachtree something. And every game of pickleball today has been outrageous. Dave Fleming with pro pickleball player Cameron Blackwood and Cameron. What else can you say except thanks for the entertainment players? I mean, it's been outstanding. It has. It's been outstanding. And the level has just kept going up. The longer the matches go, the better the pickleball got. And so people think, oh, they're going to get tired. The match is going to go down. You have the best players in the world out here, and they are proving it on every single point. And it's just absolutely incredible. The fans here are loving it. They're packed five, six rows deep. It's an amazing day here in Peachtree, Georgia at an incredible facility. Yeah, so let's set the stage. We're back to only one person on either side here, Cameron, to finish the day. We started with singles, we will end with singles, and it's Julian Arnold taking on J.W. Johnson, and uh, rumor has it you were a house guest at the uh, Johnson residence. I was for about five weeks earlier this year in March, and uh, I mean, I just learned so much you have some of the best players in the world from him to his sister to his mom and just to be on court with them every day two three times a day up to seven eight hours some days was just absolutely incredible and i'm just still so thankful to them and their family for allowing me to do that but you know when you get hit in the face by jw's quick hands uh, day in and day out you, you learn you learn how to put the paddle up <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> so uh a lot that uh, Ms. Blackwood has learned, and we'll see what Julian Arnold on the other side has learned. Julian Arnold, insanely quick. So he's going to be flying. He's got a huge two-handed backhand. The energy, he's going to be screaming on Diamo. It's going to be fun watch here. And his confidence just in the past two to three months has skyrocketed. He now believes in his game. He always had his game, but now he believes in his game. No doubt about it. This is going to be an it. incredible match. So there you see, he's going to be jumping around. There's And then J.W. Johnson just going to be chill. Game one, motion. time in, zero, zero. So we got the other side. Let's play pickleball. Fight out. And Julian will sprint back to the line. J-Dub will take his time. It's just a total 180 zero, zero. of personalities and styles, and yet the ability is outrageous. Point. That's why they're here on Championship Sunday. One, zero. Point. Head referee is Tom Two, Richardson zero. here. You saw Julian Point. Arnold hold it there and then hits a beautiful inside out forehand and our first exclamation from him. There will be many more. And you're going to see very different singles play than you saw from the women. Yes. In the women's game, Three, there's a zero. lot of baseline rallies. It's 
more of a tennis game with most of the players, not all, but most. You have Lady Jansen Boy. who comes in, a lot of players do, but they like to set up the point from the baseline. The men, on the other hand, love to rush the net and play the cat and mouse. They feel very comfortable up there, they like to work the point. So you're gonna see a lot Four, of return zero. and charge the net. Side out. Zero, four. Oh, look at that. Boy. Something JW does so well is when he's in that cat and mouse, he doesn't allow the ball to bounce. And that just takes time away from the opponent. And he has, I think, the best backhand flick in the game. That's pretty there, because I think One, Arnold four. thought that was down, and then he's going to be OK. Fight out. So J.W. Johnson goes for the big two-hander. Just misses it wide. Four, one. Point. Win picked up right there on that return. Five, one. And again, not right letting it drop, taking it right at the peak. Nice little flick back behind Arnold. You're going to watch to see that a lot from J.W. Johnson. One, five. Side out. Five, one. Side out. And Julian, that's in the budget. He's going to be ripping balls all day long. Some of those aren't going to work out. That's OK. One, five. Side out. It's a great return. Five, one. Oh, and just out. a little too much, but you see the foot speed of Arnold. And these two players play each other often. Almost every other week One, they're on five. the court with each other, so they're very aware of each other's games. They know each other's strength, each other's, I wouldn't say weaknesses, but maybe not favorite shot to hit. Point. And so you'll, you'll see that a lot, how they'll change the strategy a little bit depending on what their opponent's doing just because they know each other so well. Yeah, it's about tendencies, and you know, then it's the whole Two, five. Princess Bride. Do I do what I know you're going to do, or do I do what I know I d don't think you're going to do because you know what I'm going to do? Side out. Get on that carousel and spin it around. Five, two. Side out. Not enough to in the men's game, when you have such a dominant presence up at that kitchen line, you feel the baseline, you have to do more than you have to. Yeah. That's why you see a lot of people rip the ball, they'll go wide, it'll go out, or just Two, a loft ball for your opponent to put it away. You'll see, just like that, Point. Arnold's going to start to slow it down. Let's maybe hit some drops. Let's get JW moving laterally, see if we can't create something for me to come in on, then see if I can get a pop-up and put that ball away. Three, five. Fight out. It's a little feeling out here to start. Obviously, knowing each other's game. Five, three. Causes you to th overthink sometimes. Wow, that didn't come out. That's a great get by J-Dub there. Fight out. See the frustration with Arnold having a great serve and then missing that third. It's always so frustrated, but again, he'll regroup, get back. You have to let that go, especially in singles, because it's just you out there. You cannot get in Three, your own five. head and carry those mistakes with you throughout the game. Point. And there might have been a slight carry there. That was a big, big swing at a two minute backhand, so. Four, five. J.W. Johnson on the comeback trail, and the comeback trail has been Point. Very well traveled today. Beat it yourself. 
Arnold just said, I'm beating myself. Sometimes that's the hardest part about singles. You like it because you don't bye. have to disappoint anyone, but you're playing against yourself. First true cat and mouse point at the kitchen line here. And Arnold just kisses point. it wide and takes it out on his Time right out. thigh. That Receiver. looks painful. Six. So J.W. Johnson was down big to start, and now he's just brought all his talents to the front. He's got a lead. We'll be right back. My name is Catherine Parento and I've been playing pickleball for almost six years. I travel a lot uh, to play in tournaments. I'm always on planes and I see a lot of people when I travel. I need to make sure that I stay healthy. I need to support my immune system. So that's the reason why I use the Pure Way C+. Welcome back. Middle of our fifth time and out, final main, receiver, match of one the day, and it's J.W. Johnson up by a time point in, after six, being down five. early. Arnold calls timeout. See if that can get the ball back and Side just out. absolutely destroys a return, clean winner return. Come on. He took that right off the bounce. Incredible. Five, six. Left. We'll replay that off the tape, but staying replay. in past Five, the kitchen. Six. Right out. So much effort and then had one of the easier balls in the rally and couldn't drop that in. Always seems to happen that way. Yeah. You get all the hard ones and you have a nice sitter and you almost just don't finish that shot because you just want to be so careful that it gets over when you just need to keep doing what you're doing. That's staying Six, in that point. Five. Yeah, I'm seeing a little cut there on a uh, little scrape on Julian's point. left knee. He does get really low yes. to hit his ground stroke, so that could have been there as well. Even and when he's playing cat and mouse, his knees almost touch the ground. Seven, five. Oh my, and off the tape is right out. the only way to get Johnson not to be able to have a response. Five, seven. Six in a row for Johnson. Let's see if Arnold has an answer. Not there. Right out. And it's his passes are just way too high before they were low penetrating rips. Yeah, and when you see singles, a lot of the times Seven, you five. play with the open court, but at this higher level, when you're the best players in the world, you can read it so well and go behind the players. And that's when you're seeing a lot of success on the singles court. And the reach and Point. hands of J.W. Johnson, impressive. Eight, five. Nice finish by Julian Arnold there. Very patient, let J-Dub right choose the side and just hit a winner. Five, eight. Oh, glad that J.W. Johnson's okay there because his right Point. foot gave out yeah. there. It didn't roll. It looked like it just looked like more than a Six, more like eight. a slip, and he seems to be just fine. So thankful for that. A 
Look at this scamper. Right out. He keeps the volleys so low, just that flick of the wrist. Sometimes coming from tennis, we slice a lot, and so that just creates the ball to dump right into the net or tip the net cord. He's able to not only come there, but hit that flick and roll the wrist, eight, creating six. that top spin with the volleys. Very effective. ATP, no, he goes back door. That's just beautiful. And Arnold's only right. choice is to chuck the paddle at it at the end. Both of these guys are playing high level singles right now. Even though Arnold's not coming out on the top of some of these points, Nine, six. he is playing incredible pickleball right now. Point. I'll send him a note. Yeah, yeah. I'll send him a note. Just a quick note, handwritten. Timeout, receiver, Calls the 10 timeout. Six. So 10 6 will be the score. JW Johnson has won nine of the last 10 points. Felt like I had to always drink water over and over, but I still felt a little bit dizzy by the end of the day. But once I tried to incorporate more electrolytes in my daily life, it really helped me out. My favorite thing about the pickleball cocktail is the flavor. It tastes great. I drink the pickleball cocktail every morning to make sure that I stay hydrated throughout the whole day. It's important to drink first thing in the morning. If you wait until you play, you're usually too late. You start feeling dehydrated. When it comes to hydration, don't wait before it's too late. Welcome everybody, Dave Fleming, Cameron Blackwood, thrilled to be calling this for you. Cameron, what do you expect to see is uh, J.W. Johnson on a tear here. I think Julian needs to slow it down just a little bit. I think he's scrambling really, really well, staying in the point. But on those last couple shots, instead of a drive, I'd like a drop or a nice roll. Because those aren't going over and J.W.'s ready for those speed ups. A little off pace might throw him off. Right out. And throw us on camera. Six, he does ten. what you ask. There we go. Gets the ball back, gets that stopped. That's a great point by Julian yes. Arnold right Point there. Much Look at that ball spin and kick out. So one game point saved. Seven, ten. I'll recall it. Seven, ten. Oh, hello. Looks like the beginning Point. of game one when he was ripping winners. Shorter return, too, from Johnson. And he needs that confidence. Like I said, the louder ten. he gets, the better he plays. So a couple rips like that just raises his confidence and raises his game. Just such a nice patient overhead by right J.W. Out. Johnson there. Second chance at game one. Ten, eight. Point, and game. And that will do it. So J.W. Johnson down early, comes back. Arnold has a little run at the end, but it is J.W. Johnson who will take game number one. We'll be back with game two right after this. Dropping a lot of money on sunglasses always seemed crazy to me. I'd wear them a few times, and then I'd lose them or break them. That's why we created Shady Rays. Polarized shades at a great price that you can try for 30 days risk-free. And even if you lose or break them, just let us know and we'll send you a free pair. Plus, every order helps fight hunger in America. And thanks to you, we're making a big impact. For 20% off your first order, go to ShadyRays.com now and use code TV20. Hey, to you. 
<laughs> it's a gas card. You can always use gas. Always. Wait, but you have a... Mm-mm. Thank you. Hey, do we need gas? Nope. How about now? Ah. Still no. Hey, remember Daddy's birthday's tomorrow. A gas card. I could use this. Hey, that <laughs> Evolve your journey beyond the pump in the first ever Tucson plug-in hybrid EV. Welcome back, everybody, to the PPA Tour. Check your ppatour.com to see if this is coming near you because you got to go Game check two, this out. This in, is unbelievable. Zero, zero. Seeing it up close and personal. We love that you're watching at home, but come check it out live. It's really, really good. Side out. Zero, zero. Side out. Well, like you just said, just Julian hasn't. I don't think we've had a zero, single zero. on Diamo yet. We had one. I'll recall it. Non on Diamo yell from him earlier in game one, but that's that's his that's his juice. Zero zero. Side out. And when you're going from corner to corner, it's hard to get an Andiamo. And it's hard when, when JW is putting you on your back heels to, to get a shot and to get back into that zero, cat and mouse zero. game, which the men like to do. And I think Arnold feels comfortable being up there. He just hasn't had a chance to get up there. Great point created by him so far. And same thing Side out. done to JW Johnson. He just you needs to build off of that. He has the shots, he has all the tools, he has it within himself to play like this. Zero, and zero. And he has the energy to last five sets. So look for him to build on that and get some points on the board. Point. Beautiful dipping backhand drop sets up the finish. And the key to that is you gotta follow your shot and he did it perfectly there. And he didn't overhit it when he did. One, zero. Point. Okay, nice drop followed by a missed return. Keep going for that serve. Two, zero. Side out. What Johnson does is when he does that flick, the amount of spin zero, that's put two. on it that maybe you can't see on the screen is so heavy and it's very hard to pick up and create a drop right off of that. So what Arnold needs to do is just finish a shot just a little bit more to have it dip back over to then get up to play the cat and mouse. Arnold Two, urging zero. himself as he goes to the towel. Side out. And that's the shot he was making on Thursday to get himself to this championship Sunday. It's still early on. I, I like that he still is going Zero, for it. I two. think he should. Point. Blistered. One, two. Nice stuck volley there. Side out. Two, one. I like that though. I like that he was going to take it out of there, take time away from Johnson to set up. He just didn't execute exactly how he would like no, to. He actually kicked his own paddle there he with did. his foot. But one, two. I like the movement from him and the thought process behind that. That's nice by Point. Johnson. He held it just long enough. You think he's going to go cross court, goes down the line, creates the pop up, finishes. And a two, two. tag to add a little extra exclamation on that one. That is an obscene backhand volley from Julian Arnold right Side there. Out. 
full stretch. That's all it takes, right there. That's all it takes, Joanne. And I agree with him. Let's go back to simple pickleball. He has all the tools. Two, Don't overplay two. it. He's right in this. Point. Just perhaps there Three, is a two. partner. He's getting a lot of information from me, myself, and I there, which is what he needs. And now we're there going. There he goes. Four. Getting the Andiamas from the corral. That was a beautiful forehand pass right there. Four, two. That's a great ball by Johnson. Side out. Off the return. <laughs> if Johnson's going to cheat just a little bit to the backhand to cover it and run around it, my goodness, that's hard to do against anybody, let alone Four, two. the top player in the game. That's so Side out. I know he didn't make it, but I really like that shot selection from yeah. Arnold. A nice dip cross court. He's been having a lot of power behind it. Let's take a little off, hit a nice roll, two, move in behind four. it. I'd like him to try that again. That's ridiculous court coverage Point. by J.W. Johnson there. It's like, okay, you've hit a couple of clean winners off my... That didn't happen anymore on my watch. I'm going to get up back to the kitchen and play my game. Three, four... Really close. Side out. So the challenge is available there, but uh, I don't think anyone's sure if that was in or out, so not sure. Call it good, move on. Now you could, if it's close, this is Four, an opportunity three. to take advantage of the situation here and be sure, but we will play on. Yeah, Johnson's not really big on taking Side timeouts out. or challenging. He really likes to play yeah. through those moments. Um, I think that's really what keeps him at such a, a neutral level when he's playing. Um, so I'm Three, not surprised by, by that at all. Side out. You do not get extra points if you hit the guaranteed right sign, Cameron. So uh, that is not the intention of that swing. Four, three. That's just too good. Side out. Three, four. Side out. A lot of back and forth in this. Yeah. Again, game two still early. Four, three. Point. That caught the line on the, just on the sideline. Five, three. Too much on that one. Right out. Where are you aiming? Just says it's pickleball, three, not five. tennis. We are at a tennis center, so I understand. Sometimes we wish we had the strings. <laughs> we wish we had the strings, the doubles alley. There's a lot of Four, uh, carryover. Man, the way people are shaping the ball now, it's like they do have Point. strings. And now that one miss has carried over into a couple of misses. Timeout, receiver. Right. Timeout. Yeah. Five. Five. So tied at five in game two. Arnold grabs his towel in disgust. Arnold, of course, trying to find that energy. Dorothy, I really think you'd like the magnesium. 
Perfect. I'd be happy to get that shipped out to you today. Thanks, Dorothy. You too. Does he do that every time? Every time. Wow. Woo! Happy birthday, Matt. Aw, thanks, Lucy. Oh, wow. And another one. Oh, you shouldn't have. I have one more surprise for you. Okay. Come on. I love it, babe! Just to set it up, uh, Cameron, we just, uh, for those of you just joining us, do we know who in the uh, semis? Ben Johns. Time yeah, in. 3, five, 11, five. 8. And J.W. Johnson here. knocked out Dylan Frazier again. This happened on Thursday. Okay. Timeout, big roar. So that's the interesting thing right about it. you play a lot of a lot of singles Thursday. None show up, try and win a gold. Got to find it. Good thing is, is these players are used to this five, type of five. Flat, right. so they can adjust very, very quickly. Fight out. And a little bit too much of a roller coaster for Arnold over this last couple of minutes. Really big highs five, and then five. two missed returns and a missed serve. Fight out. Five, five. That's pretty Point. there. Yeah, well, why? Yeah. Huh. Get that energy going. <laughs> He's telling himself to get Six, the energy five. going. He can. If anyone can, uh, he can. For sure. <laughs> Runs around the backhand and hits a clean pass. Point. So Johnson's got to make sure he gets that return deeper. He gives too many options to Arnold. Seven, five. Point. I think trying to do just that sells just a little bit long. Timeout, receiver, eight, five. Okay, so. J.W. Johnson has seen enough and is going to calm this down. So it's Johnson now forced to call timeout. Will Arnold get to the finish line? I think it's 120 milligrams. Let me check on that really quick. It's 125. Oh, it's 125 milligrams. UPS or FedEx for this one? FedEx, they deliver on Saturday. It's three minutes on high. It's pound, then the number. Orange evokes energy and vitality. Black shows soft. How does he know all this stuff? Strength. That's always Yellow right. Yellow shows unknowns, things that are unclear. We need to, we need to dive into Welcome back, folks. The crowd is going. The players are going. The level is going. And it is Julian Arnold who's going right now. He's got the shots. He's got the volume. Time in. He's got Eight, his five. energy up. Let's see if he can finish. Look at him cover the court. Double bounce there. Side out. Just the sliding on a hard court is nuts. A lot of us tennis players do come from yeah. training on clay as well. So 
A lot of that training just gets transferred over here Five, to the pickleball eight. courts. You see that a lot from Catherine Parento as well. Yes. Point. There's the missed return. Can't have that. It's yeah. just going to be stringing those points together for Arnold, keeping the energy, keeping those aggressive points that you're winning, and then winning that next one. He's having a hard time just stringing them. Six, eight. Point. This is going to be a big test of his mental fortitude here. Four of the points of the seven, seven missed returns eight. here. And J.W. Johnson had a good look at eight all right there and just pushed it. Eight, seven. Those ground Point. chokes are <laughs> dipping over the net. Two Nine, points seven. From tying this match up. That's a Point. ridiculously good drop off a great return. And now. Julian Arnold staring at a game point. Ten, seven. Point, and game. He just ropes a two-hander past J.W. Johnson. So despite some rocky returns, the passing shots on point. Really impressive, Julian Arnold. We're going to play at least four in the men's singles. We'll be back with game number three. What are you guys doing? We're getting our duper tattoos. You know it changes every match, right? Oh, oh sh Duper, keeping tattoo removers in business by updating after every match. Download the app and claim your free profile today. Can you change that six to an eight? I sure can try. How do you get what you want? Eric Weimer, blind man, wanted to climb Mount Everest. My man crazy, but he believed it was possible. We're gonna do it. And because he believed, he became the first blind person ever to stand on top of the world. Guaranteed Rate believes in your dreams. That's why we treat everyone like we treat our own family and work extra hard to get you the lowest low rate possible. Because if you believe, you will. Welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming here with Cameron Blackwood. And Cameron, we just keep watching amazing shot after amazing shot. It started with Anna Lee Waters and Callie Smith. Now we got the dudes playing singles. All the doubles was phenomenal. Let's see who can grab game. Game three, number three. time in, zero, zero. J.W. Johnson to serve. I want the shot. <laughs> it is just so incredible how he takes it so quick. And you can even know it's coming on the other side, but the amount of flick One, and wrist zero. he puts behind it, you can't pick it back up. No, and having Point. that big reach certainly helps over here at 5'8". That's not going to be in my wingspan, but uh, Two, zero. really nice from J-Dub there.
Point. And there's where the presence of his big wingspan makes you go for a little too much, which is what Arnold did there. Makes you unsure of the shot you're wanting to hit, just second guessing that, and miss it in the net. Three, zero. That ball didn't come up, Side so out. it makes it really hard on the run. Now let's see if he can build on this. It's exactly what Arnold needs to do. He needs to get this point. Then he can start building one by one, getting that momentum, getting Zero, aggressive, three. getting a lead in this game three. So ugly. Fight out. But so ugly, his words, is not going to make that happen. Three, zero. That's ridiculous, J.W. Johnson. Arnold was there and let it go. Thought there's no way that can stay in. That last little bit, that wrist flick on that left hand side Four, keeps zero. those back hands in. A lot of people think it's just that right hand. The left hand creates oh. the roll. And you want to talk about a roll. There's Point. a forehand roll. He's on a roll. This seems like it needs to be a timeout. And Julian Arnold <laughs> timeout, receiver, sits down score five, and calls zero. timeout as he slaps the ball into the net in disgust. So J.W. Johnson has come out focused here in game number three. The yellow warm. Not today. Breaks over. You drop something. That's a wicked backhand. All right, welcome back, everybody. There's the end of uh, the last point when Julian's like, here's the ball. <laughs> you can freaking have it back, and I'm calling timeout. Zero. Point. And coming out of the timeout, hits a backhand halfway up the net. Not what he wanted. Six, zero. Point. And he is staring a hole into that court right there, Cameron. I'd like him just to take a little bit off. I mean, clearly those straight drives aren't working. Let's dip the wrist. Let's create a little bit more top spin, a little Seven, bit more locked zero. in the ball, and work our way in from that point. Just like that. There we go. That's too good there. Tied up Johnson. Right His hands are so good he was able to get it back, but... Uh, controlled roll. And it all started from a nice return, nice deep return. He took a little bit off of it, a little loft to it, was able to move in behind the ball, then create the point. Zero, That's what he's going to have to do against J.W. Johnson. And then sails right the serve well deep. Just can't find it, but guess what? He's you Seven, know, game zero. of peace here. A little problem, of course, in game three, but... Uh, that's so good. Right out. And that's what we saw at end game number two, just a rampage of brilliance. He just needs to lock into that moment and stay Zero, present seven. right at this very moment. Get some more points on the board. That time the right overhead out. off the net actually helped J.W. Johnson because he was not in a good overhead position. You don't see that very often. No, it's usually bad news, but that put Arnold in a weird spot. Seven, zero. Oh, J. 
just couldn't quite get right there. I think he let that. He was there. I think he just let that go, thinking it was going to sail out, dip right back in. Great point by Arnold. So Arnold's played a couple of nice receiving points, Zero, but seven. still has yet to scratch the scoreboard here in game three. That's just too good. Double right bounce. Out. Plus that has cumulative effect to make him run around. If he's going to chase that down, fine. Yeah, I'm just going to be standing right here right. waiting for it. Yep, go ahead. You're the only one in the relay race. Seven, zero. Point. I liked that, though. I think the speed up from our angle looked like he was going to go straight at Johnson. Sometimes that's the best bet when you're in those cat and mouse points. Eight, Sometimes zero. the best shot is right at the yep. opponent. That's so good. Point. You want to talk about dialed in, Cameron. Nine in a row here to start game three. Looking very calm, collected. Again, he does keep his emotions yeah, very neutral. I was going to say, nine, if it was zero. Zero 09, he would look that way. Point. We have a pickle point coming up. Never put it past Arnold, though. He can fire up and he can go For on sure. big runs. That's why it would behoove Mr. And Johnson zero. to go ahead and get that pickle. Oh, top spin lob. Side out. Interesting choice. Swatted away. Arnold Zero, has ten. the ball. Watch that thing. That's so good, J.W. Right Johnson. <coughs> we saw some drop volleys in the women's singles that did not have Ten, that bite zero. to them, and they were way too deep. That was so shallow, just perfect. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Point. Oh, he Game. went down hard. I'm just thankful his arm was straight. Yes. He says he's okay. My goodness. That wow. is a hard fall on a hip, you know. That's when someone tries to break their fall and then their wrists are in question. So not that you want to land on your hip and shoulder, but it's got more there. So scary moment at the end, but 11 nothing. We're going to game four. Scary moment at the end of game number three there as Arnold slides and slips. He fell, fell hard, did not hit his head or break his fall with his wrist. So I can tell you he is walking onto the court to play here. Seems, I'm not going to say he's perfect because that was a hard fall, Cameron, but seems okay. He, do, he does seem okay. Just thankfully he stretched out almost, I was saying like an Elise Jones, like a volleyball slide, kept his arms straight so to protect Game four. All those important Time you know, in. bones that you need, but. Yeah, yeah wrists, elbows, all zero, that yeah. stayed off the ground. And a Point. beautiful start to game number four for Julian Arnold. That's exactly when he needed coming out of that. 
Wow. So the pickle one, for zero. 11 zip in game three, and then he comes out with that. So he is focused. Another nice dipping drop. It's so bad. Side out. Arnold trying to encourage himself with some tough love there. Zero, one. Works good for him. Yeah. Point. Just got to keep it composed here. It's one apiece. One, one. Side out. Hmm. You know, in singles, it's in the budget. You should be going for your serve. You want to try and force a shorter return. One, one. Going to miss a serve every now and then. It's the returns that are punitive because a point is rung up. Side out. And that is just J.W. Johnson dictating. One, one. Point. Has to do a little too much. What a scamper from J.W. Johnson. Great point from both guys right there, moving each other across the court. Again, we see there Arnold has the game. Two, he one. has the shot. It's just that last ball that J.W. is just getting the upper hand on and winning. Right out. He needs a couple good yells, a couple good fire ups, yep. a couple good big jumps, knees to chest up there. Yeah, just find the things that got him here. One, I mean, this two. Is a 53 person field, and he's one of the two left standing. Point. So, a uh, miss serve and a miss return creeps into J.W. Johnson's game after flawless game number three. Five. Point. All set up by a perfect drop. That is exactly what he said to himself right there. Third shot, get the quality up. Three, two. Side out. That would not be the quality up. Again, he's just having a hard time. He, set up, he sets up a great point, wins an incredible point and then can't get that next one to Two, stream three. any momentum together. Because the crowd will jump on that train with him. And they love that. Yes. Okay. Side out. Kisses off the tape, but stays in. Arnold will take it. Point. Having a long chat about hitting the ball in the center of the paddle. Sounds good for every level of player Four, in pickleball. Two. Be yes. like Julian. Hit it in the center of the paddle. J.W. Johnson keeps hitting the same spot on the court. Arnold's like, you got to go to the backhand out. eventually. Time out. Server. Nope. And that's just smart play. Two, Thinking, oh, four. I'm going to go to the open court and just keep going back to that same spot. So J.W. Johnson's going to take a timeout on offense here. So we'll be back right after this. John's? What do we got, Prento? Another one. Shame. Third one this week. Any suspects? Not yet. We'll send these to the lab. All right. Let's take a look. What do you think? Bring me the jigsaw.
All right, welcome back, everybody, to the PPA Tour. It's the Peachtree Classic, powered by Invited Dave Fleming with pro pickleball player, pro analyst, and pro cheerer, and gets all involved <laughs> in the points here. I love it, Cameron Blackwood. Thrilled to Time have in. you here. Two, four. Let's see what J.W. Johnson's got coming out of the timeout. Right out. That's exactly what Arnold needed. Yes. To keep this momentum going. When you win a hands battle against J.W. Johnson, that gives you a lot of confidence. That's exactly what he needs. Yeah, he kind of looked up like, okay, I just did that. Yep. Again, Four, two. Can we make a string of that now? <laughs> Not up. Side out. And the stupid net. So says 50% of the players on the court. <laughs> Two, four. Side out. And uh, J Dub doesn't, he'll usually take the cat and mouse opportunity four, didn't there and flicked it into the, into the net. That's a great return. Side out. The amount of power he can generate from his wrist is absolutely insane most people you see take back big two-handed right. swing and so you have your two, shoulders you four. have your core you have your hips he's doing all of that with his wrist yeah that's forearm and wrist this is going to go somewhere hard oh it checked up on him and he loses point. the point wow so unlike a tennis ball which would obviously bounce up and then you can bounce that over the fence if you want to that thing checked up jw Johnson like Nice hand clap from Arnold. That is one thing that Three, I do four. really love about Julian Arnold is as fired up as he gets on the court, he is the first right. to compliment his yep. opponent on a nice shot. It is true. I like that almost across all the pro players. Mm -hmm. four, four. It's, we want to win desperately, but if we see something great, Point. we will acknowledge it. And there's a couple of missed returns. I think that just shows how incredible the game of pickleball is. Yes. Time out. And, Receiver. Five. And how four. inviting it is, but also... That's why people keep coming back and get addicted because of the play you have on the court with your opponents. Absolutely. You heard Ben Johns give a very eloquent answer to that question. You know, what's your favorite part about pickleball? And he picked out three different things, the competition, the camaraderie, having fans involved in it. And I don't know anyone that's quick, Cameron. I mean, once people get started, it's like, this is something I want to do. It's, you know, it's active. My parents can play with my nephews. We can jumble that all around, and they have a great time. There's nothing like it. And you can learn it in 30 minutes. Yeah. And you can be competitive in an hour. I mean, what other sport can you do yeah, that? It's, it's, it's got all those unique features. And if you want to see it, you want to play it, check out the PPATour.com. Next place we're going is Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Yes, yeah, so Vegas. There's going to be D.C. There's going to be some Texas in there two times. So uh, all you Texans, come see this. It's going to be awesome. So play where the pros play. It's really unique. You know, you can be 10 feet away and get up close. These pros like yourself are so personable, want to talk to the fans, want to get them involved in Nine what's in. going on. Five, it's really four. a beautiful thing. Point. And just can't let this continue or we're not going to see another game. Six, four. J.W. Johnson, five points from a title. And that's Side just out. a beautiful finish from Arnold there. And didn't do too much. Just placed exactly where it needed to go, away from Johnson, and he still had a good base. So if Johnson were to get it back, I think he was able to go ahead and counter and still win four, that point. Six. So great job by Arnold. So you hear him saying want it. He definitely wants it. That's, I'll Five, tell you, six. I'll answer that for you, Julian. That's not up for debate from where we sit. He always wants it. Side out. It obviously comes down to execution. So wanting is one thing, but making it is another. 6-5. Yeah. 
It's like, I'm pretty sure I know what the score is. Six, Let's just make five. sure we get everybody lined up. What a get. Point. See J.W. Johnson Seven, going touch five. in the back fence before every point. That's a great right return. You'll see a lot of these players have their ticks and tricks or whatever it is just to reset them. And sometimes it can be one little thing of touching the back paddle. And sometimes it can be, you know, a couple little things like Leia Jansen does. Yes. So to each I'll, their own. And I think whatever fits each player, it's great to see that you can be just like them too when you have sure. some little ticks that, that just center you and, and put you back right into the end of the point. <laughs> Keep going, five, seven. Figured. Do a little photo bomb of the video there. And that has oh. been the winning formula right. for J.W. Johnson, or excuse me, for against J.W. Johnson for Julian Arnold. Dip that roll over there and follow it up. Again and again is is the Six, is seven. the challenge, but within one here after all this. That's just pretty. And he has it done right that. Out. So you see Arnold ready to go lateral to go ahead and get that down the line flick, which Johnson has been doing. What does he do? Seven, six. Softens up his hands, hits a nice drop. Boy. Yeah, Arnold's frustrated with the backhand volley. He's mentioned it to himself. It's just taped, Eight, so you're six. just a little bit behind it. Side out. Interesting on that one. Whether that was staying in or not, we'll never know. I think that's why Johnson didn't pulverize it, and then he was like, uh-oh, that might be Eight. in. Okay, here we go. Side out. And another tape is exactly what happened there. 8-6, three points from a title for J.W. Johnson. 8-6. Point. And he had Johnson twisting into a pretzel, but then the last pass came right back towards him. That's some really good stabs from JW. Nine, six. <laughs> Tremendous hustle. Point. From both players, that was incredible. It's trickier than you think when you're up that yes. close to the net because your paddle cannot touch the net. You cannot make contact. So in order to dip the ball back over the net, is they made it look easy. It's a lot it harder than it looks. It most certainly is not. And we have a match point for J.W. Johnson right here. 10-6. Okay, so under the most intense of circumstances, Arnold brings his best, saves a match point. Let's make it, take it in pickleball. You can rattle off big runs. We've seen people do it all day long. It has to be now for Arnold. Six. Six, ten. Just Side deep. Out. That'll give a second chance for J.W. Johnson. Ten, six. Out. Side out. Okay. Six, ten. Tremendous court coverage from Mr. Andiama there, Cameron. 
He has to. I mean, he has to fight for every single point. Johnson can paint lines. He can create so much seven, every second flick of the wrist. So that's exactly what it's going to take from Arnold is to get every single ball back and place it perfectly. And just wide. He's going to challenge that call. It gives him a timeout either way. Call, go to video. Very close. We're going to go to video challenge. Yes, sir. Okay, so Arnold is going to ask for a challenge on that diving backhand cross court. So Tom Richardson has been our lead referee that you've heard. Ben Lacey and Denise Smith supporting tracking referee Les Self. And it's Ann Danner in the truck, Cameron. We've had a few of these today. We've had three or four overturned. So the... The call to make sure you get it right, I mean, at 10-7, it's, it's a timeout one way or the other, and if you can get a overturn here, it's 8-10. Yeah, and I think that's... Johnson's really good about calling lines, so I think if it were to be the wrong call, you know, it's not intentional, and not. Arnold knows that. Uh, but again, it's just a timeout. Let's go ahead, let's get some momentum. Arnold's feeling good right now. He is playing a much higher level of pickleball right now in the later of this fourth game. He needs this set. I mean, he has to have this game to take it to the fifth. So I like this challenge, regardless if he loses it. I think he needs this to, to stay in it. He needs to stay present right now. There's a good look at the video board. PPA just keeps up in the ante here. It's so nice to see how everything being elevated, the pro game being elevated, the amateur game giving them a chance to play in these beautiful venues. And here we go. So uh, we've got some communication going on. We even have uh, referee Derek Prince dancing over my shoulder here. So everybody's everybody's into it here, Cameron. But uh, to go back to the beginning of the day, I mean, just unbelievable pickleball all day long. Blood, sweat, and tears to get here. And then to finish, and Anna Lee Waters probably played four hours today, at least. Of, of high-level pickleball. It's not your four hours of, of training no. and dinking. You're competing for four hours. At the highest level, with everything on the line. And she was able to get over the top. So Why, Tom Richardson will have a call for us. Here we go, Tom. Challenge was overturned. The, the ball is out. The challenger loses a timeout and his challenge. Score is 10 7. Okay, so. Challenge serves as a timeout here, but Time what in. it really Ten, serves as seven. is another chance at the match here for JW John. Oh my. Side out. Okay. So the third I took takes off the tape. So after that delay, Arnold gets a gift. He's not complaining. Here seven, we go. Ten. That's a great volley. Side out. Johnson. Takes advantage as Arnold was telling himself, hey man, can't be that Ten, high. Seven. Fourth try. Oh no, he's down. Look at this. He's still in it. But Point. not anymore. Game. And it wow. is J.W. Johnson who takes it. Arnold is down again in the corner. He's just off our sight line. So just brilliantly played all day long. J.W. Johnson, look at Julian Arnold even raises opponent's arm in the air. That's classy right there. That's great sportsmanship. Arnold gave us everything he can. He just wasn't able to sustain the highest level the whole time. But J.W. Johnson had a lot to do with that. We'll talk to the winner when we come back. We owe great times to good friends, to the glasses that spark conversation, to the ideas that then pour out. Ours came from a night like that and somehow survived the morning after to make our own tequila. It wasn't meant to leave our house, but since we made this for friends, we thought it wouldn't hurt to make a few more. Grab a glass, amigo. Our tequila is your tequila. Our casa is your casa.
I'm gonna say she's a solid 3.5. Nah, she's definitely a 2.5. Guys, look at that forehand. She's clearly a 3.0. Guys, come on. I'm at least a 4-0. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Ratings don't have to be hard. Duper. Optimized for accuracy. Optimized for fun. Download the app and claim your free profile today. For many of us, we just charge ahead because planning for your future takes time. And right now, thinking about your financial future takes on new meaning. At Baird, our financial advisors have guided individuals and families to achieve their goals through every crisis evolution and groundbreaking idea for over 100 years. That's the difference between thinking you're ready for what lies ahead and knowing you've planned for it. Now that's different. Discover the Baird difference. Well, welcome back to Center Court. One last time, I get to introduce our final finalist and winner, J.W. Johnson. Big congratulations to you, J.W. Arnold came back to win game two, but you were able to come back and win a decisive game three, 0-11. Did that really light a fire under you? What caused that 0-11? Uh, I mean, part of it was uh, lucky, probably, other part. I mean, uh, my passing shots were just on that game. And uh, I think the wind helped a little bit, too. But uh, my passing shots were just on that one. Well, you're known for being very quiet on the court, whereas Arnold is known for being very animated on the court. Does that help you? Is that something that your personality just works well with, to be more quiet? Uh, I mean, I definitely think uh, I like it when he, when he gets fired up. It's, uh, it's funny sometimes, and then sometimes it's like uh, it just helps him a lot. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he was very energized this match, along with all the other matches he's played against me, so uh, uh, it's fun. Well, you used to aspire to be a tennis player, I think, growing up, and you switched over to pickleball. Why? Uh, well, first of all, pickleball is much more fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's just uh, much more social, more friendly too, but also very competitive at the same time. So it's a lot, it's a lot better in my opinion. Well, it was a pleasure to watch you win today, JW. We're going to bring Curtis Quant from Invited Clubs to present that trophy to you now. Curtis. Hi there. On behalf of Invited, the Peachtree City Tennis Center, and the Peachtree City, congratulations on a great weekend and a great tournament. All right, guys, one last round of applause for JW. With that, we're going to send it back over to you, Dave. All right, thank you, Hannah. Thanks for all of your work on the sideline on what I have no problem saying was one of the best played days of pickleball since pickleball was invented, Cameron. Final thoughts from you. These are the best players in the entire world here at the PPA, Peachtree Classic here in Georgia. I'm just so excited to be a part of it. If you're not watching, you got to get here. you got to see these players in person. And the game is elevated match after match, point after point, and it's only going to get better from here. Yeah, so to recap the day, Annalie Waters really had to work to beat Callie Smith. Then we had the rematch of the battle at Brigham, and my goodness, were the Johns in trouble. The final answer, though, is Annalie Waters walks away with a triple crown. Good for her. Congrats to all the winners. Thank you, Cameron Blackwood. I'm Dave Fleming. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Tennis, 10 p.m.